Hey guys, it's Fia back again with another Twitch VOD. This one is from the 7th of February, the day before the Heartbreaker run start. Day two of 18 consecutive days of streaming. It was Mount Farm Monday. I got a mount. Which one? I guess you'll have to watch the VOD, won't you? <laughs> God, I'm so clickbaity. Holy shit. You can catch me live from 4 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Uh, during February, it was a bit extra from that. So you can always check twitch.tv forward slash Fiyama forward slash schedule to see what time I'm going to be going live in your time zone. Super easy conversion right there. I hope you enjoy the VOD. Have fun, and I will see you in chat next time. Hi. Hello. Ooh, I have a lot of... Things open. Uh, just went to alt tab. I'm like, holy shit, that's a lot of windows. It's not usually how this goes. Uh, there we go. Better. All right. <laughs> it's a loyalty super boss chest as our first chest for the day. <sighs> this is not ideal. <laughs> Needs help. Make sure you follow that link that is just dropped into chat. Log in with your Twitch account and drag and drop your units to the battlefield. It honestly will help because, uh, yeah, look, this is this is going to be a time. This is going to be a time. Um, did I have anything done? Not yet. Almost, though. Uh, okay, before we jump into WoW, uh, I should probably let you know what I have on my face, right? So, yes, we have Mount Farm. Mount Farm. Mount Makeup. Good. Yes. Uh, I have an aqua kind of blue shade in my crease. I have a dark, like, cream, yellowy brown sort of shade on, like, the outer corner and, uh, and, and underneath my eyes. And then on my lid I have a stock standard champagne. Light, shimmery cream kind of thing. I own it. It flies. Good luck. Alrighty. Let's get some fucking mounts. We're starting off in Brawlis because I'm going to Storm's Wake because that is the uh, 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 reputation is what I'm looking for that we're working on. Uh, and then I'm going to head to Order of Embers as well. The the Order of um, Embers here, the Order of Mounts has been shuffle luffle luffled again because Data for Azeroth updated. And there's a shitload of mounts in there that um, that were not there before. Uh, that have jumped up the rankings quite significantly, so a lot of people must have grabbed them in the last kind of month or so. But that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna go try to get them. Uh, there is a couple that I have no idea how they work, so we, <laughs> that'll be fun. You might have to help me uh, figure out what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, but I'm sure you will, because you're all wonderful and helpful, aren't you? Yes, you would never troll fear. Why would you do that? That wouldn't make for entertaining content at all. Good. Uh, right. Uh, Lumia Stream is here. Lumia Stream is always here, but it decides to announce itself every time. I fucking I think there's a setting I can turn that off. I'll have to have a squiz and see what I can find. Uh, you all turn it off and on again. Approach is it just breaking? Definitely not breaking. Um, it was red, and I changed it to aqua to to match the the mount makeup thing today. And when I did that, it spoke because it's great and lovely and nice. <laughs> so there you go. That is what happened. Uh, all right, we're going north. Ooh, ooh, they're all nice and clustered. I like that a lot. What do we got today? Wake, Blade, and Cohen. Storms, Wake. Good. And Order of Embers. Holy shit, we get both of them? Oh, I'm so lucky. That's awesome. Alright. Let's go. This direction. Ah, uh, greetings, dupe. Um, right, yes, Koalatron. I don't know what the fuck happened there. I ended up having to restart the program. But that's fine. It was connected and everything, but I don't know, it just decided to poo its pants or something. I'm not sure. It's fine. Whatever. It's working now. <laughs> that was fear not correct. That was fear. That was me, not you, when I when I restarted the program and had to have uh, admin permission for some reason. Very strange. Good morning, Nutty. Ooh, I'll hydrate. I can actually do that because I'm semi-prepared today. Ah, uh, Lumid. What's everyone drinking? Uh, what I'm drinking is water. Welcome on in, by the way, R2. Uh, I'm drinking water, but it has a, um... Wait, am I supposed to do something for the 
No, that was- it was the pet down here, but there's nothing else I can do. I have to go elsewhere for the mount, don't I? Oh, fuck it. It's not on the list yet. I'll figure it out later. Um, it's, uh, infused with, like, a cold brew tea bag. You know how you can get tea bags that are designed for putting in, like, a cold water bottle? Uh, so I- yeah, I did that, but I pulled the tea bag out, because just like a regular tea bag, you can absolutely overbrew the cold ones. Uh, and it starts releasing all the tannins and it tastes like shit. So, um, I did an infusion prior to stream and then poured the water into the bottle so that it's pretty and also delicious. But yeah. What have you got to sip on today, R2? So here, welcome on in, fairy. Iced coffee. Ooh, I'm not a coffee drinker myself, but I have been told that iced coffee is lovely and refreshing. Does this mean we're without sound commands? No, it does not. Sound commands should be just fine. Uh, just in case. Second. Hold on a second. Dupe. It's right in the world with the hydrate. Last for Yori. Wonderful. There we go. 69th for Koala. Brilliant. Um, curious, which celebrity would you love to play WoW with? Mine would probably be Henry Cavill, of course. Well, I mean, we know that he does play. Uh, or at least, you know, did play. Not sure if he still does. Who knows? Um, uh, my choice would be Deborah Wilson. Um, Deborah Wilson is the voice of Draka. I know her. She's been on the stream a couple of times, which is amazing. And she doesn't play video games. She is, uh, she's a voice actor and she's quite prolific as a voice actor. She's phenomenal. I keep, every so often I'll be watching something on Netflix or watching some random thing somewhere and I'll kind of have a, like an audible, like an audio double take. You know how when you kind of see something and you go, wait, hang on a second. It's kind of like I hear it and I go, hang on. And I rewind it 10 seconds and I play again. I'm like, that's got to be Deborah. Uh, and so yeah, I, I uh, jump online and sure enough, She's, she's fucking everywhere. She's been working her ass off and it's amazing. And so I would love to play alongside her, maybe even on stream and like teach her how to game. Cause she doesn't like, it's not just, it's not that she doesn't play WoW. She doesn't play any video games. Um, she, she, her voice isn't a lot of them, but she doesn't play any of them. And it's hilarious. Vexum, thank you so much for the resub. Many appreciates. Thank you for your ongoing support. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, but yeah, so Deborah Wilson would be my pick because I think like I've taught, I've sat here next to my mum and my, next to my dad and taught them how to play WoW. So I think it'd be hilarious to to teach Deborah how to how to play WoW. And I feel like she'd hear a voice line every so often and be like, oh my gosh, that's such and such. I was in the studio with them and we did this. Do you know, like I feel like it'd just be an incredible experience. Um, so yes, that would, that would be my pick. <laughs> Um, oh, another hydrate. I can do that. Nobody asked you, but actually I did turn that on. There have been quite a few times where I haven't, um, I haven't turned the captions on and I've forgotten about it. So I have that there to remind me. The problem is you can't change how long until it pokes you. Uh, <laughs> so it often pokes me a little earlier than, than when I'm actually ready to turn them on. But that's okay. At least I get the reminder. Uh, howdy Templar. Hello Zam. Do you have a link to your Simple Armory? I do, uh, do Vexum and welcome to chat. It is exclamation Simple Armory. I'm not sure if someone has responded to you already, but if they haven't, I know I'm seven minutes behind on chat. I respond to everyone though, I promise. I'll get there. Um, but yeah, if no one has responded yet, it is just exclamation Simple Armory, all one word. Um, I hope you're having a great day again. Yes, brilliant. Thank you Zam for responding. Much appreciated. Ah, uh, look at the man's got one today. Handmaster Rune's puppy. Ah, oh, congrats, Mid. Fantastic. Fantastic. I was doing a bit of AFK camping of Harley today. Uh, no joy just yet, but you know, you gotta, you gotta keep at it. You're not gonna get it first go. You gotta keep at it. Ah, uh, and Sorcel's Everworm. No. See, here I was thinking it was you saying, as Lumia, that you were here. No, no, it's an automated thing. To, to let you know that it's activated. Because then if people use Lumia, so you, there's an extension, if you hover over the channel and you see the little pink swirly light bulb, um, if you jump in there, you can change my lights um, for, for a small number of bits. Um, you can change the lights permanently until somebody else changes them. Um, so yeah, or until the next stream. So 
it's saying that to kind of let you know that the chatbot is active so that when someone does do that or if someone does change it it will it will post in chat such and such has activated blah 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 you know what I mean so it's yeah it's letting you know that it's active but I don't necessarily think I need that so I'll have to have a dig into the settings uh, and see if I can turn it off uh, we would never give you up, let you down, run around and desert you. <laughs> uh huh. Bullshit. 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 Uh, I miss the days of just flying into the zone and having the daily. Oh, the the world the world quests. Yeah, I really like world quests, but people started getting sick of them and complaining about them, and then they went to like a, a world quest and daily quest hybrid, and now they've moved entirely into world into into dailies again, and I'm like. Why? I, like, people are complaining that it was, you know, the same stuff over and over again. I'm like, yeah, but the dailies were worse than that. I don't know. I I like world quests myself, but um, to each their own. I guess there's, uh, I guess there's, um, there's, there's a reason that they've switched back to predominantly dailies. Uh, water, yes. Oh, hydrates. I need, what is that, three hydrates. Okay. A two, a three. Uh, for your stream is the best part of my mouth. Aw, Shopper, thank you so much for your kind words. My goodness. Thank you so much. That is so kind of you to say. I just realized the Azerite puddles, there are the puddles you clean up in those random cleaning quests, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Elysian Aqualon. No. Ice coffee for me is just sugar and caffeine and a quick delivery system. Look, I ain't gonna fucking judge. I had a bottle of Coke today. Vanilla Coke, in fact. Uh, I don't know what it is about vanilla Coke, but it's just fucking delicious. Um, it just, I don't know, maybe the vanilla, because Coke kind of is a bit burny, and sometimes I need the burny, like, you know, clear out my, my throat of phlegm. Um, but I think the vanilla flavor just kind of softens the burny a little bit. Or something. I don't, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I just really like vanilla Coke. Um, uh, yeah, thank you, you're very welcome. Very welcome. Uh, Harley is the last one for the zone I need. It'll drop, just takes time. Yeah, so I don't have any of them from that zone. I have everything from Uldum, nothing from Vale. Um, but that's okay. Uh, I That's what I'm working on now. The When, I, when I'm when i doing stuff, when I'm doing other shit, uh, I can park a tune there and, uh, and wait. Park a tune there and wait. But yeah, I will get them eventually because I'm stubborn as fuck. Oh, excuse me. Alright, then we head north. Uh, good Arvo Fia, all the best for Mount Farm. Thank you, hope you're doing okay. I need to get back to work, that's alright. I hope work treats you kindly. And uh, I'm I'm wearing my uh, my lucky earrings that was, were sent to me via throne. So, fingers crossed, they'll, they give me, they gave me luck last week, last Monday, last Mount Farm Monday was the first time I wore them and I got KSM. So, fingers crossed, um, fingers crossed it, they help today as well. And I'm not sure who was here, like maybe, maybe you already know, maybe you don't, but, um, Amazon in their infinite genius, because these are from Amazon, uh, accidentally sent me another pair. If there's nothing else it could possibly be. Um, it's got a label on the bottom that says Shamrock something something, and so I'm thinking I might, uh, give them away or attempt to give them away, uh, during the anniversary stream. Hopefully they give me enough luck through the Heartbreaker stream, uh, that my set give me enough luck through the Heartbreaker streams, uh, that I can pass the extra pair along to somebody and they can get some luck of their own, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, is it the Lambent Manta Ray? It is not. It is not, but feel free to continue guessing. Uh, Blue Drake. Never mind. Don't continue guessing. Templar's got it. <laughs> yeah, it's the Blue Drake. Um, for those of you who aren't aware what it looks like, it's like this. So that's the aqua light blue color that I've got in my crease, and then the, the different shades of cream. There's like the, the saddle's a little bit darker around the outside here, and then the, the champagne represents the, the super light stuff. 
So yeah, Templar's got it. Can I get a number from you? Between one and a hundred, please, Templar. Should everyone hope you had a pleasant and productive day? I did, actually. I had an exceptionally productive day and I'm feeling rather proud of myself. I'm feeling rather proud of myself. I did a thing towards the end of the day and I'm not sure if it actually worked or well, the end of the day. End of end of the day that wasn't streaming. Um, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it worked. Um, so we'll find out. We'll find out. Ah, uh, driving wheel thing. It's better system than my manual copy paste. Fair. Fair. Is that for um? Is that for the ATT spreadsheet? The automated update thingy. Just a final joke. This instantly brings that to mind. It's a little yellow neck bit, little and white bits. I mean, like, look, look. They have a very similar um, icon. Like that, that icon is that mount. It is literally a screenshot of that mount. Um, <laughs> they are incredibly similar color schemes. <laughs> incredibly similar. Uh, but it is the blue drake today. Um, it's also working. I wish you all the success for the heartbreaker. Thank you, Nano. Thank you. I am, I'm a little bit, I'm getting a little nervous. The streams start tomorrow. Today is day two of 18 consecutive days. And we, we begin our runs tomorrow afternoon. My first unusual stream. My first out of the ordinary stream. So hopefully you'll be able to make it, everyone. You got one? You did! 82. All right. 82. Oh, cool, well done. Excellent makeup. And thank you. I feel like it looks a little bit odd. It, it doesn't, like, in terms of, like, where the colors are placed and stuff, it looks a little bit strange. But in terms of an artistic conversion of mount to makeup, I think I, I got it bang on. I think I got the colors right. I think I got the placement right. I think it looks right. But in terms of just an actual makeup look, it makes my face look a little bit strange. Like, the light colors... Some of the light colors should be dark colors and, and yeah, but um, no, I'm, I'm quite happy with how it turned out in terms of like, in terms of the, the artistic conversion, if that's even a word. Uh, all right. Okay. What have we got? Europa, except it's you, Europa, as in not Europe. As in, like, Europa. Yep. You'll see what I mean in a second, Templar. <laughs> a Templar bunny. Is that your display picture? It is fantastic. I just wanted to double check that I had the right person. Because that would suck. There you go. I hope you enjoy it. Or I hope that wherever the key ends up, the person enjoys it. Um... Fantastic. Have a very productive day too. I did laundry, indie shopping, and put away laundry. Ah, fantastic! I hung up laundry. Fantastic. Yeah, our laundry. My laundry day is Thursdays. Um, so that is what I'll be. I'll be hanging shit up and putting things away on Friday, uh, because I do all the loads of washing on the Thursday, and usually the last of it isn't dry until Friday. Uh, and I don't really like putting away like one load of washing at a time. I prefer to wash everything and then put everything away all at once. Cause it just, it makes it so much more efficient, at least for me. Obviously everyone's gonna operate a little differently. So that'll be my Friday. Hockey day. Basically, the search and it on um, does it pretty badly. Ah, fantastic! There you go. People were talking about WoW thing um, earlier, a couple of streams ago, and I was kind of like, oh, interesting. Okay, fair enough. But um, I didn't get a chance to look at it. I've been, I've been slightly busy. <laughs> Shocking, you know, surprising everybody. Fear, busy, never. Miss your thoughts, but I say now nah, it looks amazing. Oh, 
I appreciate that. I appreciate that. It's just, you know when you look at um like when you when you look at actual like makeup theory as it were and how there's like a correct way to place things. You know you put dark things towards the outside of the face to make your face appear slimmer, and then you put you know to to make the to bring your face closer to what is like the ideal beauty standard, you put dark things, like dark colors where you want things to recede and then bright colors where you want to pull things forward. So I think having the light colors underneath my eyes kind of makes me look like I'm going like this. Um, but like, I think it works, I think it's fine, but it's just something's not quite right because I've got all of that, that like makeup theory in my head still. I think that's what it is, but no, I am, don't, don't get me wrong, I am quite happy with how it turned out. Um, there's just something, like, not quite right. <laughs> but that's okay. It's art. An illusion? What are you hiding? Nothing, I hide nothing. Uh, is it strange because it's not red? Look, possibly. I don't wear a lot of red, um, like, recently. I haven't worn a lot of red. I mean, obviously I've done- I, well, okay, no one guessed the mount makeup that I had on Friday when we were doing, um, uh, Grogu, BT dubs. Um, it was Warforge Nightmare. But that's fine. Uh, <laughs> I think everyone was just mesmerized by the click clack of the Lego. Um, but, so I've had that one, and then I had the- the Crimson, what's it? And they were both quite recent, but before that, I haven't had too much red. Not for a little while. Uh, it's a word now. Brilliant. Highly recommend. Wow, well, thank. Okay. But what about what about my beautiful spreadsheet? Can Wow Thing find my lowest percentage among just those dungeons and raids? All creatures in nature must uh, okay, I'm still in combat. There we go. I'm gonna go do this last one, and then we're gonna go turn in the Storm's Wake uh, emissary. Thank you so much. You're so welcome, Templar. You're so welcome. Thank you for being here early. Thank you for watching, and thank you for participating in the little game. <laughs> it's fun. I enjoy it. I'm so sick of my second baby. It's great! I'm shocked Fear is busy. I know, right? Everyone is shocked. Totally surprising. When am I ever busy? Like, never, you know? Kidding, obviously. Is Fear busy? Uh, it is a function that shows current prices for missing pets toys on AH. Ooh, dangerous. Dangerous. Fear busy? Is it February? It is. Fun fact, it is. Um, surprised we have that as a sound. Really? That was one that was uh, fairly recent, one of the newer ones that Jack redeemed. Many sounds, we have so many sounds. It's getting to the point that I almost have to, um, there, there, is a, there is a threshold at which we'll be having some kind of community vote on which ones to like deactivate because there's, uh, there's getting to be too many. I'm running out of space, um, but that's okay. We're not there yet. We're not there yet, so we're fine. Uh, I did midnight recently. I did. I did. Maybe it was a week or so. Maybe a bit more than. You're right. I did do midnight recently. Uh, did the event start in your region? Heartbreaker. Uh, love is in the air. No, not yet. It doesn't start till four a.m. tomorrow. It's it's ten a.m. Wow time. Um, it's currently ten thirty-five p.m. Wow time. So it's it's just it's under twelve hours away, but it starts it kicks off at four AM and then it finishes at four AM, which is why we've got the extra three hours um, from one AM to four AM to get that fifteenth attempt in. Yep. Because like fuck all of us, you know. Uh <laughs> Alright, this is where I'm going. To sausage party. Good, fantastic. Oh dear. Um, so for her indolence and her laissez-faire energy activities, just seeing how I progress, it's nice format, easy to update. Ah, okay, really nice for tracking other stuff in your tunes. Cool. Good to know. Good to know. 
Right. So we did not get to Exalted with Storm's Wake with our with our little emissary. That's okay. We did get our good chunk of fifteen hundred uh, fifteen hundred rep. Scratchy in my eye. It's my mirror. Uh, there it is, I think. Yep, I can see it. I can't get it. Got it. Can't see it anymore, so I think I got it. Ooh. So in half an hour in my region. Ooh! EU best region. Yeah, but it also finish early in your region. <laughs> da -do -da -do. Hello, Jas. Are you home? Does that mean you're home? Hello, Boot! Hello, Boot. Um, if Jas is home, give me just a second, guys. I'm gonna be back in a minute. I return and my eyes scratchy again. <laughs> Arg. I can see the little thing. There's like a, a little tiny hair. I think it's actually stuck to, to something because I had it and then it like snapped back. Oh no, there we go. Got it. It is the tiniest of baby eyelashes and the only reason I could see it is because it had a speck of mascara on it. Ugh, little shits. Okay, good. Let's do stuff. <laughs> like game. Uh, all right, let us destroy some effigies. I know it's an effigy. I'm just, I'm being a numpty. Uh... Baby two da 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 da, baby two na 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 na. Because they mustn't be here. There's another command recently. And cooldowns are a thing. They are, they are. It's like a couple of minutes that you have to wait before you can do another one. to let everyone have some fun. Um, I'm gonna have to try this. Yep. Yeah, that's the one. It was uh, in. It was originally introduced to tell me um, that I was on the wrong screen. Let's 
stream raiders and stuff. <sighs> She's on the wrong screen. Yes, exactly. Baby eyelash. Yeah. <laughs> It is like the teeniest, tiniest little thing. It's like not even half a centimeter long. Not even. And like one end of it, there's just a little smudge of mascara. It's the only way, the only way I can possibly say it. Someone else with Trick and Melvin. Hello, Landa, how you doing? Oh dear. So I know that Order of Embers, I had less reputation with them than I had with Storm's Wake. So I think, I don't think I'm gonna get either of these to Exalted today. I'm not checking. I'm, I'm trying not to check the rep so that one day it's just gonna pop up with the Exalted achievement and I'm gonna go, oh, yay, let's go get a mount. You know, it'll, it'll feel better that way rather than constantly being just short. But yeah, look, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So we've done, we've done Storm's Wake and now we're working on all members. Okay. There might actually be a couple of mounts today that I need help with. Um, I mean, there's definitely a mount or two that I need like you to tell me what the fuck I'm doing. Um, <laughs> but there might actually be mounts that I need people to come help me with. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see how we go. Hopefully I can help other people get mounts as well though. I'm playing Inquisitor, Marta, much fun actually. How are you feeling today? Yeah, pretty good. Uh, fucking zonked. Like, I've felt like I'm at negative 10 energy all day, which is why I got a bottle of coke. Um, and that helped for a little bit and then it didn't again. So I, I feel really drained. Really, unbelievably drained. Um, which is not where I want to be on day two of 18, but that's fine. It is what it is. Uh, but I still got a shitload of stuff done. Um, I recognized that a particular task was being incredibly taxing on me. Uh, so I just did enough to get by and then moved on to the next thing to kind of, you know, I recognized that I needed to stop. <laughs> um, so that was good. But yeah, no, it's, uh, I seem to be okay. But yeah, look, I'll I'll get them. I just maybe need more sleep or less sleep. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, so you're trying to delude yourself into a mount. Correct. Correct. <laughs> I hope that's okay, matey. <laughs> Failed on my newly badly geared druid. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, give me extra streams this month. Are you doing mount makeup for those streams, or is that too extreme? Uh, good question, Kaz. Um, I'm not. So because the extra streams, I finish my day job at 5.30 and I'm going to start streaming at 6. It's not enough time for me to sit down and, and be creative with makeup and stuff. It's just, it's just not enough time. Um, so the extra streams, no, I will, if, if there is a mount makeup look, I will absolutely start stream like I did today, jumping onto the camera thing, showing you my face and talking about what I've got on and then jumping into gaming. Um, and the other days I'm just gonna be like, hi, let's do runs. Uh, <laughs> uh, Atom, Loza, Dupe, and Hank, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Nice work team, we did a win. We did do a win. We did. Whatever works for you, brilliant. I'm so glad that you feel that way. I'm so glad you feel that way. <sighs> Seems very sensible as much as 18 consecutive streams is sensible. I mean, there are, there are streamers there who have done like 600 consecutive streams. So like, I look, I am in awe of them. But uh, I, look, I, no, <laughs> I have limitations, unfortunately. As much as I would love to be able to do that kind of stuff and, and just kind of go batshit with it, um, I, I can't. I know it'll just make me sick. And um, I, I know that you guys would much rather me stick to four streams a week than do seven streams a week for three weeks and then not stream for a month, <laughs> you know? Like it's, yeah, I, uh, I know I'd just end up making myself really sick. So I'll stick with my consistency as best I can. It'll be fine. Yeah, exactly. Uh, they're not as awesome as you though. Are they? Well, they could be. I don't know. Awesome is in the eye of the beholder. 
I think they're pretty awesome. I think it's a pretty damn good effort. Especially if they're able to make those, like, you know, 600 consecutive days. If, they, if they're able to make all of them as entertaining as the last, then fucking oath. Like, that shit's hard. That shit is difficult. Um, I, yeah, I would imagine that there are definitely some people out there, though, who have, uh, firstly, uh, a different physical state of being to me. You know, I am, I'm chronically ill. People who do that kind of stuff potentially aren't. Not saying they definitely aren't, but they potentially aren't. Um, they may also not have a job, like a day job, like I do. Um, they may not have many, if any, other responsibilities outside. Like I've got, you know, I, I live in a two bedroom apartment. If someone lives in a studio by themselves, then they have far less potentially uh, responsibility for, you know, there's a whole place to clean rather than just a room to clean. Uh, there's one person to cook for rather than two, or, you know, there's, you know, the the hope for, for social interaction with that other person or what, you know what I mean? There's, there's a whole lot of, my situation is likely quite different to theirs and that's okay. That's okay. Um, I think that me with my, my 24 hours a week sticking to that consistency is, is pretty good too. I think that's pretty good too. Know one of those streamers? Oh, I'm, I'm sure we all do, honestly, because there are so many people out there who are able to do that, and I'm I'm in awe. It's amazing what they manage to do. I just know that that's completely out of my reach, and I'm okay with that. Mm, we'll be here with you too. We can suffer together while doing heartbreaker runs. Oh, I'm I'm look. I hope we don't suffer. I, honestly, I'm I'm hoping that it's an absolute blast. Even if no, even if none of us get the fucking mount, we're gonna spend that time laughing together, commiserating together, um, and and just you know, having a having a grand old time. So I hope that that's you know making memories, making memories. I like as much as I am dreading how my body is gonna feel after all this. I am really looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing what it does for my channel. And like, maybe it'll, you know, gain us some notoriety. Maybe people will know me as, as you know, that person who streamed 50 attempts a day for 15 days uh, and all that. Like, it could be kind of cool, but we'll see. We'll see. There's an awesome screen. Aw, thank you, Landa. It's very kind of you. <sighs> but yeah, it'll definitely be a different kind of fun. I should be able to create some interesting potions with these items. Your chair is pretty awesome. Agreed. Chair is wonderfully awesome. Wonderfully awesome. Ah, <sighs> okay. These war quests are far more spread out. There also seems to be more of them. There weren't that many in, in Stormsong Valley. Like, there were only like six or something. Have I, like... Did I break something? Or maybe I haven't done enough quests there to unlock all of them or something. Um... That's an interesting thought. Oh, why? Oh, do I not have... I don't. Okay. Uh, Black Claw. Uh, and really supportive. Absolutely. Most supportive member of the stream. <laughs> Most supportive member of the community. Most supportive member. Exactly. Literally. Okay, Althanon is dead. Black Claw and then Flock until Bybee is dead. So, Black Claw first. Jennings comes in. Black Claw. Flock until Icky is dead. Yeah. 
in your leveling pet and swap to your little bling and then make it rain make it rain Uh, I can't do the bosses, but that's okay. I'll head up north and then swing that way. Cool. Wonderful! So, after this, after I've done these, the next one on my list is Valfir the Unrelenting. I do have a Night Fae tune, but that Night Fae tune doesn't have the Anima Conductor unlocked. I've done nothing on any of my other tunes except for yeah, absolutely nothing. So, I think... Does it- that needs somebody from- well, it doesn't need need, it's just fucking really difficult. But you need a, a Night Fae to grab the seed from somewhere nearby and bonk him on the noggin with it, so that he actually takes proper damage, right? Can you show these little ones how it's done? I think that's the idea. Splendid job. You know? Oh, cool. So I can just go one, two, three. Perfection. Uh, I'm alive. I'm here. Hello, hello, Sheba. How are you going? Check could be more supportive. He, she, they could be on Twitter slash Instagram and follow, comment, and like for his point. <laughs> I feel like, wouldn't that be like, I don't know. That feels kind of My people are cheaty of somehow. Assistance. I'm not sure. Please lend them your aid. Technically, no in practice, be prepared for it to be half an hour without Night Fate. Yeah. Yeah. I, no, do not want. Do not want. I can do Valfair on my Druid, but it's Alliance. Can do it and hope it's the right phase. We could definitely. We could for sure do that. I, I wonder how many people would be around in, in Ardenworld. Look, there, there's a chance that there'll be somebody randomly just there. Uh, I Neptune feel like trash, but hey, I'm alive. Yeah, I know the feeling, hey. Everything quicker if you have a night fade that can do it. Show them EU. That's okay. That's okay. Maybe I can uh, ask Jas really nicely. I'm sure, he probably has some kind of. Oh, actually, he might not have all the stuff unlocked on night fade. I know he can be a night fade, but I don't know if he can use the seed. I have lots of Night Fae. You do, right, because of the table. Herm. May ask a favor. But I mean, if there's anyone else who's who's keen to get an attempt in on Valfir, you'd be more than welcome to join me. I've only really got the one Night Fae, so it's not I can't like farm it. I can't go and do multiple attempts, just the one. But um One's more than none. See the second, I think. Ah, okay, yeah. If I had time, I'd, uh, I'd be farming anima to upgrade all that stuff, but I don't, so that's fine. That's right, could be worse. Good time zone, hello Faden. Good time zone to you too. Hope you're all doing all wonderfully well. My people, thank you for your help. Some earth elementals have been infused with azurite and are going crazy. Put them down and absorb their azurite. Never mind, it's ring three. Ooh, okay, yep. Okay, fair enough. That's all right, look. Um, 
Let's see how we go. Maybe what I need to do is when I go and do my attempt on Valfia, maybe I should also do a lap of the Shadowlands on my Druid to grab all the Azerite on the map and funnel it into the Anima thingy. So that I can unlock it myself later. I'm just not sure how long that'd take. Might take a while. I mean, just doing just doing these world quests, even though I outlevel them by a few levels, is still taking me a while. So, make Corthia better. Yeah, fair. But I'd have to actually unlock Corthia. <laughs> um, which I have yet to do. Oh, right, I forgot to do the channel thing again. Oops. I was doing really well for a little while there, and I forgot again. Yeah, there's a skip now. Yeah, but I'm not sure if I actually want to skip it on my other tunes because you, when you do the skip, you also don't get the rewards for the first two steps. And my my other tunes, like my alts, actually could probably use those those rewards. Um, it might help me a fair bit. So I'm still kind of undecided on whether I want to use the skip or not. Uh, I'm having trouble finding like a definitive list of this is what you will miss out on if you use the skip. I could have sworn Wowhead had, had something, but no matter what I Google, I can't seem to hit the right keywords for it. So I might just have to do it manually and look up the rewards for the quests. this first, not literally last. Oops. I'm getting really goddamn close to level 54 though. <laughs> it's really funny. Uh, are you talking about the skip to get into Gorthia? I am, Gertie. I am indeed. Azerite is driving the elements out of control. More reason for us to be putting an end to this. Okay. Let's go turn in this emissary. And then we'll knock over the rest of the world quests. Ah, uh, the skip misses out on checking quests now. Aw, thank you, Jack. That's so kind of you. Oh, it's squirt day tomorrow. Ahoy. Okay. Uh, if you're talking collector-wise, you need to put a warrior and demon hunter through. Rewards are weapons, uh, from what I recall, collection-wise. Yeah, um, thank you for that information. I wasn't aware of the, the warrior and demon hunter thing, but... Um... What I'm kind of like, there is a chance that like the upgrades and shit, like just the shit that they give you anyway, could be massive upgrades for my alts because I don't play them. <laughs> like I just use them for extra chances at mounts and things like that. So having that better gear would make some things a shitload easier. Like actually exploring Corthia, they've got ter terrible gear, terrible, terrible, terrible gear. So going through and actually getting that might be worthwhile. Uh, that's my kind of that's my concern. <clears throat> Mm, no matter how many times you do it, hitting 60 is still a good feeling. It is. It's like, ah, nice. Accomplished. Uh, I thought it was just weapons from chapter one. My memory could be wrong. I need coffee. Totally fair. Um, I can... Do, 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 do. Well done. The people of Drustbar are safer thanks to you. Um, it's 
Sophia, that's Phelan, that's Alexia. So, uh, the Druid has a 177 with a 187 offhand. The Rogue has a 184 with a 187 offhand. And the Monk has a 158 staff. Uh, so I have a feeling and that, like, that's just, those are, those are the four, those are the three alts that I have at 60. I have a feeling that whatever I get from Quarthy is going to be a massive upgrade over that. Uh, if any weapons, depending on what rank your world quest rewards are at, shit. Uh, B. Sebastian, pretty good source, drop weapons with class specs. Yeah, no, um, they're not good. <laughs> they're not, they're not good. Um, uh, I don't remember what renown they are at, but they are definitely not it. Uh, I think they're only just over 40. Maybe, maybe a couple of them are a little bit over 50. Uh, but yeah, no, they're not, they're not super good. But that's okay. I'll do, I'll do some digging and see what I think. Yeah, usually I don't invest very much time into my alts in terms of gearing them and stuff like that. But if I need to unlock Corthia to get mount attempts and stuff like that, I might as well do the quest to get the weapon kind of thing. Do you know, that's sort of where my mind is going. But if it's just just the weapon and it's like, you know, two hours worth of work or something, then that's not going to be worth. No, it's not. That's a shared appearance. You lie, ATT, you lie. Uh, Intro to Corthia is worth it. It's pretty fast. Oh, okay. Okay, gotcha then. Valjean rep, Bonsa Venari rep. A little bit of anima under 1k, and quest 63578 has weapons. 12, 14 times? Fair. Very fair. What are your hero rates? Yeah, I've only done it the once so far. Four tunes at 60, but only one of them's in Corthia. the cheer. That's so kind of you. Uh, let's see if it's worth it. He talks about you a lot. I drop in and say, hey, really up at this time. Aw. That's so sweet of you to stop by. Thank you. And I hope you have a wonderful night as well. Aw, thank you. Uh, okay. This is where we're going. Captain Leadfist. Sounds like if he punched you, it would hurt. That's probably the point, though. <laughs> Howdy, Dagger. How you going? Welcome back. Well done. The people of Drustbar are safer thanks to you. And last one, because I'm not doing- Oh, actually, no, I can do the Blight of Monstrosity. I thought that was a dungeon world quest, but, uh, but it's clearly not. I'm pretty sure I can do this one. It just takes me fucking forever. Another 50 for the old army! Oh, fantastic, Zam. Congratulations. Are you going to try to squeeze one last one in? <laughs> or are you going to go and do your runs and then get back to leveling? In this area. Neutralize the threat. Just to see if you can get another one for the last however many attempts. Uh, Hunter Paladin Rogue covers all quest weapons. Okay. Um, Alright, nearing the end of my COVID, I think. How are you? Yeah, no, I'm not doing too badly. Not doing too badly. Kind of run down, but um, 
overall, you know, <laughs> what's new. This is going to take me about 10 minutes to finish this one. Just putting it out there. Uh, survival can use pole arms, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure they can. It sounds like something they should be able to use. Yes, Koala says yes. Brilliant. Um, Gertie was saying that Warrior and Demon Hunter covers everything as well. In terms of collectibles. Is that... If you want to do pretty close with you, but for now I just want to start Harbor Guns. Of course! I, I feel that. 100%. Yeah, if I got to day one and I still didn't have them all at 50, I would absolutely go run what I did have so I didn't miss a single run for the ones I did have and then go try to level more. And then get it to 50, do another run, do another run, and then jump onto the next tune. Uh, Demon Hunters is not all weapons are hunter weapons. Completely unable to use tune. No, no, no. Warrior and Demon Hunter, Jess. Warrior and Demon Hunter. Two classes. Uh, there's a bow and int offhand, edgy pole arm and int mace. But it, for for appearances wise, it doesn't matter if they can, if they wouldn't want to equip it. They can still like uh, if it's a one handed mace, even if it's int a warrior, for example. I don't know if they can use one handed maces, but you know what I mean. That's um. I think in Demon Hunter Four is war waves. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure warriors can use bows, and I was shocked at that. But they can. They don't want to, but they can. Mm, that's a relic of classic, same for rogues if I remember correctly. I'm pretty sure rogues can use bows. I'm not sure. Look, I don't fucking remember shit anymore. Brain, brain no retain. Rogues can get bow appearance. There you go. Uh, I'm not seeing Dungeon LFR. Where is my event, Blizzard? Where is it? Oh no. Oh no. Can you imagine if they bow if they broke it? Check on a level 60. Zan Are you checking on a 60? I mean, my heart would drop through the fucking floor if that was the case. But starts at 10. Uh, warrior with ranged attack, most bizarre concept ever. Warrior core priority on bows slash guns over hunters in vanilla. Okay, they were empty, but still unhappy hunters. Yeah, because you could have you could have your weapons like your melee weapons and a ranged weapon at the same time, so they just used it as a stat stick. Because that was like when I wielded wands. I had a wand and I had a staff, or I had a wand and a dagger and an offhand, and it was a stat stick. We never used the wands to attack shit. Except when you'd be standing too fucking close and someone would right click the boss instead of left click and it'd go whoom and then everyone go, What the fuck? Who pulled? But um yeah. Yeah, it was just it was an ex it was for extra stats. Put it in offhands too. The appearances should, yeah. Start stick and get aggro. More aggro on first pull. Why do I never remember seeing in offhands working on my warrior? Can they use offhand or can they only use shield? I don't know. I'm not sure. That noise you made was very satisfying. The wand noise? I'm glad. I tried really hard to get it accurate because it was that's it's what they sounded like, right? <laughs> uh, they can use offhands as fury. There you go. Pretty much, yeah. Good. I'm glad. I'm very glad. <laughs> Then there were those ones that sounded like they rattled as they went, which were just weird. Oh fuck, that's great. Oh, Sheba, the, the map makeup's already been guessed, but would you like to take a stab at it? Uh, with nothing on the line, like... See if you get it first guess. My silly int book things are such, can't remember. Then again, who even mogs those? I mean, some people do. Wondering what Carsters did after going Oom and MC! Yes! Yep. 
And in Uldwa, that fucking, the second to last, uh, Be uh, Bezax. No, not Bezax. Maybe Bezax? General Fuckface, who stole all your mana. And you had to stand in the owie puddles to get it back. But you had to give priority to the healers to get their mana back. I uh, made sure to grab the appearance, so I guess. Yeah, potentially. Uh, oh, yeah, well, I mean, yeah. I can always check in ATT. I can switch to all mode and then, you know, find the quest. Uh, you could not have tweets up again. What? That's odd. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, for fuck's sake. Damn it. I think my buff is broken. Here we go. Not enough mana. Never enough mana. There you go. I'll piss off, you stupid. Go away. Oh, Lord. Send to Facebook again. I didn't. Buffer did. I don't know what's going on there, but it's fine. Maybe I might have to double check my settings in the app. Maybe it's accident. Maybe I've somehow accidentally set my default to Facebook or something. Because my default's always been to Twitter. But it might have, um... Yeah, it might have done some things. That's right. I'll, uh, I'll double check. Let me have a look. Settings! Yep. 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 I don't know how I, oh, no, wrong. I, have, I somehow set the default to Facebook, so I fixed that now. I don't even know how I did that. Good God. I'm very talented. Very professional streamer person here. Very professional. Um. Oh, there's a new world quest up. Or no, I didn't have that one before. Never mind. Never mind. I know what I'm doing. It's not new. I just, I just was going to circle around. That one just took me fucking forever to do. Uh, right. Oh, I didn't raid in Wrath. Didn't Vanilla? Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Man, I don't need mana. Uh, I reckon it's in Sorcerer Everworm. That was the first guess that anyone made. It's not. Those who are enthralled by the witches have stolen our birds. Free the falcons and take out the witches' minions. The mother guides my blade. <laughs> Very professional streamers. <laughs> I see what you're doing there, Seiko. Forgive me. Well done. Our birds will find a safe All right. place to roost, and we now have fuel. Uh, okay, so that's. I'm gonna ignore that world quest because I can't do the boss. So that's uh, Order of Embers done. So I'm gonna hearth back to the place and I'm gonna switch to Phelan, the druid. Uh, this is, it's night fey time. So if anyone is keen on a Valfir attempt, now's the time to do the thing. What do you decide? Very entertaining content, whichever platform it ends up on. Thank you, Seiko. Thank you so much. I was, I was doing some social scheduling today. Uh, that was actually what was burning me out because um, it's just too many platforms. Uh, but I got through a week's worth. Uh, I got through a week's worth last week, and I got through a week's worth this week. So, um, I'm hoping that tomorrow I'll be able to get through a couple more days, and then a couple more, and, and just get it done eventually. Um, but yeah, sitting down and doing socials, planning for an entire month, it takes about three to four days to get everything done. And it's, um, 
when I've had so much else on my plate lately, so much else on my plate, what with the inspection and, and all that kind of shit, it's just been, it's been, it's been a thing. So, hey, I'm, hey, I'm staying on top of it. Even if it is a week at a time instead of a whole month, I'm, I'm still making an effort. So, join in for attempt. Awesome. I don't have... I don't have the thing to un to make Valfia easier to kill. I don't have the seed. So if there is someone who does have it, I would be exceptionally appreciative of making use of your your character's abilities. Um, but if not, that's okay. We'll, f we'll figure something out. Zam, Landar, Meaty, Elm, and Gooses, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shits. Oh, I don't think I have a Night Fae T3 channeler. Oh, good, yeah, I would be extremely exhausted. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm at the seed ready to go, but Alliance, fingers crossed, hopefully we're on the same shard, Fairy. Hopefully we're on the, on the same shard. Um, but that is very generous and kind of you. I really appreciate that. Um, well, I managed to kill some armored units, but no, no melee units. So let's pop down another one that's able to kill shit. Because I don't think I can get kills with the flag bearer unless there's nothing else left. So that's fun. Um... 17 T2 channelers. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Let me double check mine. Don't think I have it, but hey, look, you know, it's worth checking, hey? Worth checking. You should be able to check from wherever you are just by um, clicking on your, what's it, I think. You should be able to check that stuff from wherever, but um, don't remember. It's hardly up. Is that what it's telling me? No. Um, oh no, that's Renown. Not, oh, you can't check from here. That's really unfortunate. Oh, that's going to take fucking forever. I can check the queen, like I can see that, but mm, okay, fair. Fair. No, not that one, this one. I don't have it, never did finish my reservoir upgrades. The only one I've got finished is fair. So I totally understand other people not having it done either. How much have I put in my ult since the Adam Ascendi thing? Of course, of course. Uh, did you pick up the Order of Embers Emissary? I did, I did. It popped up after obviously four and it was part of a, like as I was doing like a, a figure eight sort of shape, it actually popped up right in line with a couple of other ones. So yeah, I picked it up as though it were a world quest. Um, but yeah, not exalted yet. That's okay. That's okay, maybe next week. Maybe next week. Um, so if you would like to see if I'm up, wonderful. If you'd like to see how far fear is along with, uh, literally nothing. I have, oh no. Yeah, no, my transport network. I've got one for the anima conductor. One. <laughs> and neither of them. Uh, I don't have enough anima fucking to do it anyway. Oh, I do in my bags. I should probably deposit that. Ah, oh, oh, shit, it's rent. Why is the Night Fae the only fucking person where the upgrades person doesn't also have the, the fucking quest? It doesn't make any sense. The only fucking covenant. Treasure. So Dream Song Fen is not the one, is it? It's like down here somewhere. Challenge to Oh, so it's Tina Scythe. You got a channel to Tina Scythe. That makes sense. Okay. Um, I'm shocking revelation. Fat boy, British man. My friend told me I look like a male cult here in IRL. Oh no. Oh no. I'm not sure how I would feel about that. I hope that you're okay. Um. That's Valfia there. Okay. Ah, uh, so Saturday will be a blast. Also tiring, but a blast. Yes. Absolutely. Ah, uh, male culture and druid. Named Snuggle Bear. Aw. Find it's funny, but very uncanny. Ah, oh, that's funny. Alright, let's see if there's anyone here to, uh, do the thing. That... Looks like it might be a friend. Is that a friend? It's a friend! Maybe. 
Where the fuck is Valfair? Do we have to wait for it to spawn? Oh no. What's the spawn time? What's the respawn time on this fuckwit? Um, how do I spell Valfair? Okay. Where is Wowhead? <clears throat> Valfair. So, um, has it, I'm guessing it's been channeled if you can use the, the seed. Um, You just bought this mount for, for. Um, it may be something that I end up doing. But. Hi, the sun went. <gasps> Holy! Thank you so much for the resub. I hope you're having a wonderful day. How are you doing? How are you doing? Yeah, respawn timer. <laughs> um, okay, so as long as someone on our shard has channeled to the thingamajig, he should just be here. Um, so I'm 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 thinking maybe no one's channeled it, unless Fairy has a. P oh, there we go. Awesome. I should have known that was gonna happen. Are uh, we doing well as well? Absolutely. Definitely getting there, that's for sure. Zero out of a hundred attempts. This will be fun. In before fear gets it first drop because earrings. I did get the soul shape though. That's cool. Awesome. Oh, we're still in combat. <clears throat> Thank you so much for that. Much appreciated. No luck, but maybe next time. Fantastic. Go turn this in. Because I might as well. Uh, soul shape was guaranteed. Ah, gotcha. There were a few comments on where I had talking about it being like a 25% drop rate and stuff, so I wasn't too sure. Um, but they might have upped it when they hotfixed the ability to kill him. <laughs> uh, apparently the event is still two hours away. There goes my hype, but it means I can squish a few more fifties into the herd. Exactly. It's a it's a blessing, Zam. It's a blessing. You about trying out Lost Ark when it releases later this week. Oh, good luck. I hope it's wonderful. I hope you. Oh, excuse me. I hope you really enjoy it, Holly. What form do you take? 
Cool. Alrighty. So that's this one done. I'm gonna log out. And we're gonna jump onto Fia. Oh, you're not hitting the one I'm looking at. Oh no! That's alright, Megan. Next time. Next time we'll be on the same shard, maybe. I mean, it would help. Like, I don't know if you're America slash Oceanic. Um, but that would certainly help. <laughs> uh, are you attempting on more tunes? I only have one Night Fae, so no, unfortunately. <laughs> I've only got four at 60 and only one of them is Night Fae. I've got one in each Covenant. Um, but yes, that is that is all I can do for now. 25% drop rate because only one Covenant gets it. Fair. Fair. Uh, good afternoon, Shred. I get the mount on Night Fae tunes. Oh, that's interesting. Everything I was reading saying it's Night Fae only. All the comments that I was reading on Wowhead was the drop, the mount is Night Fae only. Night Fae, you can just buy it. Yeah, if you've got enough grateful offerings and anima, which I have neither. <laughs> um... to summon anyone can drop herm okay This is all still saying. It's really strange. I'm just gonna look at me just to skip anyway. Yeah, I'm. Um, whoa, hello. Um, this is quite a few more people than were here earlier. Uh, <sighs> yeah, everything I was reading says it ha it only drops on Night Fae, but all your other characters can still use it. Um, you cannot buy or loot this mount if you're not Night Fae. Um, maybe there's something more recent. There's only fortunes. Yeah, everyone talking about it dropping is Night Fae, and no one has seen it drop on someone who isn't Night Fae. Where's the... Um, get on the 50s as well. Uh, it can, it can drop on it can drop anyone who on anyone who's I think 51 plus they it can drop under 60 but um they can't use it until they hit 60. where do, do we have like a do we have a um a source for it dropping on non night fay people for non night fay people because like I I want to believe that I really do but I can't find it like I, I can't find it uh, have you got any mounts so far? Not today. Not yet today, uh, Skeptic, but we're definitely working on it. Welcome on in. Uh, I hope you're having a wonderful day. You're very welcome. Um, what sort of content do you usually do about this? <laughs> Collectors, uh, like collections and stuff like that, transmog, mounts, uh, pets, toys, uh, sometimes a little bit of raiding and mythic plus and stuff like that, but my main, um, my main focus is completionist shit. Uh, yeah, I, I... Hi, the Sunwell. 
Matra, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Much appreciated. I'm super chill just for it. To raiding in dungeons? Totally fair. Totally fair. Yeah, it's, um, like, everything I'm reading, nothing is saying other covenants can have a drop. So I'm just, I'm, I, I really want to believe you, but I just cannot find that information. And my conductors mouse like Valfir, Geiger, and Maljaxis, and Harika, and Revendreth only drop from covenant members. That's what I thought. That's what I, that's what I was saying, Ugh. but I've been told otherwise by some members of the community who I, who I absolutely trust because they've never steered me wrong before. So that's why I'm like, what, what, what yeah, mm. confuse. I am a confuse. Actually, this is probably gonna be faster. <clears throat> well, I can Dr. Page in the guide says drop his night fair only. Yeah, and all the comments on both Valfia and on the mount itself all say night fair only. My raid lead had it drop his necro, but he had picked up night fake covenant. Well, if he's picked up night fake covenant, then. So wait, he was in necro when it dropped. But he had access to the he'd already unlocked Night Fae as well. Like, is that what is that what you're saying? None of my characters have ever changed um covenants. They're all like I've got a Necro, Kyrian, Night Fae, Venthyr, uh, and none of them have ever switched, so if if you have to be at a certain level with Night Fae, then I've only got the one tune who's possible. Mm. <sighs> oh, obviously, since Jack has betrayed you, and now he's lying to you. No, I don't think I don't think Jack is lying to me. I think Jack is giving me the information that he has to the best of his knowledge, but it it just so happens to be a little bit skewed, is all. Like, I'm at eighty renown, able to swap tonight. Fae for a mount attempt. Um, fears at eighty. She's my only one at eighty. No, she's not swapping. Um, I don't have the ability to swap. Like, it's not a. Yeah, that's okay. There's an article in my head. Yep, but the article is from the beginning of Shadowlands, and it's like a year and a half old. No, not a year and a half, but it's, you know, very old now. Um, so How may I assist you? it's not necessarily correct. Um, shit changes. Like the hotfix, you know? <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's okay. That's, that's why I thought, like, maybe that's how it started, but then they've changed it or something. Uh, but... Oh, it's okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go through other tunes that have no chance. Um. <laughs> oh, is it me or the other person that is DC'd? The covenant or lack thereof. Yeah. Have you done all the covenant campaigns? I have. I have across four different tunes. And this was two months ago when we were bored with raiding, doing other stuff. Yeah. Look, maybe, maybe it counts. Maybe your your raid leader has the Night Fae box checked because they've got Night Fae unlocked at a certain level, or something. Maybe it counts you as being in the covenant as long as you have access to it, or something. But yeah, I, um... Yeah. It's all a bit of a mess. I know, I just need to pull my finger out and do Necrolord still. Necrolord was pretty awesome. Uh, it would make sense it's only covenant since you can buy those mounts for offerings and animate covenant vendors. Yes. 
However, it would also make sense if it's like, you know, anyone can get it to drop, but if you're having shit luck, you need to be of the Covenant to be able to have that BLP, you know? Like, it, it that also kind of makes sense. So it's, yeah, it's all just a bit messy. <laughs> But that's alright. I am I'm happy uh, assuming that it's uh, Night Fae only and just um, having the one attempt. This one's 10 out of 100. Uh, okay, so... There is no mount from Kyrian. So we're gonna skip that. Uh, okay, what the fuck is Tormentors of Torghast? I have never done it and I don't know how it works. Educate me. How do I get this mount? <laughs> Every two hours on the hour, bosses will always spawn in the order listed below. Apparently I have done it three times. I don't know how I managed to do that, but that's fine. Um, does it mean it'll be spawning in like 20 minutes? Even hours for us? Okay, so it'll be 6 p.m. Good, good. Done it once and have no idea what it is. Good. 8 p.m. It's 5.30. Wouldn't the next one be 6 p.m.? Then every two hours in the mall. Okay. What can I do until then? Oh, I'm in Melbourne. Right, so it would have been 5 p.m. So it would be 7 p.m. for me. So it's like an hour and 20. Okay. Um... Uh, so we can skip that one. That's okay. Uh, I can head elsewhere for now and I can come back in an hour and 20. Because I'll still fucking be here. <laughs> Let's go bonk Harika on the noggin. Uh, you get a cache with soul cinders and possibly a mount. There is a, there is a mount that comes from it too. Where how does a timer on front page? Good. Thank you for that. I must have it deactivated. Tormentors, there we go. No, it is turned on. How am I not seeing it? I'm just good, fine, that's fine. Uh, right, so next one is Malleus. Malleus Grakis. Um, who I don't have. But yeah, there is there is a mount. Chain of Bermathra. Uh, and my hearth to place is on cooldown, so I'm just gonna, oh, I should probably check my vault. I'll do that later. Kishul says a whole bunch of transmogs. It does. It does. Should I regularly get all different tormentors for the achievement? Yeah. Yeah, uh, probably not going to do that for a while. Um, but that's fine. There is a mount and I will do it at least once today. Uh, we'll start with that. There, there will be a time where I'll probably start working on achievements on stream. But for now, I don't have time to... I, I do not play outside of stream. I don't have time. Uh, so... <laughs> fun times. Fun times. Like, I play video games for a living, um, but that means that I don't have time to play video games outside of when I'm working. <laughs> Maybe one day. Maybe one day when I have enough money to pay people to do shit for me, but not yet! Mm. Well, multiple times every day, two hours, you only get the chest contains amount once weekly, yep. And then boss can also drop a pet, but can't remember the name. That would be uh, Grella Boy, or whatever. I don't know how the fuck to pronounce that, but it's, um... Grella boy, I don't know. Yeah, but it's that one. It's the one that's spawning at um, 9 p.m. my time. So in three and hours and 20 minutes. Uh, 8 p.m. server time, cool. Uh, that was not what was said though, so. <laughs> when when Vexum said for us, it's, it's um, you know, 8 p.m. for us. I was assuming that they meant me and them because you know, it says fucking everywhere that I'm from Brisbane, so. Uh, yeah, I assumed that that's what they were talking about because they didn't say server time. Uh, but that's all right. We figured it out. We got there. We got there. Mm. Yes, that one. Growler boy drops the pet. I don't fucking know how to pronounce that. That's a word that doesn't exist, so it's fine. <laughs> uh, hello, Zeren. Welcome back. 
Uh, yeah, I'm doing pretty well. I'm really fucking tired, but I am alive, and that's what matters. Uh, this one I can't pronounce. This is my usual go-to. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can see why. I can see why. That makes sense. Uh, I'm gonna go knock Harika out. Is fear tired? Oh lord, yes. Type into Google, see what it thinks. That's a good question, actually. Uh... No, it's it's giving me um a different word. Yeah, now nah, it's giving me a bunch of different words. It's not gonna work. Oh well. All right, let's go get a uh, a pitching fire stick, sharp pointy stick. Let's get a sharp pointy stick. I cannot get it. The fear stalkers, hope breakers, left these souls to rot. Please remedy A bolt. This That's it. New bubble tea. Also water. I have water. I have water. I always forget that I have to talk to him again to trigger the whole fucking thing. Like. <sighs> Hydrate. Mmm. There doesn't seem to be any hydrates in my queue, though. What? Yeah. I just drank some, literally. Then. We translate set to English. As well drink it, indeed. Indeed. How lot? How many attempts do I have on this bitch? Um. Forty-five. I know I can buy it. I refuse. <laughs> there are other things that cannot be gotten via a drop that I need to use my anima and grateful offerings on first. Oh shit, that was the wrong button. Oh well. Okay, five weeks to start d 3 That's fantastic. Yeah, if I had time to go farm it up, I would, but, like, if I had time, there's also, like, a million other things that are probably a higher priority than that. Alright, Harika is done. Uh, let's go do High Mountain Paragon while we're waiting for, um, shit to spawn. Hey, Delpha, how you doing? Welcome on in. Hope you're having a great day. Is good player lady. Uh, thank you. Having time in this economy? Yeah, no. 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 Get fucked, mate. <laughs> oh, Lord. Hmm. Okay. Nope, that's Valshara. High Mountain. This one. Let's go get some stuff done. This one I actually, is this the, that's um, Unshackled. So where's High Mountain? Uh, this one. Ah! Ooh, we're gonna get a cache today. I think, maybe. Pretty sure we're gonna get a cache today. Look how close we are, 88%. It's exciting. Maybe we get a mount. <laughs> Ooh, wouldn't that be lovely? I've got two hundred, no, 199. I've got 199 mounts to go. 199 mounts to go. Oh, I was on Warcraft mounts today, grabbing pictures for uh, Instagram shit. And I went over to the 9.2 mounts and had a count, and I forget what the number was, but I was very disappointed. I think it's like 35 or 45 or something like that. I know it, I know it's a multiple of five, um, because that made me happy, but the fact that there's so many of them makes me very sad. <clears throat> uh, 
Mount Cache? Maybe a Moose Cache? Oh, for fuck's sake, that's not the right button. Play Lady of Kingslayer Mage Player. No. No. I might be good at collecting, but that's, um, that's about it. That's alright, I'm happy with that. Um... Yeah, 199 to go. Nine point two mounts. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty one, twenty four, twenty five, twenty eight, twenty nine. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. Oh, 43. I was entirely wrong on all fucking counts. There are 43 mounts coming in 9-2. So that's, um... So I have to get more than 43 mounts during the entirety of next patch in order to keep up. Uh, you do have a Kingslayer title, do I? Is it the Kingslayer? It is! I do have that one! Cool! Go me! Contact with one of my Pathfinder teams that was Hello, Josh. Oh, 109 mounts on the wall, 109 mounts on the wall. Take one down, write it around. 9.2 comes out, 241 mounts on the wall. Fuck, look. Shush. <laughs> I don't like that, okay? I don't like that. It's fine. It's fine. It's counting with fear again. Yes! I count lots, don't I? It's something I do frequently. I hope you like it. Uh, John, Koala, Faden, Dunno, and Kludgy, congratulations on your bonus shit. Well done. It's the title you get for Murdering Lich King. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. Okay. So I learn mounts of bugs. I mean, some of them are bugs. There are a few bug shaped mounts. Having a lot of difficulty with these particular quests, so. Uh, good thing about 9-2 is you can get a lot, a lot of mounts while going for 9-2 KSM, yeah. Uh, I would like to get KSM earlier in the patch this time around. Um, so I'm not panicking close to the end. We'll see how we go though. <clears throat> Maybe we do KSM on Fridays until we get it, and then then we do PvP <laughs> until we get those mounts. Thank you, champion. It's gonna take me I years, fucking decades, to get those fucking mounts. So three months uh, in in probably best for KSM pushing. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, is that because there's going to be, like, by that point, there'll be a whole lot of, like, strategies and, and they will have gone through a full couple of rotations of all the, um, all the, um, bits and pieces and, like, they'll just, everyone will be more comfortable with it? Or what's the... <clears throat> But I can definitely set myself an alarm for three months in. <laughs> Optimal point for gearing with ah with tier legendaries, of course, of course that makes sense. It just makes it a little easier to push higher. Love your upgrades by then. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Well, I can most certainly set an alarm for the three month mark, and uh, and then we can make Fridays. Uh, a KSM push night. 
Because, I mean, although, you know, Mythic Plus keys are considered high-end content and stuff, uh, it is still collection stuff, it's still completion stuff, I want them out. <laughs> <clears throat> oh god, can't breathe today. Judging by the PTR case, I'm just gonna be a cakewalk. Good. Good. Uh, grinding up honor levels, on the other hand, is going to be a shit fight. <sighs> yeah, buy level to get. Yeah, two nineteen is on the PTR. No issue. Jesus. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> <clears throat> Drogbar shard. No shoes. As long as the tank is stayed alive, of course, of course. That drives these crystal furies into a horrendous no rage. The, the furies must be stopped before they cause untold damage to Thunder Totem. Trying to kill the PTR. Seems like not many alliance on there. Fury Carcon shouldn't be here. Uh, she's a bit considering. Yeah, 24 and cranky. Yeah, PTR pushing has died out. Yeah, that's certainly won't last forever. That is for certain. Damage those enraged furies could have unleashed upon Thunder Totem. Looks like it's cheaper for me to just buy the enchant that's available on the auction house. <clears throat> uh, a lot of people were just there to test the new 9.2 stuff mechanics out, not really test out and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Have anything ancient to trade needs to be at least two centuries old. Good lord. And yet it's still a loss to craft it. <laughs> Need twelve laylight shards. Yeah, okay. Okay. <clears throat> not worth. For like 75 rep, not worth. Together we are high mountain. Um If I do all these and I'm like this far off, then maybe <laughs> I'll consider it, but uh nah, that's fine. I still enjoy Holy Pelia with the puppies just spamming wood. This doesn't watch well with me. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I mean, if there are no alliance on there doing it, then is it possible to just make a template Holy Pelly tune? 
and give it a go that's on Horde side instead? Like, does that not work the same for testing what you're trying to test? Keys. For as much of a decision either. What if damage and stuff? Or if not. Hmm. Hey, Cloud. Uh, we are mount farming. I'm grinding up some reputation to get a paragon case from Legion that hopefully contains a moose. Ah. Oh! It was, it was the Emissary. I didn't even notice it was the Emissary. Fantastic. Let's go turn that in and go get our... Uh... Oh, we could get a formula as well. Nick. Lock of the Versatile. Hmm. Still missing the last one. Um... Each power should break is probably what I'm going to be running in rage just because it looks fun. Hmm. It is a day for flying. <sighs> where is my recipe? I have just the thing for you. And where is my moose? <sighs> Fine. No formula and no moose. Makes for an unhappy fear. <laughs> That's all right. <clears throat> Where's the chicken? Not in the box, that's for sure. Wings and press it as a belly. Going for the moose as well? Oh, good luck, Nutty. I hope that you have better luck than I do. I'm gonna knock over these last couple of world quests because I'm gonna need another box anyway, so yeah. And then we're gonna head over to Unshackled for their Paragon Cache. We've got another hour before Tormentors are up, so we'll be fine. There's a cooldown on the lock from the earrings. Maybe. Maybe. There's my play shaman. Ooh. Ooh. If you just used up all her earring luck already. Excuse me. Excuse me. Maybe they, look, I prefer the idea that they're recharging. Personally. Those foul harpies better stick to the trees, or we'll make sure a sea of feathers and witch blood carpets the forest floor. That's where I'm going it. Like it looks alright. Oh. Hey Jackie, welcome back. Yeah, I'm doing alright. Bit tired, but you know, what the fuck's new? Definitely doing the things and the stuff. Elia's cursed magic threatens High Mountain. Her ritual must not be completed. Please. Your souls belong to me! Incorrect. Your Your efforts are for not mortals. Odin will never be free. Not decisive victory. The sea witch overplayed her hand. 
Mm. Same. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a thing. As we move on the Aquarium, if you keep pushing though, you'll just be spending HP on God. Body. Ah, okay. Yeah, I have no idea what any of this means, and it's fine. I think S I think S O T R is Shield of the Righteous. Um, but I that's about it. That's, that's where my brain just checks out. <laughs> I let spelling. Alrighty. Next time I land and kick off again, it will pop up. Oh, Tay. It's so much. Hmm. <laughs> oh, Tay. button. Uh, so we're done here, except for the work order, which I refuse to do. So, on to Unshackled. <clears throat> Is he really a paladin mate? No. No, I am not. Um, no, officially have not found a fire thing. Ah, rather have spent that much on her. <laughs> good, good. Gosh, excuse me. I really am quite tired. Uh, Alright. The Unshackled. Uh, ugh, 66%. I don't... I don't know if I'm going to get to... I don't think I'll get 34% of a reputation bar. Um... That's okay. 54 attempts at Unshackled Mount Drop for me. Wow! 54, holy shit. That's a few. That's a few. Um, what am I doing? I was gonna do something, and now I've forgotten what it was. Ah, oh, I was gonna check. There is! Good. So it's a, um, it's an Unshackled Emissary Day, which is nice. Pistol fried Rissol. And get a profit. Okay, so I want 10. What are doing? I can type it, you know, D. Cue that. And then it's the. Is there a cooking vendor? I feel like there is. I hope I have what you need. One day at a time. You're wrong. Shell seller, pot stirrer. Mm. You're a 
fight for sore eyes. No, <clears throat> we will overcome. Um, so Tabard or Dark Moon, you could be wearing to help. Hat or Dark Moon hat. Uh, not. It wouldn't help by much. It's fine. It doesn't bother me. No one left behind. Um, that was just storming was 50. That must have been before the nerfs, yeah. Um, the Legion caches had their, their drop rates uh, increased a fair bit. I think I need to go back to get the vendor cooking shit. That's okay. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I got a couple of mine before the the change, but um, I got a handful of mine afterwards. But that's okay. I'm just gonna keep going till I get it. I'm stubborn. By the way. Like this list just keeps getting shorter and shorter. So like it's not it's not a bad thing. I've only had four attempts so far for Unshackled Paragon, um, and I'm alright with that. It's Fear Stubborn. Um, we've got one for that already. I think it's just Fear or Fiamma or something. That's the one. What do you want, Ritima? What do you mean not open? It's right there. Fuck's sake. <clears throat> Hello, Chaos. How are you going? Welcome back. <laughs> Because I'm lazy, we port back up there. <laughs> Busy day out, I'm tired, yeah. I I feel that. I'm fucking exhausted. Um, but I haven't gone anywhere. I think I'm just... Honestly, I think I'm unwell, but I don't know. Because every time I start feeling like I'm going, oh yeah, I think I'm okay, and then I'm like, nope, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm sick again. Like, I, I just, I can't get back to well, which is uh, really defeating, really, honestly. Like, that is, I feel kind of defeated. Because um, no matter what I do... My body just won't, doesn't want to cooperate. But you know, it is what it is. Uh, I We did food prep last night after stream. <laughs> uh, and I had like 10 fucking meal prep containers across it, laid out across the kitchen bench and packed them all full. Uh, and the food that's in mine is almost, almost AIP, uh, which is a pretty good feeling. Um, so, and I, today I ate all of it. I ate my breakfast, I ate my snacks, I ate my lunch. So it's a, it's a good start. I mean, I did have a bottle of Coke, but um, I was, I felt like I was dying. I, I needed something. Uh, next time I think I'll try to have some caffeine instead maybe, but uh, like some, some tea or something, but uh, we'll see. But yeah, hopefully if I get back on, like if I'm eating properly, for, for a week or so, maybe my body will start realizing that I am actually trying. <laughs> and it'll it'll let me have some energy. Only one way to find out, and that's to stick with it. This fear fucking exhausted always, good lord. Uh feel better soon. Thank you, Chaos. Me too. Me too. 
it's no fun when you like you finally you know you've got the motivation to do something and you're really excited to get the, get it done and your body just will not cooperate it's like thanks you're awesome this is struggling ah oh, it's the it's the wiggle fish okay can I put it in will it work if I just pop it into there like does that yes good Any more wigglefish around here? No, they can be here, but are they here? Oh no, there's one. That's fine. Uh, I know that struggle every day with fiber. Oof, yeah. Yeah, it's a bit shit. I mean, I've like I've been here before, but it doesn't usually last this long. Today, like today, this time, it's lasted quite a while. Um, it's a little bit concerning. I don't, I don't know what to do. So I'll just focus on one thing at a time. Focus on my eating. Um, focus on my diet and get that kind of better. And hope that... Hope that that helps. Red. That is really fucking cool. Just saying. Um, got any amounts in this stream? Not yet. Not yet. I've got a bad feeling about this. Be careful. I would love to cross something off my list. It'd be very nice. Rum Hay going. Welcome back. I don't know what you're talking about, sorry. You lot, all of you, come here. Alrighty. Out we go. Could get rid of them for good. 
Um, alright, let's check for struggling carp just north of here. Hopefully we'll find the last two that we need and wipe that off the map. That is one. Go. Boop. There we go. One more. Mm. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, let's head up to misdirection. Then we'll move our way around that way this time. A little bit different. Usually we go the other way. We go anti-clockwise. Let's go clockwise this time. <sighs> Might as well shake it up a bit. drop something I need. Ah, the pet. Scale brood hydra. There's still so much shit that I need from Nashita and from Mechagon. It's a little bit gross. But I guess that's what I get for not spending any time here at all when it was current. Just like there's going to be a million and one things for me to get from Corthia later. class do you prefer playing? Not Paladin. Uh, I main a Fire Mage uh, and I have for like 15 years now. <laughs> the entire time I've been playing I've always played a Mage. Uh, back when I was raiding and stuff I would swing between Fire and Arcane. Uh, but now that I don't have to play the meta, I'm Fire all the time. Uh, yeah, how about you? Pelly first love from Neverwinter Night Days. Ah, uh, far out. It's been a very long time since I've played Neverwinter Nights. Very long time. Da 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 Bomb. V, Ali, Bjorn, Mid, Dono, Zam, Talus, and Meaty. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. So it's just all instant cast now. It's too much damn fun for... Fair enough. Someone clip that and removes the knot. Ah, <sighs> dear. The Buster is still on cooldown and I'm still having trouble getting these killer melee units. Like, why is that so difficult? I don't understand. Have we just been picking maps that are entirely not melee or something? I don't know. I don't know. Yes, follow the link in chat, log in with your Twitch account, and drag and drop those units to the battlefield. Oof. 
Elite Naga. Let's go slay some Elite Naga. And Elzana, Arrow of Thunder. Brilliant. This is not going to be easy at all. This is the one that I kept having difficulty with, but um, I guess it was on my 53 Demon Hunter, so makes sense. Also, once it was in tank spec, it was fine. So I should be fine on a 60 Mage. Only one way to find out. Is this one of those, it's the, yeah, it's in the wrong place. The arrow's in the wrong place. Because she can spawn in multiple locations, which is one of my a little annoying. Seeks to earn glory in my name. It would be cruel of me to deny them this opportunity. Right, I just need to make sure I interrupt that heal. I should be okay. Said interrupt. <laughs> Another victory. Interesting. One day I will allow you to serve as my champion. need to slay some elite naga as well so I might as well do that while I'm here. So they are right here. Congratulations, Nutty. Well done. Well done. <laughs> okay, so that's the Elite Naga slain. Oh, this one's from the depths. We can do jumping jellies, and while we're here, I can go do my divas as well. I don't have any, um, strange elemental bits on me, but I don't really care too much. Um, I'll just go in and do the basic bitch one. up somewhere safe. Thanks for rescuing him. Night free tables are so broken. Oh dear. the campaign with my level 41s. Oh wow. Yeah, it's just a little bit broken. Oh. 
I'm sure I can't solo that. With Mimnal Jaxi too. Wow. Nicely done. Conducting dark experiments. I'm pretty sure I'm still short on my Necrolord. To deny them their specimens. I think I've got like one chem as like the final one to go. And I just can't seem to to get a group together. But I'm also I don't have any tall gas minions or anything like that, so there's always the possibility that it's just on me. Like <laughs> he doesn't count. Please wait until 48 before finishing last five missions for Nightfay. Well, how come? I mean, if you can finish them, why do you wait? Excellent question. Fair, fair. Like, far be it from me to, to assume you're doing something wrong, but it's a little bit curious. Might have to go do some jumping jacks and screaming, get my adrenaline up, because I'm falling asleep. Which is really not a good thing. It just like my, my brain feels heavy. It's the weirdest sensation. See now you think that would help, but it doesn't. It just gives me a headache, which makes me more sleepy. Tired, honestly. Honestly. You're waiting for a welcome mat? <sighs> yeah, I just I feel like I, I can't breathe. I feel like my head and my, my brain is just heavy and I feel like I'm moving a third of the pace that I usually like it's it's the yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Uh that is what it is. Um Maybe once I finished Unshackled before I head to Tolbarad. Still got half an hour before um before Tormentors kicks off. Uh, maybe I'll go in the kitchen and just have a bit of a stretch and stuff. Coffee? I don't drink coffee. Uh, it's gross. I don't like it. Um, I do drink I do drink tea though, and bubble tea comes with a buttload of sugar as well. Uh, if you make it the you know. A particular way. You can make it with less sugar, but uh, I'm not gonna. And that maybe might help. Maybe some dinner. Though there is always the risk that dinner puts me into rest and digest mode, which makes me even sleepier. But we'll see. We'll see. Something nearby is channeling a massive amount of arcane energy. We must strike it down while we still have the chance. Uh, I don't know if you should really need some rest for the upcoming two weeks. Nah, I'm, uh... I'm good. I, I want to get this stuff done, but, um... Yeah, I don't know. We'll see how I go. 
I'll, I'll take stock every time there's a battle and just see how I'm feeling and go from there. Uh, I can't solo the world boss, so we are going to head to the To Soar Like a Ray quest. It's That's odd. Is there only two um, uh, person quests? Usually isn't, isn't there three usually? What did I do want to not realize? Oh, maybe it's at the, maybe it's, no, it, I don't think it was at the, um, the board. Yeah, it should be three. Caffeine only works if you don't take it regularly. Yeah. Yeah. You build quite a tolerance to it pretty fucking quickly. Ah, uh, cold water might help. Well, this is still cold because of the double wall bottle, so, uh. Hello, friend. Hold on to hope. Have you ever swooped on a raid? It's outrageous! <laughs> God, I hate him. I hate him so much. Because I did the, I did the, um, the one with the hidden treasure in the clamshell. And now I'm doing this egg one. I don't think I've done another one. If he if he doesn't ding a rank, then I know something's wrong. Because they're supposed to get a rank every day. So maybe I did pick something. Maybe there was actually a quest in the cave that was one of their things that wasn't out in the open or something. There's always a chance that that's a thing. Okay, the hub found that something. Yeah, I might have picked it up from the hub. That might be what's going on. Uh, oh, right, I need to turn that in. Shit. <laughs> But we'll see. We'll see. We'll go back, turn everything in. And if he doesn't level, Be careful, then we'll know something's wrong. Excuse me. Yeah, the, the board definitely doesn't have anything for me. Can I do anything for you? There we go, yeah. It was it was back here. Ah! Oh, and his look. Hi, friend. Super friends. You're waiting for a welcome mat? Stay sharp. Try not to be too reckless. Oh, there's the not fuck. Wrong button. Anyway, uh, okay, and then so we gotta see what's in Poen's bag, which is all the way over here. So we'll go do that as well. Because we are at 97% Paragon. Asshole. Actually, summons might get me the... Maybe I should go and... Does summons from the deeps give, um, from the depths give rep? I know the, the world boss does, but I can't, I can't do that. Another 50. Yay, Zay! Well done. Well done. Yeah, how many are you up to? That's a really good question, Kaz. One of my favorite spots. I always keep snacks in my pocket. Ah, uh, 400 rep with the unshackled. Thank you, Poen. Thank you, Poen. And there's that's it. That's it. Oh, that's great. Actually, fuck this. I'm gonna port back. Ah, uh, 3850s. Nice, Sam. Well done. Well done. That is impressive as hell. Oh, excuse me. I think that always drops a red token. It does. I, I did. I, ma I imagine it would, but I didn't know. I didn't remember that I would get one at that point. So it was. Makes me happy. So let's go see if I can get a uh, royal. What's it called? What is it called? Royal Snapdragon. Binary! Thank you, you so much for the raid. Not prepared. Welcome, Binary. 
Welcome on in. How is your stream? How are you doing? Thanks for the info yesterday. Oh, you're so welcome. You're so welcome. Thank you for the cast of command, Shiba. Much appreciated. Okay. No mount. Five attempts. No mount. Uh, Alright, so I can take that one off. There is an ad starting soon. Uh, Tolbarad. So I should be able to do Tolbarad and then head to the moor in preparation for Tormentors of Torghast. Then once that's done, it'll be... Island Expeditions! So if anyone's keen to join me for that, you're very welcome to do so. Very welcome to do so. Quiet but chill, questing for fashion and doing PvP! Sounds like a plan. I hope you had fun. Uh, dailies. Oh, it's Horde controlled. I get some extra ones tonight, today. Excuse me, very rude. What do you see? Speak, friend. Loktar. No mount, indeed, Sarah, but that's alright. Next time. Next time. How's streaming? I've been lurking. Oh, thank you so much for the lurk. Yeah, it's been, it's going good. Um, no mounts yet, but we've definitely made some progress towards some, and that's always a good feeling. Uh, it was an emissary day for both Storm's Wake and Order of Embers, so we got a chunk more rep towards Exalted for them, which is nice. Um, yeah, look, we're going. We're going. <clears throat> no mounts. Yet. Island Expeditions may hold one, as may Tormentors of Torghast. Oops. Mm, I'm trying to get rep for Old Hillpaw and get the straw hat. Yes. Look, rep grinds are honestly one of my favorite things to do in the game. I, I kid you not. I know it seems really, really silly, but it's like you do a thing and you get a set amount of rep and you have this many days and if you're consistent with it, then you get a thing. And that just, like, rep grinds are often one of the very first things I do when a new expansion hits. I hit cap, uh, I get Lawmaster along, or usually I get I hit cap before Lawmaster's finished, uh, but I'll, I'll get to cap, I'll finish Lawmaster off, and then I'll go do my rep grinds. Like, that's usually the first thing I do once I've done the, the basic stuff. Um, just because I feel like it opens up a whole lot of stuff to me really early on. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I do enjoy it. I do enjoy it. And often, the rep grind you're doing get like for example with Shadowlands, the rep grind got you a bunch of conduits, it got you a shitload of anima, it got you more rep, it got you some gear, it, like you know what I mean? It, it just, like from doing world quests, all of those things are things that are probably a good idea to do when you hit cap, so yeah, it's um, it's good fun. You'll get there. Consistency is key. Consistency is key. I think I like rep grinds in current content, but old rep grinds just feel tedious to me. Look, um, honestly, I don't mind them. Like, obviously, I've been farming up Storm's Wake and uh, Order of Embers as an example of old rep grinds. Uh, and I've also been doing High Mountain Paragon and Unshackled Paragon. I think the Paragon stuff feels worse than the original rep grind because there's an end point to the original rep grind, and although there is an end point to getting Paragon caches as well, like when there's no longer any rewards from them, you don't care about them anymore, but you don't know when that end point is going to be. It could be after one cache, it could be after 27, it could be after 119. So there's no, like, so that kind of feels a bit, I understand it's to keep people doing the content or whatever, and I, I get that, or, you know, an extra reward for extra effort, but, I don't know. There's just there's so many things to do in the game already. 
<laughs> Why? I mean, it. Okay, that's. I guess that's how they've added more mounts. So I can't really complain about having more mounts to farm, can I? But uh, they're not my favorite thing to do. They're not my favorite thing to do. But that's all right. Look, everyone's gonna have things that they love about the game and things that they don't love. And I, I don't. You know, that's. If I didn't want to do it, like if I didn't like it that much, I just wouldn't do it. Very simple. But the uh, the reward of the mount at the end is worth the suffering to me, so. To be honest, I don't know exactly what I'm doing, but getting gifts out of dirt mounds is exactly is what I've been doing, trying to figure out the food making too, so I can just make him food, of course, absolutely. Look, um, there are guides out there if you want to make sure that you're doing like the most efficient path or whatever to getting to where you want to go, but they are unnecessary. You can absolutely just kind of wing it and get there eventually. Uh, but yeah, like it is entirely up to you which path you decide that you want to take. Um, I like the old style rep grinds a lot more than the modern ones. Being able to get rep from dungeons, turn-ins, killing mobs. Uh, was much more fun for me to do than four dailies and wait till tomorrow. Yeah, having it time gated is a bit of a pain. Um, I understand why they have it time gated now though. Uh, although people don't have to, like I, I keep saying, you know, if you don't want to, you don't have to. Like no one is forcing you to grind up a rep to Exalted. However, people will absolutely play 24 hours a day, seven days a week, grinding out a dungeon if they can do it endlessly until all of their stuff is at max. Uh, especially if there's a buff to it. So the old school ones, you could grind it endlessly and there was also like, you know, Alvor and Scryer. <laughs> there, there were shoulder enchants. And if it was Biss, then you ground that shit out because if you didn't have your best in slot shoulder enchant, you weren't coming to raid. Be so because of those arbitrary rules that, that raid leaders and guild leaders and stuff can set for their players, there is that pressure to do it for 24 and burn out on the content. So with the time gates, Blizzard is actively preventing people from being able to burn out on it because they can't do it endlessly. Um, and I think that's what they're trying to aim for is making people not feel like they have to because they literally can't, uh, which, you know, extends the the viability of that content and make sure that people don't get but it's like island expeditions everyone fucking hates island expeditions because they did them endlessly because it was the most efficient way to get anima oh not anima fucking azurite you know like they didn't have to do it but it was the best way so they granted out because there were you know fucking raid leaders out there saying if you don't have a neck at level whatever it was then you're not coming to raid and so they did them and did them and did them and did them and did them constantly, endlessly, until they got to that level. And then said, oh, fucking hate Island Expedition. I'll never see another one again. I'll be happy. But it's because they chose to burn themselves out on it. So now that you can't, you know, there's, they're less likely to, to burn out on particular types of content. But I, I get the psychology behind it. It doesn't work for everyone, but uh, it works for the majority of players. And so uh, that's what Blizzard tried to cater to, the majority of players. Um, see, I strongly prefer other reps, uh, to something like Avowed. Yeah, Avowed is like a slow grind, but you can do it endlessly if you want to, and I just can't. <laughs> it's so slow. So fucking slow. Revere, yes. I love Island's Toxic. I don't mind them at all. I don't mind them at all. Uh, but there are there is a large portion of the player base that is burnt out on them because of the way that they were used back in BFA. It's not the way they were designed, but it was the way that they were used. Um, you know, and, and fair enough. If you if you did fifty seven islands every fucking day for you know months and months and months straight, then I can understand why that's too much. Uh, but you know. I just want the mount. Given the opportunity, players will optimize the fun out of a game. Correct. Correct. That is a fantastic quote. I'm going to say it again. Given the opportunity, players will optimize the fun out of a game. That's absolutely true. Uh, it took hours. I just wanted it over with. I think folks were hoping Torghast would be designed the same way as Islands in terms of the grinding. 
But I don't understand why, because they bitched about how they were, how islands were designed. So why the fuck would Blizzard design something the same when people did nothing but bitch about that thing? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, what? why does that... that doesn't make any sense. Oh yes, as a developer, I am going to take this thing that everyone bitched about for the entirety of an expansion and make something exactly the same! Like... Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. But you, honestly, you can't win. Because either you put a time gate on it so that people don't burn out, and then people bitch that they don't want a time gate and they want to be able to do everything in week one. Or you let them do everything in week one and have no time gates and then people bitch that they're burnt out. You can't, you can't win. Literally. So, you know, it's, uh... I do not envy game developers. <laughs> Especially when they've got player bases as large and as diverse as WoW's. You're not. I think the more hardcore folks would prefer to just grind out and get it over with. Yeah, I know, but then they still they still bitch about how, like, they don't want, like, you know, I've been doing this over and over and over and over again. It's like, yeah, because you chose to. That was your choice. Yeah, but I have to. Well, no, you don't. Yeah, but my guild leader says I have to. Well, yeah, but that's a construct of the players, not of the game. You know, it's, yeah, it's, it's difficult. You can't, as a developer, you cannot control how your players are going to play your game. All you can do is try to encourage them to play it in a way that is fun. That doesn't burn them out. And that's what they've tried to do. At least it's what it looks like they've tried to do. Uh, like how they do Valor Cap. They could do that with reps. You can only get a certain amount week one. If you fall behind, you can grind more to catch up. I do like that. I do like that. I wonder how they would operate it in terms of reputation bars, um, because obviously currency and rep is programmed somewhat differently. Unless it's not, unless unless reputation behind the scenes is just a currency that you earn but can't spend or something like that, it'd be really interesting. But people would still complain about it being time gated because it'd operate the exact same way. What am I in combat with? Nothing. Good. Ah, uh, the more hardcore folks will then complain that there's no content. Yep. Yep, that too. <laughs> Look, I, I think we can all probably agree that it's hella difficult to balance all this kind of shit. And, and everyone's competing desires for how the game plays. Uh, but... I mean, if you have fun doing what you're doing, then keep doing it. If you don't have fun, if you stop having fun, then that's when it's time to kind of have a look at whether or not you're doing the right thing in terms of like whether if you're even playing at all. But then if you're doing, you know, the different types of content. Look, if I, if I stopped having fun mount farming, you bet your ass I'd start looking at other types of content. Um, might upset some of you, but I'd be like, nah, look. Here's the deal. Hello, Gun. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome on in. I'm going to the other half of Tolbarad and I've got 10 minutes before Tormentor starts, so I should... This should be okay, I think. Uh, I don't think you're ever going to get tired of mount farming. Look, I pro look, I'm stubborn as fuck, so prob's not. Uh, but there's a chance. Never say never, right? Never say never. Hey, Apath. Good evening. Hey, Adori. Works to keep my ass. I have a massive headache. Oh no! Do you have any painkillers on you? Or does anyone around you have any they could spare? Or do you have a chance to like go to a local convenience store and pick a packet up? Would have Menagerie Monday instead, potentially. Potentially. I think it's gonna be a long time before I run out of mounts to farm. Especially considering that there are gonna be some like you know when I go to Dusha, even if I'm getting through 50 fucking characters every week. It's still going to be months before I get them out. So it'll certainly slow down the collection rate. No, 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 
strength and honor. Go with honor. Uh, congratulations V, Pulse, Zam, Meaty, Koala, Zondra, and I missed the rest of them. Sorry, I clicked a thing and didn't realize it was a thing, but congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Took them but not working. Well, do like give it some time because it does absolutely take a while for, for that kind of stuff to kick in and make sure you've drunk enough water with them too because uh, they don't work properly if they can't dissolve properly uh, and don't have like, you know, water is a reagent. Um, it needs to be there for a lot of chemical reactions. Uh, but I'm sure you know all that, so just, yeah. Do the best you can to take care of yourself. Double check the last time you ate. Um, have some more water. Stretch your neck out gently, but stretch it out. Um, that could be another thingamajig. Uh, yeah. It may just be that you have to get out of the work environment before your brain will start chilling out. It happens, but uh, hopefully it'll calm down soon. And if you got the quicker shaft spawn, how long would it take to run through 50 tunes? Uh, well, 10, 10 minutes. If it was 10 minutes bang on every time, times 50, it's 500 minutes. But yeah, doing doing the full 50 will take anywhere between 500 and 1,000 minutes. I don't know how many hours that equates to. Lots. But I know that doing a six-hour stream usually works out at me getting roughly 12 uh, uh, 25 characters done. Um, so it'd take two six-hour streams. I'd have to stream. I'd do mount farming twice a week uh, to, to do all 50 tunes on Shah. And I mean, if I get sick of it and I just want to get it done, then I might actually do that. Okay, I'm getting nervous. I think I might have to come back to Tolbarad after I've done uh, Tormentors, because um, I've only got five minutes to go. <laughs> oh shit, didn't need that one. Cool, oh, all right, I'm gonna pour to Arabos. Um, so, do they all spawn in different places, or are they all in the same place? Uh, it's Malleus Grackers. Let's have a look at them on the map. Can literally spawn anywhere. Good. Uh, I'm going to jump into Venari's Refuge because I've got the ports from there, so. Excuse me. Um... Uh, what was your map makeup today? It was the Blue Drake, Dory. The Blue Drake. Ah uh, yes, eating. I should do that. You should, binary. You should. 15 times 50? Yes. Well, 50, uh, 10 is the quickest spawn for, um, for sure. But it, yeah, averages out to 15 because it's 10 to 20. Hey, Serge. Quick math for you. Uh, two hours to go. Do you have 50 max tunes? No, I've got 50 tunes that are level 50 plus. So they're not all 60, uh, but they're all between 50 and 60. Um, I've got four at 60 and then I've got a handful that are like, I've got some that are 51, 52, 53, uh, because accidents happen, uh, and then the rest of them are 50. Um, 100 minutes is 8.3 hours, there you go. So minimum eight and a half hours, maximum 17 hours. Ish. Some after topic sharing. Is find them wildly disappointing. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so is that it? No, that's the wing, that's the hunt. Within Zerval's cauldron. Is that Oh no, that's so the minions of jail of the jailer forge a vile monstrosity within Zerval's cauldron. That's the Kyrian thing. Not the Tormentors thing. That's fine. So where it could spawn literally anywhere. Apparently, Malleus might be broken. But I can pretty much skedaddle to wherever I need to go. 
pretty quickly. Um, still insane. Thank you. Uh, it was like seven ish months of leveling to get them all done because I, I had 24 of them. I had 24, and then it took me about seven months to get the other 26 up. Uh, I need to know double coat of the business. It's gonna be like double coat plus something else, but no, they're like regular Tim Tams with chocolate goo inside. Oh. You're on Google PSA. Oh, a free for all. So, what happens when the tormentors spawn? Do you get some kind of bee boo, bee boo, or like is it just nothing? Zone wide, okay. Good, good. And it's not going to be in the beast warrens, it's going to be somewhere around here. So, that's good. Uh, I still love Lazy but slow. Ocean New Realm was way too long, I just want to play Shadowlands. Oh. Well, it had, didn't take me too long to do each one. I, well, I, like, I didn't do, like, hours upon hours of, like, yeah. Depends on what you're doing to level, though. It really does. Uh, beep, 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 alarm, I know it well. Y look. Look. I'm kind of nervous, though, now, because the top comments on Wowhead are that this one's fucked. Although every all the comments are downvoted, so that's fine. Like literally all the comments are downvoted. Oh, I'm just questing. What would you recommend to do for fast leveling? Where are you questing? Which expansion uh, did you did you choose? Chromie time or did you do BFA or like what? <clears throat> uh, Zygor is the best way to level. Zygor is very, very useful for leveling. Definitely. But, um... Uh, guessing people are saying that because time zone fuck-ups. Uh, it doesn't seem to be... They're talking about times and stuff, and they're like, you know, they're, I've got every other one ticked off my list. This is the last one I needed for the meta, and it just won't spawn. So, I don't know. That doesn't, like... Mm, not sure. Ah, uh, was in Wad, Trish Chromie time, now I'm in Legion Chromie time. Um, so Wad is pretty damn fast. Um, Legion is like the next fastest. Interesting that you're finding it really slow and questing. I wonder if maybe you're using like inefficient routes to, to actually pick up quests and go do them and stuff like that. Um, obviously I recommend Zygor, like I use Zygor. Um, myself, uh, it's phenomenal, but it is like to get the the leveling beyond level ten guides. You need to buy those guides. Um, the add-on itself is free, and it comes with a bunch of guides. But then you have to purchase additional ones uh, for a, for a monthly sub, and it's not worth it for everyone. Um, but I use it like every fucking day, so it's worth it for me. Uh, yeah, see, it's okay. So it's seven. Realm time is eight p.m. Where where is it? No zone wide announce. I'll give it a few minutes. Um, the other, there is uh, Azeroth Autopilot. Um, Azeroth Autopilot does a leveling guide. The difference between them is that uh, AAP has one route. That's it. You can't like pick and choose and do different routes for like different zones for different classes to try to pick off your lore master and stuff like that. It's just this is the leveling route. Have fun. Um, but I, I believe that they both offer options like auto pick up and turn in of quests and there we go. Event. Okay. Begins in five minutes. Let's fucking go. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's another, that's like another option that's not as like wide ranging as Igor, uh, but a lot of people really like it. So, hey, <laughs> you know, maybe you will too. Um, but no, I, I found leveling to be quite quick. Investing in heirlooms is absolutely fucking lootly worth it. A lot of people are like, oh, it's not worth it anymore because you don't get bonus experience. It is worth it. It is absolutely fucking lootly worth it. It lets you consume rested at a slower rate. So if you log out, wait till your rested is at cap and then level. And if then you level until you run out of rested 
and then you log off and let it accrue rested. It takes, I think it's 10 days to get to full rested. Um, but then once you've got that, you level really fucking quickly while you've got the, the rest of XP there. Um, so yeah, heirlooms are 100% worth it. It also means that you don't need to like, like you're never going to fall behind on gearing because it upgrades as you level as well. Um, so if you end up skipping a quest because you can't be fucked or whatever, it's not going to uh, screw you over. Where the actual fuck am I? Oh, it's up. Okay. I see, I see. Perfect. So this is, I'm guessing, where they come out of. I'm not going to be able to solo this, am I? Anyone want to join me? Shit. <laughs> Fuck. No. Yes, thank you, Seeker. There's the the Zygor link. Um, it I don't make money off it. Uh, how it's a referral friend link. So if you use my link to sign up for Zygor and you pay for the monthly subscription, um, then I get a dollar off my monthly sub each month that you're active. Yes. Look into it. Brilliant. I hope that information helped. I know it was a lot of info, but I hope it helped. I hope it helped. It has started. Well, it popped up on the map at least. And I'm here by myself. This is not going to go well. You don't have to zone out of the moor again, do you, for this shit? You can just- Oh, look! Ha <laughs> ha! It's the jack! Ah, cool. You don't- Yeah. Good, they fixed that. I remember- I thought they changed something with that. I just wasn't exactly sure what they changed. I am the glads. Minute 20. Uh, don't you play any PvP? No. If you're looking for PvP, you need to find another streamer. Um, uh, that's what I've done for my monk. Yes, also there and doing it if there's any help. Brilliant. People come. Fantastic. Um, we're in a group. You should be able to find it via quick join if you're on my friends list. Otherwise, it's just Tormentors of Torghast war mode off in the group finder. So you're like, yeah, if you find them and sign up, you should be good. Is it over now? Fantastic. First try of the day. No heartbreaker. Oh, Zam. That's okay. Next one. Next one. I really appreciate it. Oh, that's totally fine, Skeptic. Not a problem at all. Would help, but I'm EU. Totally fine, Surge. Not a worry. Miracle for me to get there in time. Ally or Horde? Horde. Horde. Done toll rod, so I can take that off. And then after this, we're doing island expeditions. So if anyone wants that, you are welcome to join me. I know I can solo oh, them, but it's faster in a group. So if you're still looking for some mounts or collectibles from islands, then that's a thing to keep in mind. Ooh. I haven't finished Top Raja. Oh shit, I haven't! You're right! My god, thank you for reminding me. Oh fuck. Here we go! Shit. 
looks like there's an alliance group here too. Angry looking dude. Yeah, angry looking. One cache, please. Hand of Bamethra, please. Damn. Oh well. Uh, so what did we get? I got a quest. Two Venari. I can do that. Of course I don't have my Venari teleport stone. Why would I have that? Why would I have that? That would be too easy. Let's make it. Rep. Cool. Actually, fuck this. I'm a mage. <laughs> oh, do you want a port? Yeah. Did you just get that then? Or have you had it for a while? <laughs> had it? Okay. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, alright. Thank you, Shiva. I so wish I was home soon, Dory. Soon. I start a whole character for funsies. Yes, got all that Daisy can practically one shot a bunch of pets. Uh, second of the day, no heartbreaker. Oh, you'll get there, Zam. You'll get there. It's a group again. It was Tormentors of Torghast. I was reporting every day heartbreak. I have heartbreaker on for 15 days. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Why? <laughs> Tormentors of Torghast will mode off. Yes. Zam, yep. Do it. 38, 50 plus 2 and seeker, many more to come. Would be actual spam. I mean, am I not going to be spamming you lot? Like, love the hand jump animations. They are pretty cool. They're definitely pretty cool. Oh, actually, I think I've got another... I think I've got another thing I'm supposed to turn into Venari. I might as well grab that while I'm doing shit. I swear. Him at random motion fucking murdered me the first time I seen it. I thought it would run like thing from Adam's family, but no. Um. Oh, I do my own makeup, Sanchez. Are you saying I'm ugly without makeup? I like, only the finest. Where, where are you like? All goods and what are you going for here? <laughs> uh, I think it's is it the manacles? No. I could have sworn I had another... I mustn't have. Oh, oh, that or I got rid of it. Your patronage is always that wouldn't surprise me. I think I... Yeah, that's fine. Alright, let's go. Or I turned it in. I mean, that's also a possibility. I don't remember what the fuck I do. It's fine. It's fine. In we go. Yeah, um, uh, every, every stream I do makeup inspired by a mount from World of Warcraft. And at the start of stream, people try to guess which mount it is. 
And there is a small prize for the person who guesses first. A little fun game we play. Um, yeah. I wouldn't quite say they're on point just yet, but I've certainly been improving over the last couple of years. Learning lots of little tricks and Do you feel bits and bobs. At your mind? Okay, so that's been turned in. Did I just get a... no. Oh, that just the bar was not bugging out. The oh, what the is going on? Phone is buzzing. Okay. Tormentors are done. Back to Tolberard to finish this shit. You did guess the mount today, Templar. You got it right. I mean the hammer from Oh, you got the mount from the Tormentors. Well done! Congratulations. Which usually seems to be Sheba. Sheba's very good at the guessing game. Very good at the guessing game. Goodness knows, okay, Shiba picker of mount makeup. <laughs> Shiba got it wrong today. However, he did say in Source or Leverworm, which was the first guess right out the bat, like right out the gates with uh, with the stream. Like first guess out of anyone um, was in Source or Leverworm and it was wrong. But um, that was still what Shiba thought. So there you go. There you go. Sheba, the reminder that I'm not done with Torgaster. Oh, Torgast, fucking Tolbarad. Ah, uh, there are more blue and gold mounts, and there are brown mounts, I swear to god. Look, you might not be wrong there. You might not be wrong. Um, there was a big guess around the albino drake as well, because of the creamy colours and stuff. And there is, there is a little, the, definitely that spot of aqua. They share a very similar colour scheme. And the icon for the albino drake might as well be a fucking screenshot of the blue drake. Which is just super strange. So, yeah, look. Yeah, so much yeah. Why not drink? Icon makes no sense at all. Correct. Correct. But that's fine. We got there. Got that. Oh man, I'm fucking exhausted. I'm hoping I get to play a little bit of Pokemon tonight after stream, but uh, I'm thinking like that might not be a thing. <laughs> Especially considering that I have work and stream tomorrow. First time I'm doing that in like th over three years. Actually, no, that's a lie. When I started working part time, I was also I was still streaming on my work days until I shuffled things around properly. So um, it's, it's not been that long, but it's still been a couple years since I've worked and streamed on the same day. Mm, playing the Pokemons now. Well, look, you need to fucking catch up. So props for the best. Props for the best. Work and more work, correct. Correct. <clears throat> oh, I'm impressed by Shiba's guessing skills on this. I guess tomorrow's makeup tonight. That's funny. Um, just a gentle reminder that the the bonus streams, the ones that are not Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Sunday, so the ones that are on Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, um, the, the bonus Heartbreaker streams, and there's not gonna be Mount Makeup involved. Um, but I will let you know. I will remind you at the start of stream. Uh, but it'll be a good good excuse for me to use more of my mellow makeup and show off some of the shades. So if you have any particular, like, I only have one, I've got one quad and the, the treasure chest palette, but if there are any particular shades in either of those that you're really keen to see, then let me know and I can push them on my face. Ah, uh, single swallow and taste with the tomato. Oh god, I hate that. I hate that. And then you try, you you get to the point. It's like fuck it, I'm gonna bite it off. And then you try biting it off, and you can't bite it off. You just irritate it, and it gets bigger. And it's like fuck. It is the worst. The worst. Good evening, everyone. If you're if you can stand the freezing cold, get like an ice block and hold it up against the back of your teeth using the tip of your tongue to hold it there. That's what I usually do. 
and it, it seems to work somewhat, but it's not. Uh, so I have 110 Tolbarad commendations, but I need 100 and I think it's like 165 or something for the mount. So I'm not. I'm getting there. I'm getting there, but we're not there yet. So it's islands time. No, it's islands time. Good evening. Hello. We just a single swollen taste, but it's just horrid. Agreed. Agreed wholeheartedly. Islands! Who's down? Who's down? Who's up? Who's in? Who's gonna join me? Drain, fantastic. How goes the mount farm this evening? Uh, look, not too bad. We're making progress. We haven't gotten any mounts yet, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, I am going to take a brief break before uh, I launch into islands. Um, that's okay. So we are actually getting warmer now. Assume the snow in the northern bits when AU is hot. I really woke up with swollen taste for today. Oof, might have to try the ice trick. It doesn't heal it so much as it just numbs it and stops you from playing with it. Because if you play with it and bite at it and stuff like that, obviously it's going to take longer to heal. So if you numb it, you'll be less likely to play with it. So it gives it a chance to just heal. The ice doesn't fix it. It just kind of, yeah, distracts you. I don't know if islands haven't done BFA entry quests and none of the NPCs are here. Oh no! Oh no! Is that your first horde tune on the account? I thought it unlocked account wide once you got to a certain point. I can try to just learn more. Man, the BC is still gonna hit. Chair stream, thank you very much, Dory. I will be making, I will be taking advantage of that uh, very briefly. So I'm gonna be back shortly. Uh, take the chance to go stretch your legs, grab a snack, grab a drink, bathroom break, all that shit that you need to do, and I will see you in just a moment. Hold that salt directly on it can dry it out. No way. Ooh, give that a try, and I'll have to try it next time I get one. Hopefully, I don't get one. But if I do, I'll have to try it. I'll be back. Thank you, Sam.
It may I'm back. Let's battle. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it was good. Getting up and moving around felt good, though. I had a whisper. Awesome. There we go. We have one more space for islands if anyone would like to join us. Panic! Yep, correct. All right, I'm going to have some water. Have we had bubble tea today? Not yet. It usually comes to dinner. However, my newest bubble tea order was shipped today. We uh, we did an order of, um, I think it was a hundred servings? Yeah, a hundred servings. Twenty each of five different flavors. Ew, that is... Oh, I see what's happening. All right, yep. My eyes are just really unhappy today. They never put paladin. <laughs> you do. If you'd like, if you want to come along, Jack, you are more than welcome to do so. Um, let me have a look. I mean, everyone is more than welcome to do so, but like, yes. Oh my god, only one purple box today. This week, whatever. I hope it has a mountain. I'm gonna be very pissed off. Uh, Spam, Fairy, Faden, Bod, Zam, and Talus. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. New sound command, the whisper noise, panic fear when she chair streams. I'm honestly surprised we haven't had more in-game sound effects as sound commands, honestly. Um, I'm just doing about now anyway. Would like a break? Well, you're more than welcome to take a break with us. Be happy to have you. It would surely lead to more giggles as we <laughs> watch you run past with entirely too many mobs. I have done the chair stream. Awesome sauce. All right. Place your units. Look! Look at this bullshit. What is this shit? So, Vengico Salvage has four weapons. Ungol Ruin Salvage has one toy and two weapons. Molten K Salvage has, what, nine weapons? Is this? No, okay, it is just. Yeah, and then Crestfall, I can get Squawks. Or a Helm. Okay, at least. At least there is a mount on the table available to be got. It is Squawks, though. It's not the one I want. It's not Kinsho, but it's it's something. It's fucking something. I have the NPCs now. Do islands in this spot? Fantastic! Damn it, Mystical Theory, because streaming. Oh, I'm sorry, Red. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um. Fuck, I'm just thinking, what if I get squawks? I'm gonna move on, right? Do different mount. Um, and I'm just thinking, there's Escape Wildling from Corthia, but my my druid doesn't, my, my night fair doesn't have access to Corthia. Then there's the oozing necro ray eggs. Um, so that's not up anyway, I can't do that. Baradin's Warden's Exalted, which is Tolbarad Alliance side, I've already done that. <laughs> and then it's it's Corthia. Archivist Codex tier six. Gross. I think I'm still tier four. I am halfway through tier four. Gross. And then service medals. <gasps> oh no. There you are. Um Nearly 60 alt needs all the res it can get for sure. I love that you can still spawn Mavog even when the NPC isn't active. And Maze Bliss hasn't patched that out. You just gotta follow the right sort of button. And that's what I've got. I've got one of these buttons does um, the Malbog waypoints. So I, and it does them in reverse as well. So you, it follows them in order. It's great. Be quick. Perfection. Are you ready for the epic journey? All right, I'm at 143 doubloons. We need to get to 175 to get our first cache. 
and hope to fuckery that Squawks is in it. If you see something following me, don't attack it. Yep, confirmed. We'll, we'll not. Agreed. There it is. Ugh. Wait, didn't I turn... Oh shit. Oh my god, I see what I've done. You thought I'm an idiot. It's fine, it's fine. We are here. Clear skies, grit there for some exploit. I moved. Maybe if I get Squawks, I need to go unlock Corthia on my Druid. Maybe that's what I need to do. The Horde savages are already here. <laughs> As if they'd stand a chance against the Horde. Considering that the next one on the list is the Summer Wildling, I think that's uh. <laughs> Also means a second chance at Malbog each day. Or well, each time I try it anyway. I don't do this daily. Ooh, that reminds me. I need to take some time to- So I had some spare time today, and I was like, fuck. Do I work on my wish list? Or do I work on merch? So I worked on some merch. I don't think that you can- I don't think it's actually accessible though. Like, it- something's really, really odd with the- with the website. I don't quite understand how it works. And the extension underneath the channel is fucked again. Uh, I sent them another ticket. But, um... Yeah... We have Naga slithering ashore over here. A whole lot of them are looking to plunder the island. Got about half the ship left to fill. Keep your eyes shut. Uh, did you it ever turn up? Nope, still hasn't been ordered. Uh, I've had uh, tickets, a ticket open with them for a while now. Uh, I emailed them, they they had some issues and I'm like, and I verified it. They said, oh, supplier does not accept international shipping. And I'm like, yes, they do. Here's me, you know, going through the entire ordering process with Australia as the option. Here are some screenshots. Uh, and they're like, hmm, it seemed, you know, let me, let me look into this. Uh, and they're like, hmm, it, it, it seems like we're just having issues with this site and they had to de pick a default reason from the drop down and that's what they chose. Do you have another link I can use? I'm like, I have submitted like eight links at this point. So instead of just giving you one, I'm gonna give you like several. So I sent them a bunch of them and it was last Monday that I sent that through and I haven't heard back since. So um, I've I emailed them again today to say, hey, just checking that this ticket hasn't been forgotten. What is going on? Because it's been nearly two months now. And it's, that's just, that's not, that's not okay. Everything else, however, like I need to, I need to be clear here. Everything else with Throne has been absolutely fantastic. It is just this one thing, this one thing. So what I am learning from this experience is that if there is something that is in high demand, for example, Ring Fit, because everyone's in fucking lockdown, if there is something in high demand, it cannot go on the wishlist. The wishlist has to just be for shit that is like super, super common and all over the place and all that kind of, because it's just, this has been an absolute nightmare. Um, and it's like, I've also had, so Etsy, there was an, a cross stitch pattern that was on there that was purchased for me and I ended up refunding that. I had to refund it because Etsy doesn't allow gifting of digital products and that's how Throne operates. They won't buy it from my account sort of thing. It has to be like as a gift. Um, and so they can't do that. So I can't put like cross stitch patterns and stuff on throne. That's fine. Um, and 
I can't do mecha. Uh, mecha, uh, the the makeup like the high end makeup store in Australia. Uh, there was a one of my cleansers I had on there. I've refunded that as well back to the person who who did the thing because um, it the order went through, and then Mecca cancelled the order, and so Throne went back and placed the order again, and Mecca immediately cancelled like and rejected the card. So I don't know what's going on there. Maybe it's because it's an international card or so. I I don't know. Um, but they were they were unhappy with that. They refused to do the thing. Um, so I can't do stuff from Mecca either. Can you taste the salt in the air? I think it's just because they're an American company with no like Australian representation, so it's just going to be tricky if it's an Aussie-only retailer. Uh, but yeah. One oh, thirty-five. I level Corthia sucks. Yeah, this is why I don't want to skip the opening because any any piece of gear that I can get that's Corthia level is going to help with my alts. But yeah, that's right. The overseas address something. Yeah, does Sephora work? I haven't tried. I haven't tried, but in Australia, if you can get it at Sephora, you can't get it at Mecca. And if you can get it at Mecca, you can't get it at Sephora. So when, because I've been using Mecca for so long, a lot of the brands that I rely on come from Mecca, so I can't get them from Sephora uh, because of, you know, brand exclusivity and stuff. Uh, but hey, look, maybe I'll expand my my range. Um, that's a shame. How much ballpark was Mecca? What do I think there's one in the city? What pasta most days I'm in the office? There is, there's a couple in the city, but I also do, like, I'm doing some tidying up and cleaning. Uh, I have a Mecca gift card from a Christmas or two ago that hasn't, that they don't expire. Um, so I'm just like, anything that I need from them, I'm just going to use the gift card for. And then if that runs out, or when that runs out, I should say, um, I might start looking for other brands slash maybe some more affordable products, potentially. But it's, it is a real pity because, you know, when you know, like, and the, the oil cleanser that I had on the list, right, that's not even the one that, I mean, it is the one that I use, but it's not the exact one that I have been using because they discontinued that. Fucking hate that shit. They discontinued the formula and replaced it with this other one. And I, I've never tried it before and I can't get a sample and it's just the whole look. Yeah. The other option, though, is that there is the potential for stuff that's on sale at Mecca to potentially be available via Amazon Australia. Um, it shouldn't be. If Mecca's got exclusivity, it shouldn't be on Amazon. Um, but some Amazon Australia stuff isn't actually from Australia. It ships internationally. It's just on the AU website. Um, but that also does mean it'd cost a fucking arm and a leg. So I'm not sure I'm willing to ask people to pay that much for something that because that's the thing you know if it's if it's on a wish list and I'm hoping that people purchase it for me would I be willing to pay $200 for a fucking cleanser absolutely not so why the fuck should I ask other people to do that that's not okay you know um well you can send Balagir to ults too I prefer make of myself customer service is better yes Yes, absolutely. Agreed with that wholeheartedly. I had uh, one point where I had a um, one of the beauty loot boxes. I got I got my beauty loot box today in the mail, um, but I got a, a beauty loot box a few years back that had a um, a sample of Sunday Riley's UFO in it. And for those for those who know, for those who don't know, Sunday Riley is exceptionally expensive. They've also got some really dodgy business practices, but. Some of their products are actually fucking awesome. Um, and they're very expensive. And this little sample had leaked. Uh, and it had leaked all through the box. Uh, and everything was coated in this very expensive oil. Uh, the bottle itself, like the UFO of the sample bottle, was half full. Uh, and it, what it had looked like is that the when they formed the glass bottle, it had just misshapen and it had tilted so it couldn't seal properly. Um, so half the bottle was gone and everything was coated in oil. Um, of course, you know, I can wipe the other products down. It's fine. But I, me I messaged them and I said, hey, just an FYI, just a heads up, this is the thing that's happened. Uh, and they sent me a new beauty loot box, which had the UFO in it, but also, like, they didn't just send me the sample that leaked, they sent me a whole new box with everything. So I got double box, which was nice. Um, but, like, they just, they're just, they're really good at that kind of stuff. 
at just sort of, you know, no questions asked, let's let's get this done. Um, although, when I say no questions asked, I always provide photos and stuff as part of my initial thing. I don't just, like, claim something's shit without proof. Uh, so maybe they would have asked questions if I if I hadn't provided that off the bat. But yeah, uh, Mecha's always been pretty good with me. Uh, of course, thing I bought from Sija. That's a point. Can Thrones send you gift cards? We we had this discussion originally um, about like gift cards and stuff like that. And because like Throne has fees, they're a company. They have to they have to make a profit, right? So if I if I list something that's fifty bucks, I don't know exactly what the fees are. I I don't know. I can't ex I can't tell you exactly what the percentages are and shit like that. But if I list something for fifty that, that costs fifty dollars, if you purchase it off the wish list for me, you are not going to be paying fifty dollars. You are going to be paying more than that, and that's because there is a fee for Throne to actually nice like. You know, do the thing. I got Lord Wolfington. There's a fee for Throne to actually go and make the purchase. Then they, they add shipping fees to it because I don't include, when I put in how much it costs, I don't add shipping fees. They add the shipping fees themselves, uh, all that kind of stuff. Um, so like, you know, processing fee. And that fee is the price for your details not being exposed to me and my details not being exposed to you. And it's, I think that's reasonable. Um, it's not like the, the fees are not exorbitant, otherwise I wouldn't be using the service. Because, you know, value is important. Uh, 178, I can get a box. Um, so, for gift cards, because I have a business email address that does, that protects my details already, you're better off getting a digital gift card and just sending it there, if that was something that you actually wanted to do. Um, it just, it works, it just works better. Um, because there's no additional... Fees. The dunes have everything we need. Squawks, please, K thanks. No squawks. Something smells really fucking good though. Fucking shimmering shell bullshit. Grr. No man for you either. Oh bugger. That's right. Moving on. Ah, uh, good morning. How are you today? Yeah, tired as fuck, actually, but reasonably good. I've been really productive today, so that that feels good. Uh, no mounts yet. No mounts yet. We've still got time, though. My first mail order. Can't wait to get my delivery. Yay! Did you use my link? Did you use my link? Um, uh, that involves having spare valor and stitcher. I have neither. Yeah. That's horrible. Yeah, it was, it was, yep. <laughs> Uh, similar thing, ordering from Culture Hustle, online art store, glow in the dark pigment powder I bought was cracked. Oh, powder leaked throughout the packaging. About a third of it came out, but yeah, got a discount code. Oof. Yeah. See, when I go with, like, when I get stuff from Colourpop, which I do, look, I need to stop buying shit from Colourpop. They sent me a birthday voucher, and I'm like, no. <laughs> but, um, I've gotten stuff from them a couple of times that where, like, a product's been dried out, or it's been crumbled, or whatever, and they don't do... They don't do refunds or anything like that. What they do is they give you like a store credit or a, a voucher code for the amount that it was worth. Um, because, of, but of course that means you need to buy more, you know, you buy more to, to spend, yep. Um, but I mean, for, for people in America, I'm sure that's fine because they can just spend that, like if they get a ref like if they get a refund in terms of a voucher code, then they can just spend that on the item that they, that was broken. But when you're in Australia, the shipping is is ridiculous, and so if I make an order from ColourPop, I need to hit the free shipping cap to make it worthwhile. Uh, and the free shipping cap is not fifteen dollars. <laughs> Let me tell you. Pretty sure it's like seventy-five or eighty-five or something like that, and that's U.S. by the way, of course, because they're a U.S. company. So yeah, it's um I understand those kind of business practices, but they don't always work for everyone in all situations, unfortunately. She was like, fantastic! Awesome sauce. Because usually they give me an email when that hang on. I might actually check my dashboard, just make sure it actually went through. Rock songs! Oh nice! I know, but it was worth it. Oh for sure. That's so cool. That sounds like a really great experience, Dan. In the UK, same deal for them. Yeah, exactly. It's like, excuse me. I am not a robot. 
Which monster website said currency converter options? Agreed. What? Why do I have to answer an email to log in? It's really annoying. It's like, thanks for this login. We've sent you an email to confirm. And I'm like, what? Why? Just use the robot to click that. Yeah. Uh, any luck tonight? Nothing yet, Apathy. Nothing yet. But there's still time. Need to put some states in the sucks. There are more places in the world. Correct. Correct. Device confirmed. But I've used this device multitudes of times. That's why it's bookmarked. Oh, that's strange. Hey, the device is going crazy over here. Must be a big Strange. load of Azerite out there. Hmm. Uh, right, so it hasn't... It looks like it's... Hmm. I wonder... I wonder if it just takes a while to to register or something. Because I remember when Sika placed her order, I got an email like immediately letting me know that it had happened. Hmm. That hasn't come through. I wonder if maybe I've broken the link or something. We are no, that's done. still my We're link. Well. That's odd. Mm. It's a bit unfortunate. Oh, okay. I got an inky. Not a robot. Unfollowed, unsubscribed, unfriended. Okay. Sure, okay. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Super strange. Day when you see no land is a good day. Ah, it's you. I was about making that look as good. Oh, thank you. It's the uh, Blue Drake. Blue Drake. A simple mount? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I think it, it uh, translated quite well to a makeup look. It's nice. Planks are down, friend. We'll get the detector online. My favorite one. Ah, oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, I wonder if it hasn't come up because cookies aren't enabled. Because, like, referral links and stuff like that only work if you have cookies, right? Death is the natural end to life's journey. Let us help the horde be on their own. Because it can't keep track of what link you used unless you let it do the cookie thing. So if you're using like incognito mode or anything like that, it won't count as a referral. You are not prepared. <laughs> Hello! 
Hello! Welcome on in. How is your stream? Hope you had a lovely time. Thank you for the caustic of Manshiba. Much appreciated. Well, cookies Let definitely have them enabled. Sources. Perfect. No. Huh, I wonder. Hmm. I wonder why. Because yeah, it definitely hasn't popped up on my on my referral thing. Like I get it. Like I've got a dashboard where I can see. Like I can't see who. Like I can't see names. All I can see is like what was ordered, what was paid, for, like how much was paid for it, and what my cut is. And it's definitely not there. Try the chicken. I'm trying. I'm trying. Ooh. Yum. Yeah. What's that? It's lemon and soy and salt. Mmm. Really tasty. Very hot. Oh, so there's a bubble. Mmm. Bunkum. Mm. Bunkum. I wonder if it's like... I wonder if it's worth emailing them and being like, hey... Mmm. Mmm. Really tasty. Really, really Baby tasty. Mm. Ah, cookie. Yep. Thanks, couple of twenty start. Ah, well done. Well done. Casual after work stream. Wonderful news. Well, I'm glad you had a good time. How's your day week going? Yeah, look, not too bad. Um, good start to the week. Uh went and had my my CT scan. Of my mandible. It's my jaw. Um, to see if I am healed enough for surgery number two. Um, I'm pretty sure that one will. I have a USB in my bag that has photos of my skeleton. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I had a pretty productive day. Hopefully the rest of this week keeps up well as well. Mmm. Send me an Aw, thank you, Ali. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that, hey. And I really hope you enjoy because I can't see you, like, so when when Seeker said that she'd made an order, I jumped on there and I had a look and I could see what she'd bought, so I could like talk to her about what she'd bought. So you don't have to tell me, but what did you get? I'm Kaheen. I wanna know what you got. Oh yum. Yeah, it's really tasty. It's really, really tasty. Does Fear have a skeleton? Yes, I can confirm. I most certainly have a skeleton. I've seen it on multiple occasions. Mm. It's gingerbread flavor. Unfortunately, the gingerbread was limited edition and they do not have it anymore. Um, but, mm, placed a new order, getting 100 servings of bubble tea, um, plus some extra toppings and stuff because I like having extra toppings. We got five different flavors, 20 servings of each. We got Thai milk tea, strawberry milk tea, uh, grapefruit fruit tea, peach fruit tea, and... Uh, passion fruit, fruit tea. Uh, and we got pearls. And I got, uh, I did the, you know they're doing the giveaway for Lunar New Year at the moment. You open, like, you talk to them via Facebook Messenger, uh, answer a couple questions, and they give you a red packet, a uh, red pocket, depending, uh, to open, and you can win uh, an $8, $8 voucher, an $88 voucher, or 1.2 kilos of pearls. And I won the 1.2 kilos of pearls, which is worth about 16 bucks. So not bad. 88 is definitely the win, uh, but I'm happy with the extra pearls. So I stuck that on as the uh, as the toppings for them, and then I also picked up eight toppings because 60 60 servings, so six six containers for the 60 servings of fruit that I bought, plus an extra um, 20 just because delicious. Excuse me. So I got um, two packets, uh, two two containers each of coconut jelly, coconut lychee jelly, grape jelly, and the white pearls. Um, so I'm very happy. Very looking forward to that. They ship today. <clears throat> two for 
fucking doubloons. Fuck you. A day when you see no land is a good day. Ever stop and think your skeleton is always wet? Because I do and I really dislike that fact, so I must share it. <laughs> you your bells. Uh huh, uh huh. Oh my god, I'm pulling a subscriber point. Oh god. Um. You are now manually breathing. Yep. Bubble tea place opening up around the road for me. Ah, oh, nice! Baked eyeshadow bronze, brown wand caramel, shadow quad rear, gel eyeliner as a gift for someone, lip paint Tokyo. Ooh, mineral eyeliner midnight and some freebies I didn't get to pick. Oh, that's so cool! That's so cool. Ah, uh, was that the free gel lip pencil in jade and then free mineral eyeliner in chocolate chip that I'm seeing come up? So I'm on the website now. What is Tokyo? I want to see what shade Tokyo is. Ooh, yes, yes. Fuck yes, I really do want. I, I, yep, I want. I want. I am. I'm thinking. I'm actually gonna place myself an order for for birthday fun times. Um. I considered popping some stuff on, uh, on the thingamajig, on the throne, but I don't, mm, I don't know. They, they say, for throne, they say not to use sale prices. So like, for example, Tokyo is marked down to eight bucks, right? But they say not to use that. And I think it's because if the sale finishes before they get around to placing the order, you're screwed. Like they won't, they won't order it because it's too much now. Um, and you'll have to refund it. So I think that's, I think that's why they say that, but I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm uh, defo considering uh, popping in an order for birthday shinies. Not that I need any more makeup, but it'd be really good to have my hands on some more stuff from Milo so I can, you know, sell it properly. Gotta know what you're fucking selling, right? But their liquid lip paints are fucking beautiful. I have um, Berlin, which is a like a nude pinky sort of shade, and it's just fucking gorgeous. And it sticks around. Like I've gone and eaten like sushi with sauces and stuff on it and all that kind of stuff, and it just sticks. It stays, which is really useful, especially for dark colors. Like oh, patchiness is hell. And when you try to like reapply it, and especially with like matte liquid lipsticks, if you try to reapply and it layers up and it gets all gross, and stuff, it's just not fun. So the fact that they stick around is really good. Uh, but I have the gel eyeliner, the little pot. I've got that and it's really good. Really, really good. So I think whoever you've purchased that for as a gift, I think they're gonna love it because it's really good. Um, so my company is blinking that fucks up. Uh, how do we talk to them? How do we talk to who, Dory? Sorry, who, who are we talking about? Um, I'm guessing it was a couple minutes ago and my brain has just gone splat. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Nice, indeed. Need a bit of a stock up. Yeah, absolutely. I have entirely too much makeup. Um, so I absolutely should not be buying any more, but I'm going to anyway. <laughs> uh, I remember seeing your was like during an earthquake, coffins become underground maracas and that crosses my mind daily. Yeah, look. Look. They're not wrong. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. Smooth nail polish. I should not buy more, but I keep doing it. I have been able to restrain from buying nail polish. I've unfollowed so many Instagram accounts that are nail polish brands. Like, I've just unfollowed them. Because I have so much stuff that I've, like, I've got... So many bottles of polish, but I also have like a shitload of nail art stuff that I'm trying to use up, like decals and things that I absolutely do not want to have in my possession anymore, but they're still like, they're still cute, but they're just annoying. So I want to get rid of them. So I'm using them, says she who hasn't done her nails in like two weeks because she's been too fucking busy. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, the the makeup though, uh, I'm it's mystery boxes. Mystery boxes do it. It's... um. Mystery boxes get me every time. Every fucking time.
Maybe I'll just do as well. I'm not sure the same ones, the different sizes, I love them both. Need to mute, unfollow some nail polish brands, that's what sucks me in. Yeah, you see them and like, that's so pretty, I need it. But you don't need it. You don't need it at all. What I think I need to do with Mello is grab one of things I don't have. Because I've got a few things from them. But I don't have... Uh, I don't have a baked eyeshadow, for example. So I need to get one baked eyeshadow so that I can learn about the formula. Yeah? I need to get, like, one bullet lipstick rather than the liquid one so I know what the formula is like. Because you can usually tell, like, the, the formula doesn't change too, too much between colours. If you're going from, like, a nude to a super dark one, maybe the formula will change, but it won't change very much. So I think that's what I need to do. I have a quad, I have a palette, you know. <clears throat> I have a liquid lip paint. I don't have a creamy matte lipstick. I don't have a lip gloss. I have a gel lip pencil, but it's very old. Like, I'm talking three or four years old now, so I don't know if they're, um... What's it? I don't know if the formula's changed. Um, I have a powder blush. I have the blush. Um, I don't have a glow palette, but I don't... I have so many highlighters. I just, I can't justify... A whole last glow palette. I figure it'll be very similar um, to the powder blush anyway. <laughs> don't have a mineral eyeliner. Don't have a baked eyeshadow. Don't have a liquid precision pen eyeliner. And I don't have a glitter chrome eyeshadow. And they look gorgeous. I don't have any of their brow products. I think that's what I need to do. <laughs> One of everything. So I can do almost a full face of Mellow. It won't be a full face though because they don't have um like uh yeah they don't have um base products they don't have foundation and stuff <laughs> see when i saw gel lip pencil in the shade jade i'm like no way they do not do a green lip pencil of course they don't jade is the girl's name like <laughs> they've named everything after like traditionally female names it's not jade as in green as in the stone, it's jade as in the, the person. Um, so <laughs> look, I had I had hopes for a second there. There are not many companies out there that do the the interesting colours. Because they don't sell super well, and I, I get that. I get that. Hmm. <laughs> Christine Rittenberg has way too much of my money, but then I see it all organized and pretty on my shelf and I buy more. Yep. Yep. I have not purchased any Holo Taco. None. I, I can't justify the price and the shipping and I, I just can't. No, I, I cannot. Um, but uh, I do have a couple of shades shades i don't think i have any colors actually i think what i have is base and top yeah what i have is base and top um sorry this is my nail polish drawer there we go uh, but I inherited those because uh, the person who gave them to me, uh, the long-lasting base coat on her nails made things chip faster. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. You know, everyone's body chemistry is different. And then um, the glossy, ta glossy taco um, also made her nails chip faster. Uh, but 
the glossy taco, when I tried using it, it was so fucking thick. Like, it had dried up, like, a lot. <laughs> I mean, I get thick. I have Seshvite. Like, Seshvite is what I usually use. Uh, or Seshvite. I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's that one. Um, it's the one she used to use before she made her own. Um, and I, like, I've been using that for, for donkeys, and I know, like, I know it's thick, but it was so much that it, like, was gluggy thick. And, um, I tried adding some Sesh Restore to it to try to thin it out again, and it just wouldn't. It did nothing. So, um, I tossed it. Because, I mean, I think it had, like, maybe a third of the bottle left. Maybe a bit more than a third of the bottle left. Which is kind of disappointing, but, I mean, I inherited it. I didn't pay for it, and so it was a lot easier to part with it. <laughs> um, oh, battle. Shit, sorry. My bad. Uh, they also don't have mascara, correct, which I thought was totally weird. Mascara can be really, like, so foundation is difficult because if you're going to release it, you have to release a fuck ton of shades. In this day and age, you cannot get away with three shades of foundation. You have to release, like, 50 plus. So I understand them not having that. Um, mascara can be quite difficult to formulate and to get right. So that might be... Might be why. Hmm. But yeah, that's like... If they were going to release a new product, I would figure that that would be the next one that they'd do. <clears throat> Along with make, maybe some liquid products, like a liquid blush or a liquid highlighter, stuff like that. Although I'm not sure how popular liquid stuff like that is anymore. Hmm, we'll be keen to find out. What your average views were on the Google stream. If it went well, do you think you'll do more Lego streams? Um, doing another Lego stream would require having another Lego kit. I cannot afford Lego. Um, it's, it is very expensive. So that would be my first barrier to entry. If I came into the, if I came, if, if a Lego kit came into my possession through whatever means it may happen to do, um, let me just have a look. I know we got a really big raid. That's the thing. You got to remember, we got a massive, it was like a 200 person cricket raid. So like, <laughs> keep that in mind, but I can definitely have a look. Uh, it was Friday, wasn't it? Friday, Feb 4th. Uh, average, yep. Yeah. Okay. So average viewers was 69 was down 21 from the prior stream and let me show you uh i'm gonna drop this in discord because i can't drop pictures in chat um i can't drop pictures in chat so you're just gonna have like if you would like this if you would or if you are interested in the data it's going to be in discord i'm gonna stick it in the general channel uh logo datas <clears throat> Can you tell when the raid happened? <laughs> Insta, Taylor's Bod, Bjorn, Dunno, Boy, Dupe, and Faden, and Meaty. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Hello, Recoil. How you doing? Oh, I have a hydrate. So, can you can you see where the raid is? Yes. Um, so, if it weren't for the raid. If it weren't for the raid, that number would have been a lot lower. Like, a lot lower. Um, so we were sitting at... Oh, uh, actually... If I go to... No, no. If I go to channel analytics, I should be able to see... If I go... So, Feb 4 to Feb 4. 70 average viewers, 13.73% was host slash raid viewers. So if I take that out, so 70 times 0.1373, and then, so it's 70 take 9.611. So we're sitting about 60. 60 was the, like the average minus the raid, roughly. That's not an exact calculation, but it's, it's close enough for our purposes, right? 60. Uh, if I jump into the 30 days, <clears throat> uh, the stream before that was 90, before that was 88, before that was 67. 
uh, and the prior Friday, which was Pokemon Legends, was 47. So it was it was still higher than, say, Pokemon, but it was still, like, quite a bit lower than, than regular streams. It's definitely something I would consider doing every so often. It's not something I would try to build up as a regular thing. Um, I'm thinking, like... Depending on how, because what we've done usually is one stream per week has been a wild card, roughly. Sometimes it's two, but usually it's one stream per week is a wild card. Um, so that's three WoW streams, one one non-WoW stream. After this month, I want to see how February goes with our literally like one wild card stream for the whole fucking month. I want to see what the numbers are looking at after that. Um, and then from there, I'm thinking either we stick to one a month or um we maybe look at maybe one a fortnight or something if it's an improvement if it's an improvement then we you know play with that but what those wild card streams are i will heavily rely on you guys for because like the wild card streams yes okay it's stuff that i want to play but it's also stuff that you want to see and so we find where those venn diagrams overlap and that's what we play I got eight fucking doubloons. Fuck you. It's fine. Are you ready for the epic journey? <clears> hmm. <throat> I'm jealous. I'm allergic to most makeups. Oh no! Do you have like a brand that you know that you're not allergic to, Dory? Or like specific products that you just go back to time and time again? Ah, uh, what was that like? Okay. Oh, um. I don't have the box anymore, but it's Grogu. It's the child. It's like seven... Seven something. Hang on. Um, I put it in the stream title when I was doing it, so it should be here. No, I didn't. I lied. Um... I put it somewhere. Surely I put it somewhere. I might have put it on Facebook. Not on Insta. This bucket of woods can't fight, but it can still explode. I think I put it, I put, think I put the number on Facebook. It was like seven five something. I know there was a three and I think there was an eight in there somewhere. Um I'm not sure exactly what the kit number was. Sorry, my brain has gone splat, obviously. Um but yeah, it was it was uh Lego Grogu and it was um the child from the Mandalorian. 69, nice indeed. Uh, any luck tonight? Not yet, Zara, not yet. But we will see. We will see. There is still time. It's totally at the start, wasn't it? Yep, yeah, 100%. <laughs> uh, fuck. Understood. Must have been doing something else when the raid came in. Oh no, that's okay. That's, yeah, totally fine. But um, it was a very, very chill, like, relaxed sort of stream. Uh, lots of people were, were um lurking and stuff it was nice but yeah uh so yeah when cricket came in with literally like 200 people that does skew the numbers a fair bit but you can sort it you can closely estimate what it would have been without the raid um but it's not like it's not super accurate but you can get kind of close and that's why um the, the reason i know how to do that is because partnership the 75 excludes raid and host viewers so you need to figure out, like, even though your dashboard says you're on 107, you may not still meet the 75 for partnership. So figuring out where you're actually at every time you check your stats is a really handy skill to have. Uh, so I learned. <laughs> and judging by the, the partnership stats, like when my calculation said I hit 75 was when the form opened up for me to apply. So uh, I'm pretty sure my calculation was accurate, but I, I don't think it's like bang on or anything. Uh, yeah. Yay for bonus shit. Uh, Lost Art comes out in a few days. Fantastic. I hope you enjoy yourself. Uh, nope, everyone, I try. My face flares up. Oh, no. There are definitely, like, some, some makeup brands out there that are specifically designed for people with allergies. Obviously, it helps if you know this, the actual ingredients that you're allergic to, like which ones. Um, the other option is you can actually make your own makeup. I know that sounds really out there and shit, but people people make their own makeup because they don't want to, like, you know, use the chemicals and all that kind of stuff. 
Um, and you can do it with things like if you get freeze dried fruit powders, like raspberry powder is a really, really big one. Um, people get freeze dried raspberry powder, blitz it like in like a, a herb grinder thing until it's literally just dust and then mix it in with a cream product that they're not allergic to, something like, um, you know, solid coconut oil or Vaseline or whatever it happens to be, and turn it into a fucking lipstick. And I think that's so goddamn cool. Um, but yeah, it, it would heavily depend on what you're allergic to, obviously. Um, but it might be something worth looking into with, like, a, a doctor, see if they can do some allergy tests and stuff. Because um, I would imagine that that affects you in your everyday life as well. Twitter, so a treehouse today, might just have to. Thank you, Ali. Yes, at five, seven, five, three, one, eight. Look, there was a three and an eight. I got. Look, I was. Hard, I was almost there. I was almost there. Still no heartbreaker. Soon, Zam. Just gotta keep at it. Just gotta keep at it. There wouldn't be enough hype if it dropped day one. Baby Yoda. Yeah, it was. He's adorable. He's sitting out on the shelf in the lounge room now. He's the cutest. He is adorable. Out there. We are halfway done already. Mm. Mm -hmm. It would be a blessing if it did drop day one. Look, I might secretly be hoping a little bit. But I know my chances are very slim. <laughs> Correct. Correct. Look, I uh, I've got my my start my chances start tomorrow. 4 a.m. tomorrow is uh, when it goes live for Australia for Brisbane and um <clears throat> uh, we're gonna start our bonus streams tomorrow so make sure you check the schedule tab in the about page so if you scroll down and you click where it says Fiamma um, and then you can click on t on schedule and it'll convert all of those bonus streams to your time zone so that you know when to be there here you know the place because you are not going to want to miss it. You know that the one time you're not here will be when it drops and you'll miss the moment and that's just, that's no fun. So, <laughs> even if you're just lurking, do the thing. Um, need to get a shelf to put this visible on stream. I have something else I want to order you. Where? That is bed. <laughs> if I put it here. You are nearly there. You can't see it. <laughs> nah, um, I, look. One day, I'm going to move to Melbourne. I'm going to move home to Melbourne one day. And when I do that, I'm going to save up all the money. I'm going to buy a place. And I can have a stream room. And there will be no bed in the background. It'll be a fucking shelving and stuff. But until then, unfortunately, I have to stream in my bedroom. <laughs> Is that when Figo's like, absolutely not, I'm not going live at four in the morning. I have work tomorrow, dupe. Mm. Congratulations, Jeannie, well done. Well done. Can you taste the salt in the air? Now, you can you taste the salt in the air? Yes, I can. I'm pissed. <laughs> oh, I don't think I'll be catching the stream. It starts at 2 a.m. my time. There are always VODs. You can always watch the VOD. 50 characters is just under a 1.5% chance based on 3333 to 1. It might drop to 1, but it might. It also might not. Mm. Well, look, I have um, my housing prices here are going insane. Yeah. Yeah, There's um, there are some things happening. Unfortunately, I can't do it anytime soon because I have a bunch of medical things that are still happening uh, and changing changing medical professionals halfway through being treated for major like my, my dental stuff. I've got I've had surgery number one. I have to have surgery number two. Getting a different surgeon to do surgeon number two, uh, surgery number two is not the best idea. Um, but yeah, once once that's paid for. Once that's all done and paid for, the next big expense will be moved to Melbourne. I know I'll have to live in Melbourne for a while before I'll be able to afford a place. Um, 
And with uh, the first home buyer's grant, I'll need to buy a new place um, or a significantly. Um, Uh, to be eligible for the first home buyer's grant in most of Australia, it has to be a new home uh, or a significantly altered home, like a, a place that's been completely gutted and, and redone from the inside kind of thing, like massively renovated. Um, but a lot of the time those kind of places won't get approved anyway. You've got to go for, pretty much got to go for something new. Um, so like buying off the plan, buying off the plan also saves you stamp duty. Which is good. So I'm hoping that that's what I'll be able to do. Uh, but good chunks of Australia don't accept foreign income when they are estimating your ability to pay off a loan. Which means all of my Twitch income is worthless. So I'm talking to my accountant about that uh, to do some finagling uh, to not nothing illegal, absolutely nothing illegal. Uh, but because uh, because I do it under my personal like my my tax file number, it comes under foreign income, which doesn't which isn't taken into account. Or if they do take it into account, they only take a percentage of it, not all of it, which sucks. Uh, but if I do it all under my ABN. It doesn't count as foreign income, it counts as business income, which can come from anywhere and it's still it's all the same thing. So um, we're looking at changing a few things up so that I pay my taxes and shit under my ABN rather than under my personal. So it's a business number rather than a person number. Um, ABN stands for Australian business number. It's really that simple. Uh, <laughs> So uh, that's, yeah, where we're looking at that because I'm, I'm taking steps. I'm preparing my butt. Um, I have a credit card that I'm using here and there, like pay for groceries and stuff to build my credit rating. Um, I'm looking at moving my income to my ABN so that it actually counts when I'm being assessed for a loan. Um, and then beyond that, it's just earn more. Because, <laughs> you know, the banks aren't going to like me very much if they don't think I can pay off a loan. Uh, and obviously save as much as I can. Dentistry comes first. Once the dentistry is paid for, then I'm going to start putting money aside for a house deposit. Um, or for, you know, actually moving to Melbourne. Because moving into state across two state lines is not cheap. Uh, but that shouldn't cost 10 grand. That should only cost three or four at max. I've done it before, twice. Uh, although that was before COVID existed. So look, we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, look, my I, I have life plans. It just, it's a matter of whether they actually come to fruition. I would very much like to win the lottery. That'd be a great birthday present. I would absolutely accept that in lieu of a heartbreaker drop. A couple million, go a fair way. Not a long way, but it'd go enough to, to you know, pay the dentistry, move to Melbourne, deposit on a house. That'd be, it'd be enough. Anyway. Um. Lady, are you ready? Absolutely not, purse. You? <laughs> Look, I. Uh, I'm as ready as I'm gonna be, hey. I, uh, like. It's fine. I'm gonna die, but it'll be fine. It just you you'll have you'll have Jas sitting here doing runs and all you'll be able to hear is me groaning on the floor. It'll be okay. Oh, hey little You channel name Fiamma Inc. I am not an ink I'm a soul trader. I'm not an incorporation. That's not a thing. Uh, I'm I'm not an ink. I'm not an incorporated. Um, I am a sole trader. Individual person. Zero employees, which is why I am always busy. <laughs> oh my god, I had Frankie finish an island for me earlier while I cooked dinner. I haven't been back on the computer since. He got me squawks! Oh my god! I logged in one of the olds and squawks are sitting in the bag. What the actual fuck? That's awesome! Holy shit, that's awesome! Congratulations. The squawks is the only one available in the boxes this week, for me at least, out of the ones that I still need. Um, so I'm just like, sure, whatever. Um, but we'll see how we go. 
60 mil Thursday night. That's enough. I'm in place. Really? Shit. So it is. I don't have a Friday lotto. Friday's my birthday. So 60. Thursday's close enough. Friday's my birthday. But that would certainly be a brilliant way to start off my birthday. Not gonna lie. Ooh, how much do I have in the lottery fund? Where's my, where's my budget? All to refresh. Yeah, it's enough. Let's go with that one. Actually, no, we're gonna go with this one. Because that's... Oh, alright. Bet with your head, not over it. Yes, I'm aware that my funds are low. Funds in the in the lottery account, not in my account account. I'm I'm fine. Everything is fine. I would not be purchasing a ticket if I couldn't afford it. Um, that's why that's why they say bet with your head, not over it. Like don't get in over your head, sort of thing. Yep, that's that's what that means. Uh good. 118. Let's go. Um, have four more cheese level before 2 p.m. Central, 10 ish hours. No, I am not ready. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, I, I had, I was done two weeks early. 50 50s complete. Two weeks before deadline. I was pretty happy with that. <clears throat> Friends may think that if she saves up to 12k, she just quit her job. I'm like, 12k is nothing. No, 12k is nothing. Uh, ooh. No, and whoop, shit, hang on, loading screen. One moment, please. <clears throat> yeah, no, 12k is nothing. Um, Like, get them to divide 12k by their rent alone and see how many, wait, you guys do it by month over there, don't you? Like, and just see how many months that'll last them and then remind them that that's not including food and electricity and phone and internet and every other fucking thing you could possibly want to spend money on. Uh, I already have the Fire Geode Mace, and I already have the Sea Tusk Shiv. Thank you anyway. Much appreciated, but no, I've got both of those. Sell them on the auction house. Uh, sounds like Frankie needs to run more islands for your purse. Agreed. Also should have him run in the first crown car. Yes! Uh, I just want to win this set for life. I don't think it actually sets you up for life, though. That's the thing. I think it's a misnomer. Where is set for life? This jetpack can take you into the sky. 20k a month for 20 years. That's not life. Be on the lookout for these things components. But 20k a month, like if you manage to blow through that, you're an idiot. Just saying. But like, yeah. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. But they do so many draws of that that they can't like. <clears throat> times 12 times 20. So it's 5 million. It's under 5 mil. 4 mil, 4.8 million over 20 years. So if you win 60 mil and you're not a fuckwit, it's well and truly better. And you can absolutely budget it out so that you have divided by 20, 3,000 months, which is 250 years. That's, that's set for life. <laughs> yeah, you win the lottery, you tell no one, and you immediately find yourself a financial planner. And you do not tell them how much you have won. You give them a small amount of your winnings to start with, to say, like, this, this is how much I've got, what do I do? And then you see how that goes before you tell them that you've actually won 60 mil. And you just keep it locked the fuck away. And you tell no one. And as soon as they give you the call and they say, you've won 60 million, the first thing out of your mouth is, I would like to remain anonymous. <clears throat> I haven't thought about this at all. Look, I'm good with money. How, what can I? What can I say? Ah, uh, one minute left now. The Twilight Avenger, nice, nice. I've still got, I think, 
five, four. I think I've got four. I Why don't I just check? Oh, actually, this would probably work better. Four left. I've got four left to get. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Um, at least you're not a soul trader. Um, a lot of affiliate incoming. I uh, no. First, okay, there's there's actually a couple of reasons why that's a no. I don't think that they would bring in affiliates to try to sell more tickets. Like, it, they, they sell enough tickets as it is. Um, investing money in, like, giving people free shit. Giving someone a free ticket and giving them a cut of what people... No, absolutely not. They don't need to. Um, secondly, it's banned on Twitch. Having links that lead to gambling sites and stuff like that gets you banned. And it's because of all of the, like, um, you know, they had the, there were games that were like basically slot machines where you could win skins for, for different, like, gun skins and stuff like that. All that kind of shit where you were opening loot boxes and, hey, look at all this amazing shit I got from my loot boxes. Check this link out and get your own loot boxes and blah, blah, blah. That shit, it's gambling. That's literally what it is. And so if you have those kind of links on your Twitch page, you get that's it's grounds for banning. Um... So yeah, no, it would it would definitely not work. Uh, <laughs> but hey, I'd take a free lottery ticket. Um, my original goal was 500 attempts. So I was like, no, I need more options that aren't on Zuljin. Currently have 56 50s. Holy shit. Nicely done. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm like, why am I not able to cast? That's why. We are done. <sighs> They're moving backwards and <laughs> thing is I spend 3k on rent a month. That's 1k split between the three of them. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, 20k a month for 20 years would be real nice. It would. It would. It's 4.8 mil. Yeah. It'd still work. Fair enough. Plus interest. Yeah, depending. Um, There are a lot of places that'll only pay interest up to a certain amount. Like, once you hit a million dollars in the account, they won't pay any interest on the million and first dollar. Hmm. Two times my income. Yeah, but the Powerball is just bullshit to try and win IMO. Fair enough. No, tax free. Mm hmm. Take care of that and invest it. Maybe in 20 years is up. I'm rolling in dividends. You just gotta make sure you do it right, though. That's the thing. Because so many investments can just turn completely on their head. A day um, when you see no land, you yeah, this is why I said financial planner. <clears throat> 60 million invested at 1% is still 600k a year, except that they're not going to, like, if, if they don't pay out on 60 million, if they'll only pay out on 1 million of that. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, you've got to, you've just got to check that kind of shit because not everyone pays out the dividends on the entire 60 mil. I just want to buy a good house and live comfortably, of course. I mean, there are the people who kind of, like, their mind boggles at the amount of money that they have and they don't quite comprehend it, and so they just spend a shitload. Then you've got the people who are really responsible with it, but they also love their family, and as soon as word gets out, everyone wants to be their friend and everyone's asking them for help with this, that, or the other, and everything's a dire situation, and so it just drains it like that. Like, it's really, like, it's really dangerous. <clears throat> There are, there are so many stories of, like, lottery winners either obviously going bankrupt um, or being entirely 100% completely isolated because all of their family tried to abuse it and they can't make any new friends because, like, they can't trust whether or not they're there for the money or for them, do you know? So it's, yeah, look, it can be a bit messy. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's just, uh, if you ever do win the lottery, be hella fucking careful. Tell no one. Uh, tell no one is still work. Gonna keep my days occupied at least for a little while. I'd stream full time. And I'd slowly but surely ramp up the amount of giveaways I could do. And for the most part, it'd still be from companies I'm affiliated with and stuff. Because that way it's like, oh yeah, such and such has given me this to give away. I can kind of hide partially the fact that I've spent 
all this money. Um, I I do I do charity streams far more regularly, uh, and I do shit like at the end of the stream being like, oh, we raised three thousand dollars. Cool, I'm a match it. Like, do you know that kind of shit? You know, that's yeah, that'd feel fucking awesome. Enemy. That'd feel fucking amazing. Like, one day I would love to do the chopper drive with Kraz and Len, and then at the end of the stream, just whatever it's at, just match it. Without a second thought of how, like, ooh, actually, have is that too much? Is it? No, fuck it. Just, that's it, done. And that doesn't necessarily have to take winning the lottery. But, given that I stream Australian times, I ain't gonna make it that big. <clears throat> I'm also not in my mid-twenties, um, early to mid-twenties, or like, you know, late teens these days. Uh, so I'm not- I'm not the ideal demographic for a big streamer. Uh, <laughs> but look, maybe one day. Maybe one day. Hmm, win the lottery, can we hire fear as a financial plan? No, absolutely not, I'd decline. I, I'd appreciate the trust, but I would, uh, I would decline. I do not have, um, the appropriate education. Uh, in Australia, you cannot give financial advice professionally without uh, having a particular qualification. There, There is a financial planning qualification. Um, a lot of businesses will, like if they're a, if they're a bank, for example, uh, and they see that someone is, is rising up the ranks, they'll send them to get their financial planning certificate kind of thing. Um, but... Yeah, it's, uh, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. It's just, it is not worth it when I don't have that education. Uh, I can make my own decisions with my own money, but when it comes around to, hey, you gave me this advice and it didn't quite pan out the way I wanted it to, I'ma sue you. No, not worth it. Not worth. But I appreciate the trust. I want to. I want to not have to check my bank account every time. I want to purchase something fun. Agreed. Agreed. I would still have to restrain myself from buying too much makeup, though. <laughs> Doesn't matter if I've got sixty million in the bank. Too much make. I got. I've got so much makeup. I'm not going to be able to use it in a lifetime. Like legitimately. I'm not going to be able to use it. So like, I don't need more. But I also want more. <laughs> I just buy more storage containers, right? More, more drawers, more sets of drawers. Uh, be the same. Afternoon, Draz. Uh, doing my first ever rescue of Jaina in BFA, and dang, this is interesting. Oh, cool. Ah, uh, not forever. It's not. No. Let's explain inflation. Ah, uh, gonna be an island expedition in the next ten hours and try not to die. Have fun. Best of luck. Enjoy yourself. I mean, I'm uh, still 600k, just because 600k won't buy a hamburger in 50 years. I actually have plans on what I do for my family if I ever win the lotto, so do I. So do I. There are, there are specific things that I would do for specific people. Uh, and every so often, um, their life, so those, those people in my life, their life circumstances change, and so my plan of what I would do for them also changes. Um, but yeah, that's... Um, <clears throat> Tell no one unless it's a team lottery, am I right? Syndicate. Nah, even then, you don't tell anyone. We are almost done. You are doing well. Like, obviously, they'll know, the, the group will know, and if they go running their mouth, nice. I wasn't a part of it. You them, huh? I didn't buy in that week. I missed that one week and I'm fucking, you know, whatever. If you're comfortable lying. Otherwise, you just keep your mouth shut. I'm just swimming too. Hmm. Self-employment is the best employment. Yeah, look. Ah, it's you. Some things would change though with the streaming. I would absolutely hire someone to do my fucking social media for me. Because <laughs> I'm, ah, ah. Uh, I'm so bad at socials. So bad. If you'll be over, you get a headset. You get a headset. Everybody gets a headset. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Are you ready for 
body every blend. <clears throat> Mm, best genie wish I ever heard of was to have exact change for whatever you buy when when you open your wallet. I think that's awesome. That's an awesome one, come. Really, really good. <laughs> Death buy, I want to buy a Ferrari. The, the wallet just explodes with hundreds. Uh, when friends offer to carry you on islands, you level three chains at once. Yes, that's awesome. Go out with a huge smile on my Yeah, crushed by money. How horrible. Yeah. That's hilarious. I have hydrates. You want to use a goblin jet pack? <laughs> it's your funeral. The component should be somewhere. <clears throat> Yeah, that is that is a pretty cool genie wish. Although, if you don't want to be crushed by money, you could somehow word it to be like, uh, you know, those those prepaid Visa debit cards that you can use as gift cards. It could be spent literally anywhere. It's like cash, except not. Go with one of those. Congratulations to Red, Dunno, Silky, Draz, Bjorn, Spam, Grubin, and Kludgy on all your bonus shit. Well done. Hope you all got a lovely amount of tokens. Onward to the next battle. Bonus shit! Woo! Yas! <clears throat> can I place another balloon buster yet? I can! Yay! Uh -oh, I think I'm in combat. I am! <laughs> Instance limit. Time to change servers again. Indeed. Yeah, that's, um... I think I know which tunes are, like, my 10th and, and 20th, so... I should be okay, but we'll see. Hey, Akoma, welcome on in. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you very much, Zayn, for the launcher command. Uh, that should explain it. That should explain why I'm on the launcher. But if you've got any further questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them. Good morning, Mikey. I'm looking at yours! Oh, good! I hope you enjoy it. Look, guys, I'm an influencer. <laughs> oh, fuck. Why did they pick you? Uh, very good question. I have no idea. Um, I, I guess it was just they were happy with my content and liked my enthusiasm, maybe. I'm not sure exactly why they picked me. Uh, but they did, and I'm very glad that they did. I really love what I do, and I've loved working with them. It's been such an awesome experience. Uh, yeah. The hull is half full. Keep it up, and we will be done in no time. Is it only on the US Battle.net? No, um, it's not on the US Battle.net at all, actually. Um, it's AU NZ, uh, NZ, so Australia and New Zealand. Uh, and sometimes I pop up on the European launcher as well. Uh, but not for all of Europe either, just just some uh, small areas. Uh, but not always, just just occasionally. Yeah. Uh, I'm still mad I didn't get Memron this week. I have to try again during Lovers in the Air. Oh, 56 attempts and no mount this week. 1,500 all round. Jesus Christ, first. Jesus Christ, that is a lot of kills. I only OCE, sometimes EU. Yes! Ah, oh, I'm on EU today! Amazing. Thank you for letting me know, Kaz. I appreciate it. That is all oh! Okay. Time to shove off. <clears throat> In the English-speaking countries, I imagine. Yeah, I, I reckon so. I reckon so. Then I'm out. No worries, Koma. Have a wonderful time. I hope you enjoy whatever you've got left of your day. 
Maybe we'll see you next time. 176! Alright, fuck yeah, let's go back cash. What did you bring me? Ken has squawks. Ah! <laughs> has squawks! <laughs> oh fuck yeah. Alright. One down. Three to go. There we go. Mm. Um, I'm not lucky enough to see it on the EU banner. Oh, bugger. Mm. Look, it's, um, I think it's only certain areas of the EU that it comes up on sometimes. Um, I don't think it's all English speaking areas either. There's, uh, well, I'm not really sure. I don't ask too many questions. I just kind of let them do their thing. Uh, like there, there's a lot of stuff that happens in like my relationship with Blizzard that I don't know about just because I don't need to know. Uh, and a lot of it, there's, you know, there's trade secrets and shit, but there's also just back-end stuff that they're, they're not able to share because I don't need to know. And so they don't tell me. But, um, hmm. It's still, uh, pretty, pretty awesome. Otherwise it would be go-ass look a little bit. Just a shit looks with mouse. I keep hearing about your crazy ashes amount. Yeah, like, I just, that one, like, that one hurts me, Purse, like, on your behalf. Thank you for the grats, everyone. Yep, defo the earrings. Fucking oath. So, actually, fun fact. So, uh, I got these earrings. They're, they're beautiful. Let me just um, see if I can... Actually, do we have... There we go. Look. My gorgeous earrings that were suggested to me. This was a suggestion via Throne from an anonymous person. And then purchased from Throne by an anonymous person. Uh, I, they could be the same person. They could be two different. I've got no fucking idea. Uh, but they came from Amazon. And then... And then another one came from Amazon. <laughs> this one's unopened. It's still, you can see it's in its plastic wrap. It's sealed. And on the bottom, it says, like... So is it going to work this time, maybe? Oh, coos. Focus! Excuse me. Here. Is it not... Maybe it's too close. You can't find it. says, Sterling silver shamrock earrings for women Irish Celtic gifts. So, so I'm presuming it's from, uh, there can't be anything else. Uh, so what I'm thinking is, given that these babies have given me so much goddamn luck, since I got these and they were just sitting on my desk, I've had uh, Rot Feaster drop at 34 attempts, Ishak, 33. Um, we got KSM. The first day I wore these on stream, I got KSM. Um, so, I mean, <coughs> it's probably bullshit, but I don't care. Uh, I'm going to give away the second pair uh, as part of the stream anniversary shenanigans on the 26th of February, my six year anniversary on Twitch. Uh, what the fuck? So I'm going to, I'm going to, they're going to be a, a thing, part of the giveaways. So um, if you would like your own set of lucky, be sure to be here. Be sure to be here. Good squawk there. Indeed. I look, I, yep. Yeah. Now it took me roughly 2k times around 1k for Anixian Drake. Jesus Christ! I didn't see you in my launch room screen. That's no need to apologize for, not a problem at all. You're yeah, on the launcher here? Okay. So not just me. No, definitely not just you, Jeannie. Definitely not just you. Guys on the mount, thank you, Kay. Let's see if I don't get the heartbreaker. I'll hit one 4k overall. Good lord. I'm gonna be hitting 1.6k. Not anywhere close. I did get a mount! I got squawks! Oh, you give them to me right now. <laughs> I would fucking lose my shit purse. So what, what I'm planning on doing, I do have a few things to give away at the anniversary, like severals. I have severals to give away. Uh, I have spoken to a couple of people that I have connections with and I have secured a few things for to give away. Some of the things are region restricted. Some of the things are not. Um, but it's going to be great. I'm really fucking looking forward to it. Uh, we're going to give a shit, like a ton of shit away. It's, it's my birthday and you get presents. Um, because it's going to, like, my birthday is on Friday and then the anniversary is at the end of the month. My birthday is fucking halfway through Lovers in the Air. Piss off. I'm not doing a marathon. No. So the one at the end of the month will be like a combined everything shenanigans type deal. Um, so yes, my birthday, my anniversary, you guys get presents. 
Um, and what I'm thinking of doing, instead of having like, at this time we'll give away this, and at this time we'll give away this, because then people will just rock up for the five minutes for the thing that they want and then fuck off, and that's not very fun. So I'm gonna get a little jar and put like strips of paper in there, and like, when it's time for a giveaway, pull a piece of paper out of the jar and be like, I'm giving away earrings! Like, yeah, so I feel like that'd be far more fun uh, and exciting, because like, what are we gonna get? Yeah, but we'll see. I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Anyway, anyone got the link for those earrings? I can get you the link. One moment, please. Let me grab that for you. Um, it'll be under my orders and throne, surely. Details. Link to product. The price has changed significantly since these were bought last time. Um, but there they are. There they are. Ah, uh, assuming that is you, Jack. Nice moves on the head. Yeah, it's so fucking weird. I trained Invincible and Ashes for school. Really? <gasps> Mikey knew. The link, I'll just put them on my wish list. Fuck yeah, you will. Ag no, purse, why don't I just go and suggest them to you? Give me a second. Give me a goddamn second. I'll suggest it to you. Let me do a suggestion. I've never done a suggestion for somebody else before. It's be I haven't done it. Obviously, I haven't done a suggestion for myself either. Um... Let me find your throne panel. There it is. 26 bucks USD. They're listed as like 66 Australian, but I think that's because there's also like shipping fees and stuff in there too, not just, um. <laughs> Sorry, I've just seen at the top of your wish list, um, the, the calendar. <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic. Whew, oh my god, that's amazing. Uh, okay, good. Suggest so link manually. Paste the product link. Let the creator know why you want them to have the item. There's no field for me to do that. Odd. There you go. Give suggestion successfully sent. That was fun. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, be lazy and do it on stream. Spinny wheel thing. That's um, yeah. But the ones that I've found are all ugly. So. <laughs> Basically, I can't do pretty like ombre panels and shit. It's just, it's just ugly. Hmm. I think you might have a Ah, you're very welcome, Kel. Not a problem at all. They are very, very, like, the luck thing aside, they're really gorgeous. Like, really, really lovely. The green is so vibrant and deep and the, the silver is just, like, it's actually, it's sterling silver. It's got the 925 stamp on and everything. Like, they're legit. They're not just like, they won't turn our ears green, you know? Yeah. Hmm. Twenty six USD. Yeah, when you when you have a like an American Amazon listing that comes through to Amazon AU, they add a ton of fees and shit. It's not just a straight conversion. <clears throat> Female anime version of that calendar. I saw that one and I about died. It's so fucking good. That's hilarious. Um. So for context here, purse on her wish list on her throne wish list has uh, a wall calendar called Nature's Dick Pics. And it's like rock formations that look like peni, etc. Yep, it's great. That's hilarious. Uh, past time I've been watching this person on TikTok slowly adopting a feral cat. It's so heartwarming. Yes, Willin does all the time. Oh, yay! For the only unlock you're in. Fantastic, Kate, congratulations. Uh, I had to go look at your throne page to see what you're talking about. I have the headphone stand with the wireless charging. Oh, nice. 
Awesome. Sounds like a TikTok actually worth watching. Fuck yeah. Absolutely. And for work and one for home. Oh, that's so good. Right. What the fuck am I doing? I'm not doing more islands. I'm done. I'm done. Um... Uh, maybe. This is actually getting high up on my list. That's a pet. I don't want the pet. I want the- maybe it won't show up because I'm on a horde tune. Okay. Um, thank you so much guys for the runs. I very much appreciate it. Uh, we will likely be back to island expeditions again in the future because I still have three more mounts to go. Uh, but there- no, not today. <laughs> Not today. Thank you very much for coming along. I very much appreciate it. Um, chat with me if you want to see three wholesome. Yay, old lady bedtime. Hope you have a stellar remaining stream. Thank you, Ellie. I hope I will too. Let me move my mic. Free headphone stand. I'm Mike Lowell. That doesn't work for me anymore. Did ten islands in a row yesterday to help others out. No mounts. Can we solo islands? Yes. It just takes, uh, it's quicker if you're with a group, obviously, because more people means more Azerite farming means it's over faster. Um, but you can absolutely do it by yourself, yeah. Uh, got some new man's runs. Thank you, TV. Thank you. I have done nearly 400 island expeditions and I still have three to go. I've got six out of the, out of the nine. So like, keep that in mind. They are not common drops. They are not common drops. Um, Two headphones on it. Brilliant. Take a tank. Taking a tank definitely makes it a lot easier, yeah. Um, there is 11 now from what I saw. 11? No. There's always been, there's been 9 ever since they made the new introductions in like 8-3. Blood Gorge Hunter. Stonehide Elderhorn. Surf Jelly. Craghorn Chasm Leaper, Kinsho's Eternal Hound, Twilight Avenger, Island Thunderscale, Squawks, and Risen Mare. If you've got others that you know of that come from islands, let us know, but that's that's as far as we're aware. <clears throat> What's your favorite mountain? The Ashes. <laughs> ashes. Always has been, uh, probably always will be. Ashes is my favorite. So what is your favorite, Mikey? And what is everybody else's favorite? Tell me what your favorite mounts are. I'd love to hear them. Uh, right, so. There we go, Honeyback Harvester. Let's get cracking on this one, shall we? Oh, because I can take the portal to Boralus, of course. Raven Lord. Ooh, that's a good one. Obsidian Worldbreaker. Oh, hell yeah. I did a, um, like, because I do mount makeup every stream. Uh, I choose a World of Warcraft mount and I do my makeup, like, with the same colors and inspired by, inspired by the mount. Um, and then everyone guesses at the very start of at very start of stream. Everyone tries to guess which mount it is, and if you guess correctly first, then you get a small prize. Um, but uh, when I did the Obsidian Worldbreaker, it, like I barely even turned the camera on, and everyone was like, "Ah!" Um, but like I did the whole like the the I think it was like was it not red and black, but like the gold and the black. But then I had all these little like dots, like the little the marks of gold from like the the holes all poked in that. Yeah. It was, I had a lot of fun doing that look. A lot of fun. It was a nightmare. Woo. How long did it take you, Templar? How, how long did the maze take you? Flying equals pig, ground equals goat. Perfect. Never fave mount, but I do have a few fave pets. Ah, Chibi, what are they? Tell me. Uh, Grinning Reaver and the Hand of Salaranga. Ooh. Ooh, I didn't really ride the spectral moose. I did the archaeology did get him, yes. Currently flying the recent six months I'm out. Wenlo. Wenlo is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Ah, uh, Bruto! Yeah! Spent months getting the cash written BFA inspired by Purse. It's the one I worked hardest for. 
I, I had a lot of fun doing my, my Bruto farm. Um, like, it was the first time I'd ever had that much cash. I'd never had, like, anywhere close to that much. And uh, once once I got there and spent the money, spending the five million kind of hurt. But once it was done, I kind of realized, well, I, I can buy stuff. I can buy really expensive stuff because it's not like the gold's gone forever. I can just earn it back again. So that really kind of changed my whole perspective on how I feel about in-game gold, which is cool. I really like that. Uh, honestly, I do like the hand mounts now. Or oh, the gig ladders, yeah. Yeah, the maze was six hours tried mapping it out, just ended up following the left wall. Fair, fair. <sighs> I was so looking, I did the Lucid Nightmare on stream and I was fully preparing it to be a, a full length stream. I can't remember if I was doing four or six hour streams at that point. Um, but I was fully expecting, you know, this is gonna be a whole stream thing. It's, it's, you know, we're gonna probably run a little bit overtime, but that's okay. I'm really excited to get this done. Uh, 45 minutes. I love puzzles. Puzzles are my bread and butter. Puzzles are like my mind automatically just, as soon as I see a puzzle, I can't help it. My brain just tries to figure it out. It's a thing. Um, so I was so excited, so excited. Um, to finally deal with a proper puzzle in World of Warcraft. And then it just didn't. It was, it just, I smashed it. I was like, <sighs> okay. okay. Uh, but I mean, like, it's okay. It's okay. Creepy create um, of our community material. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. You're joking. Nope, not joking. Not joking. Uh, I was going to pen and paper it, like I usually do for like my, you know, stock standard puzzles and stuff, but I wanted people to be able to see on stream what I was doing. Uh, so I ended up getting a, it was like Lucid Nightmare Helper or Maze Helper, or I can't remember exactly what it was called, but there was an add-on um, that basically, it did the same as pen and paper. It didn't do anything for you. Uh, it just like, it enabled you to do pen and paper, but on the screen. Uh, and so I did that as I was going and I just followed the rule of do not go through a door if it leads to somewhere where it should be a solid wall. Uh, and I just did that and yeah, 45 minutes. I got the last one, I was like, wait, what? Oh, fuck. But um, yeah, I, I do love, if you've ever played The Witness, if you like puzzles, the Witness, I feel like, was a game that was literally made for me. I, I And I, I know that sounds really self-absorbed, but it just, it was so fucking perfect. I loved it so dearly. And I, there are, there are quite a few things I would give to be able to play that game for the first time again. I can't play it again because once you know how to solve the puzzles, that's it, you know? But, um, yeah. I do love a really good puzzle game. Um, this is insanely great. Uh, and I was doing, but it was while I, like I was distracted by chat and all that kind of shit as well. It just, it, it felt like a letdown. <laughs> but that's okay. It's okay. I just, yeah. Did you get the hive mind? Yes. Had to restart mine three times maybe before. Yeah, I heard a lot of, like, I heard of people spending, like, 16 hours in there. And, uh, and then having to let it go and all that kind of stuff. But, um, yeah, no. Went in, 45 minutes later, I walked out with them out. Yep. Uh, I restarted once. Used the add-on at some point, Brain did not compute. I do like, the, the Witness is so good. It was so fucking good. I, I, I still remember so vividly um, the, the timer, There's so many memories from the time, like you go all the way down into the cave and then you turn it on and it's like this music. I'm like, oh, wow, this is awesome. And I'm like, oh, hang on. That wasn't on before. And so I went over and did this and did that puzzle. And then I did the next one. And then I did the next one and I'm sitting there looking at this puzzle and they're going up to the crescendo with, um, uh, I can never remember the, the, no, 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 no. I can't remember what it's called. I, I just never can. But it's getting building and building and building the crescendo. And I'm like, when this ends, everything's going to turn off, isn't it? And I was like, oh. <laughs> and then the music ended. And I was like, 
okay, back to the start. And then the maze of trying to find the pillars where they're, and then I, I cl it clicked, I was actually at work. I was at work when all of a sudden my brain just went, oh, by the way, and I was like, <laughs> I jumped on my phone and tweeted out, like, in all the caps, I figured it's this, isn't it? And I just get all these responses like, I think maybe, like, that sounds like it could work. And then I, that night, jumped on stream and I was right and it went straight through it. Oh, oh, it was so, like, I just, you don't often get shit that feels that good to solve. It was just such a well done game. I loved it. So good. Wait, have you played crap? I have not played crap. Nor have I played craps. I don't know how to play. <laughs> it's a game with the 3D thingy. Crap! Thundering on his clouds are my favorite this month. Love the Lothian Prowler. Yes! Man, I'm still gutted I didn't get was the ZG Tiger. Oh, yeah. One does not just simply play with crap. <laughs> Super liminal. Ooh, hang on. Uh, let me check. 1812 uh, Overture. It might have been. It might have been. I remember it from uh, V for Vendetta. <gasps> Chibi! Thank you so much for the gifted sub. That is so generous of you. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Oh, excuse me. I can recommend What Remains of Edith Finch. I think I have that game. I think I have that. Give me a second. Super Liminal. I also have Super Liminal. Perception is reality in this mind-bending first-person puzzler. You can escape the surreal dream world through solving impossible puzzles using the ambiguity of depth and perception. A perspective. Yes. I, I saw this and I was like, oh, I want to play this. And then realized it was 3D and first-person. I guarantee you half an hour into this game I will be vomiting. <laughs> Look, well, I would love to give it a try, but I feel like it'll make me motion sick. But we'll find out. Uh, and then the other one was... What remains? I don't have this. Okay. I've seen it though. I've heard of it. What Remains of Edith Finch is a collection of strange tales about a family in Washington State. As Edith, you'll explore the colossal Finch house, searching for stories as she explores her family history and tries to figure out why she's the last one in her family left alive. Ooh. Ah, story rich atmospheric walking simulator, Indy. I have not played it. Might stick that on my wish list though, if it's recommended. Uh, Return of the Oberdin. That one also, I know that one. That one's on my wish list already. Uh, Lost at Sea 1803, the good ship Oberdin. That's the entire description. Um, First person mystery adventure based on exploration and logical deduction. <laughs> Sounds interesting. Oh, they won a ton of awards too. Well, that's cool. Interesting. Talos Principle, I know that one too. I think I've got that. I do, I do got that. Talos Principle is a first-person puzzle game in the tradition of philosophical science fiction made by Crow Team and written by Tom Jubert, FTL the Swapper, and Jonas Karatz's The Sea Will Claim Everything. Uh, I've I've got that. I've got that. Overcome more than 120 immersive puzzles in a stunning world. Uh, well, I guess we have a few titles for me to use as... Um, as as community goals once February's over and done with. Mist Templar. Have you got Mist currently? Have you got the sequel to Mist? Humble's got a bundle. I don't I'm not sure if it's still running, actually. Uh that being said, let me just double check. Um, because it was in the affiliate specials channel. Um Mist and more game bundle. Is it running still? It is, it is. Uh, it's running for another four days and eight hours, roughly. Uh, but discover timeless classics and modern wonders in this bundle of games from the Legendary Mist series, plus even more adventure games that will challenge your mind and take your breath away. Return to where it all began and experience it in a whole new way. Uh, in Real Mist Masterpiece Edition, delve further into the series' as rich fiction and brain-bending puzzles in sequels like Mist 3 Exile. Venture to a wholly different alien world in abduction, abduction, 
uh, an original sci-fi adventure from the creators of Myst, own a collection of games for the ages and support active minds with your purchase. Uh, you've got Riven, you've got Uru Complete Chronicles, you've got Myst 5 End of Ages, we've got the Manhole Masterpiece Edition, you've got Abduction, you've got Real Myst Masterpiece Edition, Myst 3 Exile, Myst 4 Revelation, Myst Masterpiece Edition, Spelunks and the Caves of Mr. Sudo, and Cosmic Osmo and the Worlds Beyond the Mackerel, plus a $10 off coupon for Myst, specifically. Um, and when I bought this... Mist was on sale. I bought the bundle. Like, front up. I fucking bought the bundle. Uh, and yeah, Mist is still 20% off. So it's currently AU3436. Is, is that a six? Yes. It's usually 42.95. So they've got 20% off, bring it down to 34.36. And if you buy the bundle, you get another $10 off that as well. They're stackable. So it comes down to 24.36. So it's almost half price. Um, of course, you do have to buy it separately from the bundle. The bundle just has the, the thingamajig. So let me just for a second, um, because I am a humble affiliate, full disclosure, that is a referral link. If you use my referral link, when you look at like a just donation, you can, there, there will be like, it'll have X to publishers, X to active minds, X to humble, X to Fiamma. So you can jump in there and you can adjust how much goes to each of the places and stuff like that, um, including my own slider. So it'll just add you another slider. Um, but yes, I bought that because fuck yes. Mist was like one of the first goddamn, like Age of Empires, The Sims and Mist. Like, my three original PC games. Oh, and Putt-Putt joins the parade. Thank you, Battle. Perfect fucking timing. Hmm. I used to. What? Yas! Bundle. <laughs> Necromancer 2. Yay! Thanks, Random Stream Readers, Captains. You play Dungeons. Woo! Fantastic. What mount are you after? Uh, I think I'm kind of, like... Working on the Honeyback Harvester thing at the moment. I've got a guide for it, so I'm I'm getting there. I, I'm not sure how this is. Uh, no, that's wrong. Where's this? It's in the... Okay. I, I've never even touched this before, but it came up on my list and I'm like, yeah, let's give that a try. Um, cause I was supposed to be doing islands, uh, island expeditions until the end of stream, but it, Squawks dropped, so I'm like, fuck yeah! Uh, so we're moving on, cause I don't want to do any more island expeditions. But I hope you're having a wonderful day, Doctor. Hope you're having a lovely evening, or, or whatever time it is for you. Oh, there's another person here. Interesting. <clears throat> because why'd it have to be bees? We're playing Uru on PS1. The voice is so soothing. You say that now! Oh my god, dupe. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, let me. Brilliant. Congratulations to Ali, Dupe, Dunno, Spam, Fairy, and Faden on all your bonus shit. Ah, uh, is that the brand new version of Mist? Uh, potentially? I'm not sure. There is the Masterpiece Edition, so I'm guessing so. It looks very shiny. I remember being awful at Miss. Oh my god, Pup Pup was how I learned us. Yep. It's awful at Miss too. I had no idea what I was doing as a kid. Yeah, look, I mean, I did any of us, honestly. Goodest of evenings. Hello, Yori. How are you? Why am I still in combat? With, with ah, the sleeping turtle is what I'm in combat with. Ah, uh, good. There we go. Uh, okay, let me place a unit. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, so now I'm farming jelly. All right, good. And I can't track this, can I? I have to actually like look for it. Does it sparkle? I guess we're gonna find out, aren't we? Uh, 
bury the beekeeper. The clusters of honeycomb on the ground all over Stormsong Valley exchange jellies at the Honeyback Hive Mother in the Honeyback Hatchery. So they're, they're chunks of honeycomb on the ground. I feel like when I see one, I'm going to be like, oh, okay, and then it'll be fine. But like until I see one, this is going to be a whole experience. people here. Jelly deposit. Okay, so no, they do not sparkle. Good fucking god. Okay, that's gonna be terrible. Alright. Um. I'm just by reading the manual. Some good. Gonna be like the whole time. Yay! Because I'm farming any luck so far. Hyped for tomorrow. I would not use the word hyped, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, yeah, we got squawks. We got squawks from islands. Uh, at a little rep, I think it's rep. You can buy an item that will place the honey on the mini-map. Oh, thank fuck. Okay. Uh, it looks like bunnies, but yellow. You can also group up with a person who already have it. You can follow that person. Okay. When high up, that is. A bit better when you have the goggles. Okay. Yay, burb! Yay, burb indeed! Okay, so it'll be better when I have the goggles. Is it a low reputation at which I can buy the goggles? Cause like I am paranoid as hell that I'm gonna miss this shit. And I can't move if I'm reading chat. Cause like, oh, there's one. A rich jelly and a couple of thin jellies. This is gonna be fine. So this is where I'm going to remind everybody that it's actually kind of difficult to see, like, okay, it's not difficult to see your screen, but it's difficult to see tiny fine details on your computer screens when you have two tiny suns illuminating the back of the screens. Um, and like, you. <laughs> I can see things much clearer when I do this, but you can't see shit. So there's that. <laughs> <laughs> but I can see everything so much clearer when that's a thing. Um, God, my eyes actually felt good for a second there. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, it was Blue Drake. Yes, it was. Um, I'm outside the cave, you the is. Okay, awesome. It's actually cool with the RGB lights, doesn't it? And you can kind of tell when I'm- but you can't see me. That's the, like... It's a buzz buzz. Oh, look. Some strange gestures. Oh, initiate combat? Why do I want to initiate- what? No. Oh, there's one. I feel like I've missed so many. I should have done like an update. Oh, did it? Yes. <gasps> oh, I did too. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like that. It used to be, it used to be Bulva, and now it's like the box color and stuff. That's super cool. I like that a lot. Super cool. Um, they've, we've had a few different ones. Um, like the when we were on the Diablo launcher, it was all red and fiery and stuff. And then when we've been on Hearthstone launcher a couple times, and um, when we did the cooking stream, I was on the launcher and it was no me. Um, and it was really funny because when I was talking to my contact, they were like, "I'm trying to figure out what we should do for your art for the launcher for the cooking stream." Because Blizzard sent me the cookbook, like, and then I did the stream, right? Um. And I'm like, well, I mean, we could always do something with Nomi. And lo and behold, on the day, there was Nomi. And I was like, yes! It was great. I liked it a lot. Um, 
Would lowering the lights help a bit? Uh, maybe. But I feel like it would maybe look like shit. How dark can I... No, not that dark. I think that's about as dark as I can go without it being, like, icky. And that's at 23%. I think that maybe that's help? I don't know. I don't know. I can't tell. Uh, it's a boss. Ah, there's a few around that give honey. Okay, noted. So I can just smack the shit out of it and it'll give me stuff. Noted. Next time I see one, I'll, uh, I'll engage. Thank you for that information. I appreciate it. All right, that's a mining deposit. <laughs> the poor, poor bumbles, like, <laughs> everywhere. Ah, goggles are revered. That's revered. Look, fucking. Oh. I think each time I swing part. Oh god, it's a huge. Anyway, um, I think like I might just toss in whatever I've got when I get there each time, just to see how I'm going. But uh, yeah, this is gonna be a whole last time. <laughs> I'm paranoid about going too far through here, like, fast, because, um, there's bound to be a ton of it around here, surely. This... Netherwing. Except at least the fucking Netherwing egg sparkled. As far as I remember, I mean, I could be wrong. It has been literally decades, or decade. There's one. Wait. You can buy the honey off the auction house. I don't know if that's something you want to do. 250 per rich, 75 per thin. That's. I feel like that's going to be a lot of gold. No, I am relatively stubborn and I tend to bash my head against something until it works. So it's probably going to end up like, and I, I feel like I'll earn it if I do it myself. No judgment whatsoever for those who decide to purchase it. None at all. Like you got, you got to do you, you know, like do, do what works for you best. But, um, I am, I am a numpty. Look, I would have thought that this would help, but every time I look near the top of the screen, uh, it might just be that I'm also super hella fucking tired, so that's, um, that's certainly not helping. Right, I'm not gonna have to be back here for several weeks after this anyway. Cause um I'm not gonna have time after Um I'm not gonna get to this point after um the Heartbreaker runs. <clears throat> Need a SS, huh? I uh, heard from an event if and if the event is in one specific island in the west. It's really rare pet. Ooh, okay. Waves and mobs. You need to kill all the waves in time for the boss to enter. Okay. Pixels apparently a lot faster than getting too revered. You buy the honey off the auction house. Deposits are spread evenly around the zone. Okay, probably because you get goggles. Yep. Jewel farming is a thing, I think. So keeping up on my monk on this. I don't think Netherwing egg sparkle, didn't they? Okay, I am obviously remembering that incorrectly then. I just, I remember everyone bitching and moaning about doing the Netherwing farm and then I just banged it out and I'm like, that actually wasn't that bad. Uh, I kind of enjoyed it, but um, I am aware that I'm also weird when it comes to that kind of stuff. Like I am, I you tend to have unpopular opinions when it comes to grinds like this, so. <laughs> That's a stool, not a jelly deposit. 
Yeah, I just, I feel like I'm stopping to scan entirely too much. But then if I don't stop to scan, I'll miss stuff and it'll take longer. I don't know how I feel. <sighs> I'm sure I've probably missed about seven or eight of them already. See more deposits with the goals. Yes. Uh, only other decisions that grant details to one make it easy to see. Here's new local launcher. Ah, gotcha. Uh, I can do that. Copy. Into general. There you go. Is in general. No, sorry, that was me. I totally blanked that it was going to make that noise. I'm so sorry. It was me, not you. You haven't broken anything. It's very weird. Yes, being normal is overrated anyway. I mean, that's what I figure. We're all special in our own different ways. Like, nobody's actually normal. Jelly! Finish the last Lunar Festival stuff. Yay, when it's done at this point, when my new shoes is level 48, I'm like, eh, maybe I can get it there tomorrow. Yep. Yep. Well, keep in mind that I'm not going to start my dungeon runs until 6 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Uh, check the schedule. So click, scroll down, click Fiyama, click schedule to see what time it'll be starting in your time zone. If you want to come along to runs, your best bet is going to be to add me to your battle net friends list. You can type exclamation add me into chat to get my battle tag uh, so that you can add me from there um, because what that does is when you you have the, the quick join and so it gives you like if there's someone on your friends list who's actively queuing for something you can jump in on that. So I'm not going to sit around waiting for people to whisper me and invite. I'm not going to do it. I don't have time to do that. I've got 50 fucking characters to get through. I'm going to log on, I'm going to queue. If you want to join that group, open up your quick join, hit queue. Or you can whisper me and get an invite, but I'm not going to wait for people to do that. Um, so the fastest way in is going to be through that quick join. Um, <clears throat> so I do, I, I'm going to do a clean out of my friends, like people who have been offline for months and stuff like that. I'm gonna get rid of those off to make some room for new people who wanna join in for those runs. Um, but yeah, that's that's gonna be your best bet, is, um, is add me to your friends list so that you can take advantage of quick join. Uh, otherwise, you're gonna need to know all my characters' names. You can get them from the 5050 spreadsheet. That's exclamation 5050s, F-I-F-T-Y 50S. I'm gonna be working through 10 Horde, 10 Alliance, 20 Horde, 20 Alliance, 30 Horde. So I'm going to be going through them in order. They're in that spreadsheet in the order that they are in game. So you'll know who I'm going on to next. So you can prepare your Whisper, like get in there quick. Uh, obviously we're gonna need a tank, a healer in each group, or at least someone who can queue as a tank and a healer for each queue, um, if we have full groups. So just bear that in mind. If you're a Druid or a Paladin or a Monk or etc. etc., you may have to tick the box, even if you're not actually gonna fill that role. Um, but yeah, so it's, uh, I, I'm gonna have, I need to get through those tunes. It's gonna be a shit fight. Um, so just like be prepared. If you have six tunes, I'm happy to take all six of your tunes. You've just got to do it that way. That's all. Uh, yeah. It's 
gonna be so much fun. Like, it's it's gonna be, it's gonna, like, suck in some ways, absolutely. But I'm also, like, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I feel like it's just gonna be kind of silly. By the end of it all, we're gonna be delirious and it'll be great. <laughs> we won't even know what we're doing anymore. Ah, uh, dear. Ah, uh, yep, Queensland 6pm, correct. Oh, all the ad -mes. I love it. Ah, uh, whenever I get a heartbreaker toy from the box, I get a mini heart attack. Oh, no, it's the same name, isn't it? Shit, I totally forgot about that. No, but, like, if you've got Rarity or whatever installed, or, like, ATT won't, bl won't jingle until you, until you actually learn it, but Rarity will go nuts. Rarity will go fucking nuts when it drops, so don't, don't stress. And knocking futz. Anyway, uh, um, uh, Hydrax continuing the gift sub. Thank you so much. Much appreciate the generosity and the support. So awesome. Ah, oh, dear. Cross faction, not yet though, not yet. It is horde only, unfortunately, at this stage. But soon, TM. At least if it doesn't drop this year, then we can do it cross faction next year. But I do, yeah, I do have some alliance tunes as well. So yeah, just kind of keep an eye out for those as well. 10 Horde, 10 Alliance, 20 Horde, 20 Alliance, 30 Horde. Log the fuck off for the day. At least that's on the bonus stream days. There are also, of course, the regular stream days where we'll do the 50 runs and then do regular stream stuff. Um, but yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be... <sighs> I am both looking forward to and dreading it. You know, it's one of those, it's one of those deals. Ah, uh, some VTech request. Fantastic. Uh, starting up my main server now for Rocket Attempts. Good luck, Genie. Good luck. All of the well wishes. I want to see like a whole handful of rockets drop for the community. I would love that. God, it'd be super awesome. Like, oh, fuck yes. Obviously one of them has to be me as well, but still. <laughs> It'd be really great to see a whole bunch of people getting them. Especially, like, th there's a group of us who have put in so much leveling effort over the last however many months. Oh. How good would it be to have that pay off? That'd just be amazing. Soon, yep. Uh, I already don't know what I'm doing. So I'm ahead already. Brilliant, good, wonderful. You queue, you kill shit, you open the box. <sighs> I'm starting to get nervous now. Like, I'm starting to feel the butterflies. Um, so I just realized I'm kind of mad, but the permanent crown transmog is per tune, not account. No. Each, each tune can do it, but it's still... Well, I don't know why each tune would be able to do it, but um, if I go into appearances and I go, yeah, look, crown of boundless courage, crown of infinite prosperity, crown of eternal memorial, and crown of everlasting fortune, um, those are like those are the the forever ones, and they I did them on my rogue on horde side, definitely not my demon hunter on alliance side. So yeah, they are account wide. It's fine. Uh, I imagine you can just do the quests on each character if you really wanted to. Don't know why you would, but, you know, people are confusing at the best of times. Uh, hello, Daz. I still wonder if Liz has a cap on how many they hand out. I doubt it. It's just too much effort to fucking code. Well, like, I, I doubt it. They just, they code in the, the ridiculous drop rate and then let it do its thing. Uh, isn't it great when only three devices in her main so you don't know why? Yeah, it is. It's wonderful and, and awesome. Everywhere chat I hear what are your fave expansions? My question are what were your worst expansions? 
Honestly, I don't actually have one. Um, if I had to say something, I'd probably say vanilla because I didn't play in vanilla. I started playing right after Burning Crusades launch. Every other expansion I have enjoyed for different reasons. Like they're all very different and I, I like them all for very different reasons, but I do still like all of them. Um, I, I don't have any negative association with any of them, honestly, which is probably why I'm still playing after 15 years. Uh, I just, yeah, I like if I'm not enjoying a particular part of the game, then I do something else because the game is enormous and there's so many different parts of it that I do enjoy. Um, so I can always find something to do. I know not everyone's like that and that's totally okay if you are someone who only likes raiding and once you're done with raiding, you stop playing until the next raid comes out. That is valid. 100% valid. But that's not how I play. Um, so, yeah, I, I genuinely don't think that I've not liked any of them. Any any negative association that I have with any particular expansion has been because of the people I've played with. It's been like shit fucking guildies or, or guilds imploding or uh, guild drama or what, do you know what I mean? Like it's, it's always been about that kind of shit. And that's why I don't have a reading guild anymore. Because <laughs> I'm too old for that shit. Uh, and I prefer having the flexibility of reading when I want to raid rather than having to be on at a set time for four hours every single etc. Um, but yeah, uh, so I think I've on I can honestly say that I've enjoyed every expansion that I have played. But I haven't played vanilla, so that's probably my worst expansion. How about you, Got? How about you? What are your feelings around your worst expansion? Uh, I want to reboot the router, that, but then mine could drop out. It could. It could. Does your phone have access? Jump in the Twitch out while you were, well, and jump on uh, uh, 4G while you uh, reboot the, the router. Not gonna lie, I've done that during stream a few times when shit has dropped out. I'm getting better at spotting these, you guys. I'm getting better at spotting them. I'm still not good, but I'm getting better. I'm, sh I'm sure I've still missed hundreds. Um, I was just super confused why can all my tunes do that payment quest, but it's still available. I panic. Oh, of course. Absolutely. Well, I'm glad I could at least actually verify rather than just saying, no, 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 it's fine. I can actually verify because this is not the tune that I did them on. Uh, so that's nice. There's one. Uh, I started in Shadowlands. Yeah, one year for you. Oh, there you go, you. There you go. I hope you're enjoying your journey so far. And maybe there'll be many more years to come. Maybe. Depends on how you feel. And that's valid too. Oh, no, we're going this way now. Okay. Uh, nobody got time for that. Yeah, I know. Uh, exactly the right answer I was looking for. Like you 15 years into WoW. Look, th I don't think there is a right answer to that though. Like people, there are absolutely expansions that people didn't feel as connected with or the storyline just didn't gel with them properly or, you know, I, I and I, to that's totally valid. That's 100% okay. Um, there is nothing wrong with having those feelings. They are valid. Um, as long as people are reasonable about it, you know? If you read a series of books, there's going to be one of them that doesn't, that isn't quite as good as the rest of them. If you watch a series of movies, even if you watch an entire one singular movie, there's going to be a scene that just didn't quite stick with you as much as the others did. Do you know what I mean? And that's, that is okay. It's totally fine. Uh, but it is also okay to not be able to come up with which one you don't like. <laughs> uh, the hunter in my group was named Dora and had a pet monkey named Boots. Love that. That's awesome. That's so good. Made me laugh a bit too much. Never. No such thing. That's a lie. You can laugh so much you can't breathe and then, well, that's not good. Uh, 
It's messing over today. Favorite Wrath or Legion mists. Uh, worst mist, but what was very close. There you go. Interesting that you found Mists of Pandaria. Your worst. That's so interesting. So I uh, I loved mists. However, that being said, um, I do have a bit of extra context for that particular expansion. Um, at the time, I was uh, dating a guy who was half Chinese. And he had spent a lot of his younger years, because he was uh, his, his family were expats, um, he'd spent a lot of his younger years trying to deny his Chinese heritage and just like shedding it and, and trying to behave as white as he could um, because that was all of his friends at school and stuff. They were all white and he wanted to fit in better with them rather than being the Asian kid. Understandable, you know, totally understandable. But then while we were dating and around the time that Mr. Pandaria came out, was was released, he had started wanting to explore and embrace his, his Chinese side. And I kind of like, I don't want to say I helped him with that because that's not my place, but I absolutely encouraged him. And, you know, if he said, oh, you know, I've, I've read about this, uh, this like thingamajig, like, it, you know, we celebrated Lunar New Year, like in a big way. We invited everyone around. We hung fucking red lanterns from the ceiling. Um, he, he spoke to his mum and got a whole lot of recipes that we tried to re recreate and it was really bad. I'm pretty sure we ended up getting Chinese takeout, but we went down into like Chinatown and bought a bunch of like all the, the foods that he remembered from childhood and a bunch of like uh, pineapple cakes and all this, like a ton of all that kind of stuff. And that was all around that same time. So he would be watching me play and hearing like the stories and stuff that Law Walker Cho was talking about. And he'd be like, oh, I remember that story. Like that, that's really, really similar to a story that my mum used to tell me. And so the fact that they got it, like the fact that they did the cultural research to get it that kind of, it's like to trigger those kind of memories in someone like that, I had a really close bond with that expansion. Like it just, it had that whole extra personal sort of attachment to it. Uh, so it's it's been one of my favorite expansions because of that. Um, so, I mean, I'm no longer with him. That was many, many moons ago and that's okay. Uh, but yeah, it was, uh, it was a whole thing. Um, but yeah, there you go. Story time with fear. <laughs> that, of course, none of that means that you're not allowed to have it as your, your least favorite. Of course you are. Like I said before, totally valid. I just thought I'd share my experience as well. Cause it's very different. <laughs> very different. Ah, uh, friend does it, but Mrs. Healy's service doesn't. Oh dear. She even yelled, Vaminous, let's go. <laughs> Enjoying your journey. Oh, awesome, Yale. And you're so welcome. You're so welcome. Of course I'm going to ask. Well, hope, rather. Um, any three ads? Let me switch my comment. Uh, yeah, we have the uh, the ad manager on here. And it's so... Oh, right. Ad in progress. I'm just not going to... I'm not going to say anything for a second. Oh, look, I'm back at the start. Okay, good. So... Not from reindeer, are you? So, I don't want that. There's the goggles and they are revered. And a butterfly net. Interesting. So yeah, the, the goggles is what I want. And it's going to take 20 rich jelly. Um, what do I do with this? Talk to the- oh no. Ah, uh, what? Rides reputation. How though? Ah, like this. Okay. Oh, really? Okay, ad is finished. Yes, um, got, we have, we have the ad manager here. Um, we run 90 seconds of ads every half hour. Uh, and it's because there is solid data from Twitch that says that uh, you've pretty much, it's it's roughly like a 50-50 chance if someone comes in and they get a pre-roll, that they'll leave. Whereas if someone is here having a conversation and they're engaged and then they get a mid-roll, they're far less likely to leave. Uh, so it helps with retention and helps like grow viewership. So that's why I run them. Uh, and I run them 90 seconds per half hour, specifically because that is the amount that turns off pre-rolls entirely. Um, Usually I, I catch when there's an ad going and if someone doesn't have a sub badge, I wait until the ad is finished to answer their question, but I obviously missed that one for you. Uh, so my sincere apologies. Um, 
that's yeah, I'm usually okay at that, but um sometimes I screw up. Uh two years ago two stop midway through Kata. Uh can't explain why, but I just could not enjoy Miss Dungeons other than the brew the brewery is fantastic. <laughs> Peppers! Yep. Uh, <laughs> and that's, that's, yeah, totally understandable. Um, some of the dungeons were a little bit interesting. Uh, yeah. So I'm BFA, like BFA and Shadowlands more because I experienced them when they were current. Yep. I dislike Wrath. Yeah, but that's what you get when you try to level through it at this day, at this time. They need the Explorer title. I hope that they have it. Yeah, absolutely. Smendari was the worst, made me quit. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that first. So sorry to hear that. 11 years in game, that was just the tipping point. That's fair enough. Look, if you don't enjoy it, you don't enjoy it. Hey, there's nothing you can do to change that. Uh, but that's a real pity. I hope you enjoyed the game up until that point, though. I really hope you did. Uh, and welcome on in. Um, this time watching a stream, just tuned in. Switch your bio up to see playing on US servers. Hey, Jam. Back into playing the game again. Oh, fantastic. I hope you're enjoying yourself. That's brilliant news. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. We should play during mop start at the end of Ward. Ah, interesting. Okay. Yeah, mists was like, honestly, what made mists for me was the, was the, like the leveling story and stuff like that. Some of the, some of the raids were a bit interesting. Um, the, <laughs> let, let's not talk about the world bosses and their drop chances on mounts. It's fine. I'm not angry at all. Nope. Mm -mm. Uh, <laughs> but it, it really was the storyline over everything else. It was the story that got me for that, uh, for Mists. Try the closed captions. I'm not saying it's you or them. My brain definitely doesn't cope with them. Much better to hear you rather than read you. Totally fine. Look, everyone's brains work differently and some people, like, they can't listen and read at the same time. It just kind of trips their brain out. Uh, and I know that the closed captions are not 100% accurate. I talk very quickly and I also don't speak with an American accent, so it can get a little confused as to what I'm actually saying. Uh, but for some people, they're unable to listen uh, for whatever reason. Potentially, they're physically unable to. Uh, potentially, they're in a, an environment where they can't have it, like, loud. Uh, sometimes, you know, there might be some humans around that are a bit smaller and they can't put headphones on because they need to hear what's going on. Uh, but they also don't want me through the speakers because of fucking swear. Uh, so, so the captions are there for those who need them for whatever reason, but you are under no obligation to use them if it doesn't work for you. Totally fine. Um, wonder if DMF buff increases that rep gain. Think it did potentially, but it would take me like the rest of stream to get out there and get it and then get back. So <laughs> maybe another time. Maybe another time. Uh, ooh. all right. We're gonna give this one more try. We might need to start it early though. So just make sure you place those units. Because it is a skin chest, it is a little more difficult since, than some of the battles we've been doing. And fingers crossed, we can knock it over and get people some skins. Maybe, but we'll see. We'll see. <clears throat> I had the bee inside the cave, turn the honey and you have it into higher honey. Ah, okay, interesting. But yeah, it was like eight green honey into into one blue honey. And it, it's, you better, I like... Looking at how much rep I, because I just turned everything in for rep, uh, and it looks like I'm far better off turning it in at the lower levels. Um, but yeah, converting it to higher to make the purchase would definitely be useful. Uh, so I finished Lawmaster. Oh no, Yuri. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, uh, serious question. What are legendaries like these days? Um, I'm probably not the best person to ask about legendary is just because I kind of got the one that I was supposed to get and then just kind of stuck with it. Um, and I know it's changed a couple times for mages and I haven't really paid too much attention to it because I don't play a whole lot of like meta gaming. I don't do raids. I don't do super high mythic plus. I don't really do uh, content that requires me to have like top shit stuff. 
Uh, but there are definitely some people in the community who are very much into that side of the game, uh, and they might be able to answer the question. If not in chat, like they might not be here currently, they might be, you know, sleeping or doing other shit or whatever. Um, you can definitely ask, there's a Warcraft channel in the Discord, and I am certain that people will pick up on the question there and, and be able to give you their thoughts. Sorry that I couldn't answer it, but uh, I don't want to give you uh, bullshit information <laughs> that is completely untrue. Uh, because I just don't know what I'm fucking talking about. <laughs> Misinformation is a problem, so... Yeah, but I mean, I like the one I've got, it seems to work okay. Ah, uh, where are we going down? Oh yeah, that was a, that was a mess. That was a mess, but that's alright, it happens. It happens. Excuse me, very rude. Um... I miss a streamer on the Battle Net Launcher. Hello, Knuckle. How are you going today? I hope you're having a lovely day. I'm a little bit behind on chat, but I'm only like four minutes behind, which for me is pretty fucking good. So, just saying. I have been known to be up to like 20 minutes behind on chat just because I respond to everybody. Ah, uh, is my Shadow Priest up to 196? Ah, after a real fresh, fresh start. It's been great to be back again. I'm really glad to hear that you're enjoying it. Super glad to hear. And don't be afraid to, like, try parts of the game that you weren't interested in before, because depending on how long you've been out of the game, shit's changed, yo. Shit's changed. Uh, we're very much, uh, completionist, collector's kinda deal here. Very chill, though. Like, you know, just, just chill, just enjoy the game the way you want to enjoy it. Only wrong way to play is by shitting on other people's experiences. Um... So, Hi, yeah. Samuel. Ah! Amazing, Tommy, thank you so much for your Prime sub. Thank you for your support, I appreciate that. Thank you so much, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, Void Talon, oh, well done, Mikey, congratulations. Uh, they could be working from home. Uh, I'm gonna miss all the shit we're doing. And the festival is 100% in ATT. Well done, Yuri. Good job. Congratulations. Uh, all right, so I'm actually going to talk to this one this time. After you guys told me it's the ah right, cool. So there's there's a glyph and there's two pets that this one could could do. Am I supposed to chase it or oh no, it's just gone. Okay. Can't chase it, it's in the air. Bum, bum, bum. I do love some of the Terror God sound music. Like, it's just, ah, oh, so good. Uh, there we go. Ah, uh, do my buff gas rep bonus too? Yes. Uh, but I don't think it affects every single rep in the game. That's the thing. There are a couple that aren't affected, I think, maybe. I don't know. Shh, don't tell work. Absolutely. Just live in the USA. Every state has their own language. Yup. Yup. There's no rep gains. Converting just makes turning jelly in faster. Oh, okay. Really? Because I was getting 20 per green one, and then 80 for a blue one. But it said I had to turn in 8 green ones. Oh, maybe it was 8 green ones for a purple one then. Maybe I misread the thingy. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? Legendary grind is basically not a grind. And they're very worth it. There you go. Ideas on legendary is cool too. And finally unlocked. Congrats, Kay. Well done. Good job. Oh, I think I lost. Oh no. Because the, the patch of flowers went away, I thought I'd lost. But it was still spawning, so... Maybe not. Ah, uh, 150 peeps in here chatting with you, going well. Aw, thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Look, I mean... 
entirely too much effort to pay attention to the numbers during stream. I just try to keep up with chat and hope that I'm going okay. Uh, raid dungeon tuning assumes you have a legendary, so getting at least the minimum of a sort of relevant legendary is mandatory for high level content. Uh, but you can do introductory stuff without as long as no one notices. Yeah, fair. Fair. But yeah, it's definitely, it is definitely tuned to having a legendary. Um, some of them drastically change the, like, the gameplay, like the, you know, your rotation and stuff. Others have no effect at all, and then there's everything in between, of course. So, um, there are a bunch of, like, wowhead guides on what your best legendaries are for your spec and stuff like that, and they are updated fairly regularly, uh, but you don't have to go with what is absolutely meta. You can kind of play around with whatever you kind of desire. Um, yeah. You ain't getting shit that's changed probably was like, what the fuck is all this? <laughs> yeah! It, yeah, uh huh, uh-huh. But yeah, so because it's changed, like, don't, don't be afraid to give something a try, even if you didn't take, like, didn't enjoy it so much last time you played. I mean, obviously, if you try it again and it's still shit, then don't do it. Like, <laughs> you play for fun. It's a fucking video game. Like, enjoy yourself. It is your leisure time. Uh, but it's worth giving it a try. Uh, she just changed PvP without gear. We'll still kill your soul vote. Yeah, correct. That is probably the only thing that hasn't changed. Ah, uh, but where's the enemies? There are. The pet is very rare. Well, there are two pets, though. I'll be fine. If it drops, it drops. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I won't be too disappointed. Judging by how much rep I got from that one lap, I'm going to be doing a shitload of this. I have plenty of chances. Uh, honey jelly thing at the end. Okay, noted. Honey jelly thing. Gotcha. Uh, I used to be collector of mounts, became mythic raider, got to world top 100, recently burned out. Because uh, there's like zero content to do. Killed Savannah's mythic in September. There's no 9-2 release date yet. Wish there was as much stuff to do like in Legion. Look, there is, there is a shitload of stuff to do. However, you may not enjoy that kind of stuff. And that's okay. That is okay. There is endless content in World of Warcraft. There's 17 years worth of stuff to do. But if you don't like transmog, then that cuts all of that out. And if you don't like pets, then that cuts all... Do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I, I think it's totally reasonable for people to be done with what they've finished. Like, you know, this is what I enjoy doing. I have done that. I'm going to go and do something else while I wait for the next thing to drop. Or I'm going to leave and play something else and not come back. And that's also okay. Uh, nothing wrong with any of that. You've got to... Oh, there we go. I don't think I got there in time. Oh, I am dead. What the fuck was that? Burning venom. Oh, okay. Noted. <laughs> Noted. Uh, yeah, I did not kill them all in time, but that's okay. Uh, I didn't believe my friend, but they made Robin Williams Island in WoW. Only found it tonight. It's pretty cool. Oh, awesome. There you go. Uh, not island, but NPC on an island. There's two puppies. A very rare one. That yeah. There, it said that when I hovered over it, there were two in the tooltip. There was puppy and uh, something starting with S, but I could be wrong. My memory, my brain is a colander. If my brain doesn't think it needs to retain something, it doesn't. It just tosses it out the fucking window. Um. And unfortunately, the headset doesn't seem to keep things inside my ears, so that's, um, yes. Um, how come you're doing the bee on your demon hunter and not your mage? Because my mage is Horde. Because my mage is Horde. I do have a couple of alliance mages, but, um, my demon hunter is my highest level tune, my, my best geared tune on alliance side. Uh, so I tend to do all the end game kind of shit that has to be done on Alliance side, I do it on my Demon Hunter. <laughs> so, hands up if you'd love to see a six hour stream of farming for honey. I came late. How much rip did you get per lap? And about how long did that take? Um, not sure. 
I honestly was not paying any sort of attention. I know I had 30 something like in the low 30s of the green ones and one blue one that I turned in by the time I got to the end. Uh, I don't know how long it took me and uh, I think it was like 31, 32 and I got 20 per green turn in and 80 for the for the blue. Uh, but I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure how long it took me, sorry. I know that's really useless information. However, there is a VOD. I know, I know that's like a, it could be a total pain in the ass to like find the start of the run. Um, but it's, it's an option. Uh, if you're, if you're trying to, if you're wanting to do some calculations. Put your backs um, into it, you lazy but welcome on in, Goose. I hope you're having a lovely day. And I'm so sorry that I couldn't provide you with more accurate data. Uh, be as alliance only to get. Yes. That is from a specific location, though. If the event is at west on an island, you can get it. Cool. Cool. Well, given how many laps I'm probably going to end up having to fucking do, uh, it's probably... Probably going to have at least a good chance of getting it to drop. So do we know what the cooldown is on the on the bee respawning? So like if I defeated it over there, I'm guessing it has a set number of spawn points it can show up at, and then after a certain amount of time it'll pop up at one of them randomly, or is that not does it pop up immediately? Uh like how does it work? If we don't know, that is also a valid answer. Um Oh, I'm glad to see the blizzard is still making you grind ridiculously long for things like 25% drop rate item to summon a particular frogman in Arden World that wasted an hour trying to do no avail. We'll be back to that annoying grind later today. What I would recommend with the frog is to honestly just do stuff in Arden World that needs doing anyway. And like do whatever, like go and clear the world map of, uh, like go and clear, go and clear the, the map of world quests each day. Uh, until, like, and then you'll just, you'll randomly get it to drop, and then you'll go get them out. Like, it's honestly one of those ones where farming it is fucking exhausting. Uh, and then it's going to randomly drop for you one day when you're doing something entirely unrelated, and you'll just get shitty with it. Um, <laughs> that's how I ended up doing it, and I think it dropped in, like, like week two. I was, I was going in and doing all the, every world quest, every day, because it was the start of the expansion, and I was grinding up rep. Uh, and it, yeah, it dropped in, like, week two. I know there's the impatience, trust me. Trust me, I get it. I understand. Uh, but it's, um, yeah. Uh, I guess I mean progression content. All I'd be able to do is gear alts. Look, if that's all you enjoy, then that's totally fine. Uh, you are more than able to step away and come back next patch or not or whatever. Excuse me. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, that's why I consider myself pretty lucky that I enjoy so many aspects of WoW. Like, even if I was, like, a hardcore raider, once raiding was wrapped up and the guild was on break till next patch, I'd go back to mount farming. Like, do you know what I mean? I, I like so many aspects of the game that I'm never going to run out of stuff to do, and not everyone's like that. Uh, yourself included, clearly. And that is okay. I just like that I don't have to spend shitloads of money on a bunch of different games all the time. Because I like this one, and it has a set price per month. And I'm golden. I feel like Legion had a lot less optional content, a lot more mandatory content. Yeah, I would I would agree with that. Personally, I would, uh, I would agree with that assessment. I still didn't do most of it, but that's fine. Uh, good night, no worries, you We'll see you next time. Hope you have a wonderful rest. Um, uh, Death versus Faults as a whole, I enjoyed it a lot. I, yeah, I, Legion was definitely one of my, the, the flow of leveling through the Legion zones was just beautiful. Uh, and the introduction of world quests, like, it was the first expansion we had world quests for, and they worked really well. Well, at least I thought they did. I know, I know a lot of people don't like them, and that's, again, totally valid. But, um, I like them. I like them. Silly me. Legion 7.0 was by far the worst grind in the game. Oh, for artifact power. Yeah, look. 
That was a that was a whole thing. That was a whole thing. Hello, Ark. Am I Italian? No. I know that my name is Italian. Uh, Fiamma is Italian for flame. Uh, I play a fire mage. But I am not Italian, no. I am Australian. Oh. <laughs> ah, shit. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm like, what is this? Is this a toy? Nope, don't care. <clears throat> oh, I also still haven't found... Stanley and Stormwind. I'm guessing looking them up on, on Wowhead and finding them that way would be cheating. Ah, uh, time shot servers again. Cause limits still no mount by the way. Oh, you'll be okay, Sam. It'll it'll happen. It'll happen. Just gotta keep at it. Just gotta keep at it. Don't worry, you're gonna be saying the same thing to me tomorrow. Be saying the same damn thing to me tomorrow. Imagine the stream idea, honey farm. Yeah, I can check the vod. Oh, okay, awesome. I'm I'm glad that's not a a ridiculous ask for you. That's really good. But yeah, that's um. Keep in mind, I do keep stopping to read chat because if I continue flying while I'm reading chat, then I'll miss shit. Um, so if you're gonna do the run, you will likely be far more efficient than I am. But that goes for pretty much everything I do on stream. So. <laughs> So there's, there's that. At least I know, right? At least I'm aware. Uh, Router reboot worked. Fantastic dupe. Good thanks. Farming lots of herbs for inscription. Oh, brilliant. Well, best of luck. Uh, I know you don't have much golden alliance. Uh, the jelly can be bought in the auction house. Yeah, I was told earlier. Um, I am weird in that I like to farm shit up myself. Um, I do. I've got almost a million on alliance side now, which is not bad. Uh, it's going slowly but surely. I may get to the point where I just buy it, but um, for now, I'm I'm enjoying the chill laps around the zone. Ah, uh, you kill them every hour, get loot once per hour. Okay, noted. Once per hour. Gotcha. So I probably should have taken note of when I killed that one. Hey, so I don't kill the next one I find too soon. Cause that would be awkward and bad and silly. I'm probably definitely missing the ones that are like up against stuff, but I'm absolutely grabbing the ones that are like out in the open. <laughs> um, the mushroom, if you're on EU, I can spawn it. Ah, there you go. Oh, I need the mushroom. I'm NA on thrall. Bugger. Uh, stuck doing the grind. I'll take Fia's advice. Makes the most sense for the game's climate. Yeah, look, I, I definitely go with that and then spend that time that you're grinding it out farming something different, farming something that has like an end point. Uh, rather than, you know what I mean? It, it, yeah, at least for me. I'm all about trying to make my farms more efficient. Get more work done in the same amount of time. But I know that everyone operates differently. Some people want this and they want it now and they don't care if it's inefficient, they just want this thing. And that's totally okay. I'm like that sometimes too. Ah, uh, I think about a six hour honey farm stream would be okay as long as you pick today of the week. I could listen in. Yeah, fear talks. Absolutely. Uh, do you have a hunter character? Yes, I have four. Uh, do you tame exotic pets? No. Uh, if so, what's the coolest pet you tamed? Uh, the one that I got given at the start because that's all I have. I think I might have tamed one pet once. Mounts, pets, toys, transmog, etc. Like, even transmog I can use across most classes and stuff. Um, uh, hunter pets I can only use for hunters. And I kind of like that my mechanome has a mechanic pet, etc. You know, mechanical pet, etc. Um, I'm. It's not something that I've even started to look at. Um, I have enough other shit to farm, basically. <laughs> But I do think it's cool that hunters have that option available to them to go and tame, you know, funky shit. I just keep going, Fear. You'll get it eventually. Exactly, exactly. Is Fear weird? Always. Uh, did I miss the Nobby Strip? No, you didn't. Shit, I haven't done that. Fuck. 
I knew I was missing something. Um, okay. In before. What's wrong with your microphone? Can you tell that happens a lot? Ooh, is that a, it is. I'm getting better at spotting them. Especially in the nighttime zone, like god, everything looks so similar. Uh, okay, is this... Where are we? Bam! Timer is on. Do not adjust your headsets. It is intentional. Uh, I have a World of Warcraft edition Yeti X microphone from Blue Microphones. Because they were, uh, I don't know, someone hit their head and decided to send it to me. Um, <laughs> I am endlessly appreciative because it is a beautiful, fantastic, like the actual microphone is a work of art. Aside from what's in it, the outside of it is just gorgeous. But I have the ability to do this. They have a bunch of voice modulators, like voice effects. The basic Yeti X comes with a ton of them, uh, but the Yeti X World of Warcraft edition has a few more that are modelled after uh, races or creatures or characters in the Warcraft universe. And this one is called Gnome Extreme. Uh, yes. And from what I have been told, it is extremely uh, entertaining. Others find it extremely annoying, but it's only for two minutes. Uh, the timer is on and half of the time has passed, so uh, you're good. I will turn it off once the two minutes are up, I promise. <laughs> What's wrong with your microphone? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, smack you, Jess. Like, just gently on the arm, but still, like, smack you. Uh, <laughs> hey, it does. Uh, there's back and forth between that and then I like the out. Yeah, I feel like this is gonna go great with my Shadow Breeze Transform. Oh, absolutely. Pink Alex for the win. Interesting that you farm rare mounts and not tame exotic pets. Again, yeah, it just, like, I can't use them on all my characters. I can use my mounts on pretty much all 50 of my tunes. Hunter pets, I can use on four. And they don't always suit the the character anyway, so like, eh. Eh. Doesn't bother me too much. Yeah, I, I, I've never cared about, I mean, granted I also never cared about transmog. Um, and now I'm farming that, so you know, never say never, but I, I have never in the past given a shit about Hunter Pets. Uh, the only direct experience I've had with Hunter Pets has been people taming and dust it when we're trying to kill it for the mount drop. Uh, and that's not a pleasant experience, so... Yeah, don't really care. Uh, okay, how are you? Yep, tired, but, you know, alive. Uh, boop. There we go. Back to normal. Oh, fear doing everything to negate our trolling attempts. Go through them all? No. <laughs> no. Uh... There's, there is a list of them there, um, and... Uh, you, I think it'll probably be on cooldown for now, but next stream you're more than welcome to redeem ones that you're curious about, but I'm not going to go through all of them. Uh, it takes a while. <laughs> uh, uh, trolling in this economy? Ha <laughs> I see what you did there. I see what you did there. So what do you like playing more, Horde or Alliance? Um... Or the Alliance? <laughs> no. I don't think I really have a preference. Um, I play, I've got 30 Horde tunes and 20 Alliance tunes, but it's because my main is Horde. And I didn't want to split it 25 and 25 because of the 10 instance per, uh, the 10 instances lockout. It's per server. It's server based, not account based. So you can go 10 Horde, 10 Alliance, 10 Horde, 10 Alliance, 10 Horde. Uh, so that's why I've got it split that way. Um, but, like, I, I play mostly on Horde, but, but that's because it's where my friends are. Like, that's where I play with people I know, like, personally, IRL, not just, you know, on stream, but people who I actually personally know IRL, I, they all play Horde side. Um, so I play with them. Uh, but I have the Alliance tunes as well, just so I can do shit like this and, and unlock the allied races and get those achievements and, and all those little bits and pieces, just completionist reasons, you know? Uh, but yeah, I, I do I do play more Horde, uh, and I probably prefer playing Horde, but it's just because that's where my friends are. It's got nothing to do with the actual like races or the the faction divide or anything like that. It's it's just because that's where my friends are. 
Um, no, 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 don't, don't be silly, Jam. Look, I, I'm about to hit six years of streaming, right? My sixth anniversary. Very rarely do we come across a question that hasn't been asked before. Um, and that's totally okay. Uh, as a streamer, you get hella used to repeating yourself. Uh, especially when something big happens in the game that you're playing. Uh, you know, like, uh, there'll be there'll be a six-hour stream, and in that six-hour stream, I'll have 18 different people come in and say, like, what do you think about cross-faction gameplay coming in? It's like, yes. <laughs> and every single time, I have to remember, they weren't here beforehand. They may not be following me on Twitter or Instagram or wherever else I've posted my thoughts. Uh, I'm offended, by the way, if you're not following me on social media, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. But um, yeah, so I have to I have to keep in mind that the, these people might not be in the Discord. They may not be following me on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook, on TikTok. Um, what, am I stuck in a loop? So I and and they weren't here five minutes ago when I answered that same exact question. So you get very used to answering the same questions repeatedly. Um, and if you don't like, if that frustrates the shit out of you, do not stream because you you have to like. They weren't here five minutes ago. You need to answer that question again. And you need to do it with a fucking smile on your face because they care about your opinion, otherwise they wouldn't have asked you. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's it's a thing. So do not, do not worry. Do not stress. What does piss me off is when someone comes in, asks me a question, and then five minutes later asks me the exact same question. It's like, dude, I just answered that question for you. Um, but, you know, when I'm 20 minutes behind on chat, I have to excuse that as well. Because <laughs> that's on me. <clears throat> uh, uh, friends in this economy. I know. So what you're saying is cooler people are hoard. Yes, correct. It's exactly what I'm saying. Word for word. Direct translation. Eight more attempts left for today. I mean, this is up for another 20 minutes. Ooh, Genie. Yeah, that's... Mm -mm. Yeah, this is why I'm I'm so looking forward to being able to just bounce between the two factions and just get it done. One after the other. I I was very, very particular when I, when I set up my shit. I'm like, this is how I'm going to run this and this is how it's going to work. I have a feeling I'm still going to end up getting locked out. Uh, but it's going to be like two or three minutes waiting for it to unlock while I'm sitting there on my horn tune, rather than like 30, you know? I still remember the first few runs when I only had horn tunes. And I hit instance lock and then I have to set myself an alarm for however long later so that I could go do other shit. Oof. Alright, so I have 30. I have 30 green. No blue. Let me check this conversion thing. Yeah, okay, so it's eight goes into purple. Gotcha. Is it four green? So it doesn't, but it doesn't go the other way. Like you can't condense, like you can only condense the thin jelly into. Oh, so the idea is that you convert all the blues to greens and then you convert the greens to purples. That's odd. What is that? Why have I got one of one? That's super confusing. Oh, to return you to the hive. Why wouldn't you just do a loop? I don't get it. Anyway, that's right. To each their own. We're going to do the battle after this. This is perfect though. I just got back and I'm, yep. So there you go. Two laps. Two, three. Two laps. And I'm at 352 out of three. So it was like, that's 10%. So it was like 5% per lap. For the first level. I don't know about the second two levels. Uh, okay. Battle time. Uh, I mean, yeah, screaming for the horde just sounds so much, but yes, right? A lot of people are on the alliance. Guys on six years. Thank you. We're having a marathon stream at the end of the month because my anniversary is the 24th of February, um, but that's a weekday. <laughs> so on the 26th, which is a Saturday, we're doing a 12 hour stream with a shitload of giveaways and stuff like that. Um, and it's also my birthday on Friday, so it's going to be like a combined celebration at the end because I'm doing uh, Love is in the Air. I'm streaming every day. 
We're on day two of 18 consecutive days. This is not normally what I do, but we're doing it for Lovers in the Air because I want me a rocket. Uh, so we're doing uh, yesterday and then today and then 16 more days and then I have a day off and then four days in a row with the marathon in the middle. I'm going to be dead and it'll be great. <laughs> so much for the congrats. She was in fact not kidding. Um, uh, look, if you're not following Fear on every social media platform, what are you even doing with your lives? Look, ah, uh, yeah, sure. Anyway, let's let's go with that. Um, honestly though, on that topic, if you are enjoying yourself, we are we are gonna look at wrapping up shortly because I'm already over time. That's fine. But if you have enjoyed yourself today, um, drop a follow. It's free. Uh, you can check the schedule if you click Fiamma and then check a quick schedule. It'll have all of my streams for the next, however, for, for the rest of February. Uh, I upload my schedule like one month at a time. So the rest of February is in there. It'll convert it to your time zone, which is super handy. Um, there are a lot of streams this month. And then um, uh, the socials. Instagram is the really big one. Uh, I made partner uh, in June last year. June was when I when it was when I hit partner, which was fucking awesome. Uh, I also love that I've got like February as the anniversary and then June as the partner anniversary. It's spaced enough apart to justify like massive celebrations for both. Anyway, um, but my next big fucking goal, like partner, was a big fucking goal. We got there. Next big fucking goal is part is is full time. Uh, I would love to full time content create. In order to do that, I need money. I need to be able to pay my bills just like everyone else. <laughs> uh, and in order to do that, I need to grow my social following. It's not about Twitch anymore. It's about my social media. 80% uh, of brand deals are on Insta, not on Twitch, especially in Australia. So many Australian companies don't even know what Twitch is, let alone value it as a potential like investment to grow their brand. Um, so yeah, Instagram is where it is fucking at. So if you have an Instagram account, I would love a pity follow. <laughs> I would love for you to hit that follow button. Um, if you're feeling exorbitantly generous, uh, you could also like and share and comment and all that kind of shit. Engagement is great, um, but the follow, follow is the big one as well. Uh, I also have a Twitter account. I have a Facebook account. I have a TikTok account. Like I have all the shit. Uh, if you type exclamation socials, you get a link to everything plus a bunch of like affiliate links and stuff. If you're, if you're looking at, you know, getting some shit for some people. And, and you want some suggestions, there's there's that. Um, but yeah, like the free stuff, like the free ways to support, follow, follow everywhere. Uh, you can join the Discord as well. The Discord's pretty fun. I like the Discord. I uh, My opinion is definitely biased. It is my Discord, but I like it. <laughs> oh, fuck, I need a shower. Uh, I hate this, like I don't, I'm very bad at this kind of like, self-promotion shit. I'm trying to get better at it. And I'm a hell of a lot better than I used to. I never used to be able to do any of this. At least now I can get it out and then go brush my teeth. So, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's definitely a thing. Uh, give the follow. Oh, brilliant, Jam. I'm so, I'm so pleased to hear that. Thank you so much. And I'm, I'm glad that you feel that the stream has been solid. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. It's my number one goal is to entertain people. Uh, I assume, Jeannie, you're EU. Uh, the whole thing about people asking the same question twice. If that annoys you, don't go into IT support. Good call, Jack. Good call. Uh, if you want to give Fia a birthday gift, think of a very original question to ask on her marathon stream. Um, or I do have a thrown wish list. If you think of something that you think I would really fucking love or that would make a really cool stream idea... Um, there is a suggest a gift thing where you can drop a link for something that you think would be a great purchase. Um, and I can look at it and decide whether or not it would be a good idea. Um, so definitely in that thing. Uh, just means I get to farm leather for a bit. Yas. Crazy. The bees are in which expansion? BFA. BFA. Uh, looks like Europe servers have lovers in the air already. Yes, they do. But it also finishes early for them, dupe. It starts early and it finishes early. It matches up with their reset cycle. Uh, yeah, their, their reset cycle is different from ours. Happy early birthday, I'll definitely check the stream for sure. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you so much. Guess how old I'm turning. I will not be offended. I am, like, this is a fun game because everyone always gets it wrong. Do not give it away, you lot. Don't give it away. Um, uh, NTP YouTube. Yes, socials, thank you, YouTube. Bonus shit with all the social stuff and the amount of time you put into streams nowadays. How are you holding up? I would be exhausted nonstop. Yes. 
<laughs> yes, I am exhausted. I am fucking tired. <laughs> but it's it is it is starting to pay off. There are some things in the works. Still. Ah, oh, great hair post today, by the way. It looks so good. Thank you, El. Yeah, that was the day it got cut. And it was like all styled and stuff by the hairdresser. Oh god, it felt so nice. If you follow on Instagram, thank you, Jay. Thank you so much. Oh yes, I can do the follows. Yes, do the follows. Uh, it was like the place I went to eat tonight with the family. Someone from the other table asked, what pasta do you have? Waitress named the three they have. This person asked, do you have this kind? She repeated, we have this. And then there's the person was like, can you repeat those again? I was getting bit, yeah, look. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's customer service. You yes, we have these things. Yeah, no, I, I feel that in, in my soul. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. Uh, 20, 32, 28, 34, 29. It's funny you should say 29, Jay, because I used to be Fiamma 29. And then when I made partner, I got to drop the 29. I am, it, home, home is correct. I'm turning 32 on Friday. Turning 32 on Friday. Um. Huh. I don't want to turn 32. Fuck, I didn't want to turn 30 or 31, and now it's 32? What? Why? Anyway. Uh, Dupe, Dunno, Insta, Zam, V, Kledgy, and Faden, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. I am wrapping the fuck up out of this stream because I am running late and I'm already tired and I want to go to bed. Uh, <laughs> don't forget that missed bundle on Humble, BT Dubs. Uh, it's only got four days left on it, so get the fuck in on that shit. Ah, oh, look, I know we raided Closure really recently, but he's doing... Once Why is he not on my list? What the hell? The jungle love. Oh no, there he is. He's doing uh, rocket runs. So I think we have to. Um, plus he's EU, so it's like... You know, you've got NA rocket runs, EU rocket runs, you're golden. Uh, good. I know, again, we raided him very recently, but fucking rockets. It's gonna be great. Uh. Coas. Yep. Tomorrow the Coas begins. Yep, it's gonna be great. Ah, uh, good. Ah, uh, I turned so and so on. Huh? Ah, oh, fantastic. Happy birthday for the fourth. Have a pleasant night. You too, Chibi. You too. Good night, Chaos. Goodbye, everyone. Um, program update your login box. Is the bottom left, not the top right? Why does that mean you forgot how to save files? <laughs> oh my god, Jack, you are not fucking wrong. Okay, this is my February schedule. Tomorrow, Heartbreaker Runs, 6 p.m. AEST until I'm done, then I'm fucking off. Wednesday, full stream, starting with Heartbreaker, then into Lovers in the Air Collectibles. Thursday, Heartbreaker Farm at 6 p.m., then fucking off. Friday, Heartbreaker Farm, followed by Kata Time Walking. Saturday, Heartbreaker Farm at midday, my time. 12 p.m., my time. Early, because Saturday night is when I am privately celebrating my birthday. Sunday, Heartbreaker Farm, transmog hunting, like usual on a Sunday. Next Monday, Heartbreaker Farm, then Mount Farm Monday. Cat, mm, it starts tomorrow, I'm gonna die. It's gonna be great. I am keen. We're gonna fuck this shit up and we're gonna get mounts. All of us are gonna get mounts. It's gonna be awesome. Anyway, I'm gonna do a raid now. Good. We're fine. All right, raid. Space. It's closure. Roll. Uh, Twitch raid. Bam. Grab your copy paste. If you don't have the Fiamma Hype emote, either because you're not subscribed or because you haven't unlocked it with your channel points, both of which are totally fine, uh, you can still copy and paste the entire message, delete where it says Fiamma Hype, and replace it with your favorite happy hypey celebratory emote and drop it into Closure's chat when we get there. Yell at him lots. If he gets him out before me, we're gonna be very mad at him, but not really. It's fine. There's enough for everybody. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna see you tomorrow. I'm gonna see you tomorrow and I'm gonna keep saying that for entirely too long. See you tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other, and I'll see you tomorrow. All the love. Mwah. Bye, guys.
baby. Do, 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 do.